David. You also, man. Am I good or not? Am I good or not? Beautiful, David. You know, David, now we we got you with your back to the wall. You you gotta answer, man. What's what, up, what's, what's up? your intro doing, man? What's 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 the intro right. doing, man? I can't see like <laughs> I, I wanted the I wanted the chat to be here and Tosin to be here, man. So like I wanna apologize to you guys that I got it wrong, yeah. I got it wrong with intro, man. But you, look, every time you rate, you jinx them. No, 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 no. I I didn't jinx Arsenal. I didn't jinx Arsenal, man. But the inter one, to be fair, I did say Lautaro is not good enough to be a striker for any for any big team. And people oh, thought David, I, was crazy. I didn't watch the game, but I saw him do like good, he missed, like second yeah, but, striker stuff. Didn't he like like the Turam chance, the Barella he, chance, the Barella chance? Yeah, but like I'm talking about finishing, man. And again, he was like, oh, yeah. I just, he's like 28, man. He, he, you don't sky a penalty that bad, man. Like it, it's on, it's it's on like Captain Gonzalo's uh, cap. It's on Gonzalo, like who's 21, 22, or Vitinha missed that something like. But yeah, they're young games, man. This is a grown ass man, 28 year old, man. But he was, he was, he was had the header he could score, but I'm like, it's Martinez, man. Like, he's, he's, he's basically the, like, he's, he's literally the most high school scorer in, in Italy right now. It's, it is what it is, man. PSV Bakyoko was mm, kind of, it was, it was decent. Sancho cooked him. And look, the young missed a crucial 1v1. Then yeah, they man. scored, they, then they scored right after he missed. They, they literally, like, Right, right, right after he missed down, like it was a right game, man. It was, a, it was an alright game. Oh, but, but more, more importantly, the PSG game. Lucho going to the four three one two. Um, my, my coach, bro. Like, I, I, that's my coach. I, I, that's my coach right there, man. Like, no one can tell me that. that the, the dude was like, see, see. I, that's why I, when I, I, that's why I told Tosin that day. I, I, it, and that the stuff is there. I told Tosin that Dembele in the middle is good. For 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 three things for three things specifically one is the ball movement it's one you touch I touch you touch is the ball movement that what you want two we all know our midfield is weak but if you add the ability to the midfield mix we have a four man midfield and that's like that's that's the strength we, we outnumber everyone in the middle yeah and once you control the middle we had, what we had seventy eight percent position in this game once you control the middle you control the game three 100%. one three. Well, Dembele in the middle allows Mbappe to be on the left hand side. I, I always say Mbappe in the middle guy. Keep on that left. Like that left, just keep on that left. Like the dude is a weirdo. He's a weirdo. He's a freak. Let's keep on that left. Let's make him happy. Him and you know him, him, him standing on the ball, you know, and the, the, him and they can just flip the ball like a switch. Oh, now Lucha's a genius, man. I think I got it wrong. I, I think I judged him too much, man. I judged him too early. Uh, I mean, people. Nah, want to cook, you, you, I, you just got high standards, David. You just I, got I, high standards. I, 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 yeah, I think people want to cook me on Gonzalo. I think see, the miss is is bad. The miss is bad. But other than the miss, I don't think he had a bad game. Man. Like the hold up play, the pressing, he attacked the ball. That's, that was that's that's what a striker does, man. Like that's what a striker does. I, like he missed the big chance. I'll give him that, but. But you can't deny that he didn't contribute. To, like like the pressing. Like there were there were times that there were times in the game. The, the Fabian go, go wait. Can we watch the Fabian go again? Go see where Gonzalo is, man. Go go, go see where Gonzalo is doing Fabian go. He's in the midfield. He's 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 pressing with the midfield. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I mean, no, I, I'm, not gonna, uh, what, I'm not gonna hide another press. Another thing, away. David. What we cook, well, one man. thing I saw as well when we were playing like from kickoff, David. Mm-hmm. Angie Lee was dropping into the midfield. And then we had five midfielders, uh, and Gonzalo was going out wide. The right side, so the right side, yeah. Nah, Lucha, Lucha a genius, man. Lucha a genius, Lucha a genius. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like feel bad for for the Colo fans because I believe Colo should have given the chance. But I think Colo in this pecking order is like, wait, wait, wait. wait. I think Lucha doesn't like because this this, this this game is a final basically because like this, this game is like is a cup, it's a cup final, man. And he this this was like ideally our. I will say it's our best best level. I'll say it's between um, ba- it's between sorry, Gonzalo and Barcola for that for that right side spot. I, I, I'll say I think the argument is between who or who. Like, I don't know how to do it, man. But that, that, that like and Colo and Colomani didn't, didn't, didn't see a minute of the game. I think everyone, everyone that plays 
normally play today, just not Colo. That's kind of that's kind of scary if I, if I was him, yeah. man. That's kind of sad to be honest, but it is what it is, man. We cook, man. We cook. We cook. We should have been, we should have had like at least five six goals, man. We could. Yeah, man. Mbappe hitting the post. Go, that go, Gonzalo go, chance. Gonzalo chance, bruh. The one that them boot them uh the was the Millie could have scored it and the Millie didn't care about scoring. He passed it to Bobby. I was like, all right, he doesn't care. Doesn't care about the the Warren chance. The war, I thought the war though. Great post. Warren cooking Dante, cooking to Debo. He should have just like you he could have just put it into the net easy, but he went for the straight and Bulkan like yeah. I mean look, if Bulkan didn't have like a goodish game, like it can't get leave free kick, David. Beraldo first goal for the club. Yeah, but I'll go. I, I was like, please don't, don't say offside. Don't say offside. Don't say. I said, don't. I was like, please don't say offside. I was like, please don't say offside, man. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right. You, that, you, you say four ball, three man. one two, David. For me, it felt more like a four two three one. So like Vitinha Ruiz, like a double three, pivot, man. and okay. Kangeli on the right, right then Bilin in the center, and Mbappe on the left, and then Gonçalo up top. But like, it's so fluid. But it's just like, it's, so, it's, so it's so fluid. Like, because Kangeli can drop in, the Bilin can go the, out wide, bro, Gonçalo there's a, can. Cause there's a time in the game where it was Mbappe. Like, there's a site you, there's a site you use right that tells you the positioning of the field, right? There was, there was, mm. I think there was, there was, I don't even remember. There was a time on the field doing whenever the keeper had the ball, it would be Mbappe, Dembele, then Gonçalo behind them. I don't know if you, you saw that enough, man. Like, but I'm not trying to say that everybody had that like, this free flowing stuff, man. But the press is insane, man. What the press? The press, the press is scary. Like, wait, wait. So this is the yeah. average. Yes, yes. Oh. See, 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 see where Gonçalo is. Yeah, go back to that stuff. See where Gonçalo is, man. I don't like people insult him and stuff, man. But see, what, see exact. Thank you. See where it is, man. It's, it's Lucas. It's Beraldo. Yeah, and that's the thing, David. You you remember when we were talking? I was showing about the lineup loss uh, before and everything. Like this yeah. is how we should be. Play. Only two. Def- we only need two center backs, David. I know this is Nice. I know they like yeah, they're a team yeah. that's back. But this is how we should. Play. And L- Lucas are not Lucas Beraldo, David. I mean, fuck. Uh, who is Marquinhos, man? <laughs> Who's Marquinhos? <laughs> Um, oh, and then Warren didn't play as a right back. Like he was always tucking in. If there was someone holding off the flank, it was more Kangin Lee. Look at Gonzalo. He got. He was just. He was everywhere. You know, man. you remember before we signed him? I, I I made the Benzema comparison. I mean, I think yeah. that's why he wants to come into just being able to help out everyone, but also be in space uh, to score goals. I mean, he could have. Like if if yeah. it was his day, that that chance he should have scored, but then he, he could have gotten also two that, two other header, chances. Yeah, the header, the, the header one. I, I thought he was going to score the header. Don't that Fabian gave it to him like tight, that in the first four minutes of the game. I thought he was going to score the header, man. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, oh, that, yeah that's yeah, what that I thought you guys. I thought you guys that. Bro, even the one where this um, Dante bullied. Like, I, I keep saying it as a man in this sport, you should not get bullied, man. The, the, it's not, like there's no, there's no that um Dembele like the, that Dembele slid to him like a pass like, it was like a through ball to him and that, yeah. that Dante marched to the ball I'm like bro I know you're like 21 you're 21 22 but don't I say man you cannot get manhandled by another man you play for PSG we're meant to be the bullies man I think he has, to, he, has to, he has to go to the gym man like get get get, get some strength man they should be, they should no, be pushing I, that. I remember there was uh, one Dembele gave him a pass for like an easy tap in and Rosario. Rosario, like, yeah. Like, like, Rosario, man. Rosario. Yeah, yeah. No, that we, none of that weak stuff here, man. He needs to go hit the gym. But yeah, it's, well, we played well, man. We played well, played well. Okay, so, no. It, it's more like Warren and um, Vitina created like a double pivot. And then it's Fabian in like the half spaces. Uh, I don't know, man. It's so weird. But Dembele played more as a 10 this game, David, than the Sociedad game. Before but, he received the ball much more deeper. But maybe it's because Nice were sitting back so much. Yeah, but the thing, like, again, I'll say that, I'll say that, like, the Sociedad game was his first time playing the role. I, no, I, again, we can go back to the clip. I just said, you gotta give it time. It's a new role for him. He's learning it. This, this, like, yeah. what you did again, now he's learning our role. Like, once, uh, like, even when the man after the game said, what, what do you say? He had, cause the match had two interviews. He first, the first thing he was like, he knows he's not back to 100%, but he's getting there slowly. And like, I know, we can see your game. You're getting there, so you, you're you impressing us. But he also said, like, okay, it's a new shape. The players are learning this stuff. Like, we're going to be scary, bro. 
wow, we're gonna be scared. Like, I'm actually excited, man. Because I watched at later interview, I'm like, bro, this guy's a food, man. Like, we were scared. Like, we're not we're not boring anymore. Because normally what we used to do was pass them Bill and hope and, and like I hope. I hope he, he yep. does something. But this time, like sometimes like the ball is moving, moving, moving. Then Fabian is doing like Fabian. Too. I, I think Fabian gotta stay, man. I think the people that should leave just, just to learn, like low key, low key, Fabian should stay. The fuck is he doing, man? Like Fabian, like, Fabian like, is a genius, man. Is that one two with Mbappe? The one two with mm. Mbappe. Then the, the pass only almost only Mbappe. Oh, nah, cool. Yeah, we played well. We played well. We played well, man. There's, like, there's, there's a time it to be Nuno, it to be Nuno in the midfield with Warren, or sometimes it to be like, bro, everybody was just moving. That's, that's kind of football I want, man. Not, uh, that's kind of football. That, that's football you enjoy, man. Yeah, not to, not to ramble on too much, man. Well, yeah. Now, one thing I didn't like about Nuno is sometimes when, especially when Mbappe was there on the wing, Mbappe just asked for it. Instead of sometimes just letting Nuno cook. Do you, you remember that cross Nuno put in? Yeah. He crossed and, and Bulka had to get it. Yeah. Like, yeah why yeah, would he do that more often? Yeah. I feel like, like again, but then it's like yesterday, this, this team or this set of players have not played with the natural striker before. So it's a learning curve for all these. Again, most of these guys, other than what am I saying? What am I saying? Most of these guys, other than the, the typical Mbappe, Lucas, Dembuz, Donnarumma, who else? Who else? And Fabian. The rest of the rest of them. This is that their second or third professional season. Yeah. That's it. So like, it's a learning curve. And again, most most of the people, even the ones that've been here, Nuno Men, all these guys. They haven't, they haven't they haven't had the only natural striker they've had in a while was Icardi. And Icardi barely played in the second season. So it's a it's a learning curve, man. So but I hope I don't be bi- biased, man. But I hope this set of players of this core of players is the main level, man. Because each person like each but again, I can I can see an argument why Barcola deserves to be in the conversation with Gonzalo. But I can see, I have an argument for Gonzalo as well because nah it's football. We'll see. Yeah, it's football. Like the, the stuff we played to was, was beautiful, man. Because I want, because what you want from me, I want if I want the best creator in our team, Dembele, to be to be close to Mbappe, because it's 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 best if your best finisher and creator are, close, are side by side. That's, yeah, that's that's what, that, like when, when we used to talk about Neymar and Mbappe, man, it's, it's always going when they're close to each other, man, because that's when the magic happens, man. And it'd be like whenever teams try to, since Dembele is not in the midfield, whenever teams try to mark Dembele. Fabian and uh, Kangi have like, they, they're playing between the lines and they you have like you can't keep up man with the movement and stuff. So you can I mean, if you're chasing if you're chasing if you're already chasing Mbappe, how are you gonna chase Kangili and Fabian between the lines and then Billy? Like it's it's too much work for one team, man. That's, that's why the movement is too much then then even the, like God help Europe that you you know men is hundred percent. With Nunamen on one side, Hakimi on the other side, we'll cook. Yeah, we'll Nuno for the quarterfinals should be in his like the, the the best form that we can expect from him. Who we'll, we'll cook? And the thing, the guy. You remember when we played Sosidal, Sosidal or Sosidal, whatever that team is. When we played them, there was a chance where Hakimi had a one v one, right? And he shot yeah. at the keeper. You see how this from how this same shape. Had Warren had a, Warren had a, the same chance. So like it's like yeah. a free a, a man who always going to be. I don't know what, what Luto is doing or like what, but a man, that right side, the right back or or right mid or inverter or whatever. Will always be free, so I think that chance will always happen in the full ninety minutes. I think it's down to us to take that chance, man. But yeah. Warren, Warren's a genius, man. He started off slow. Boga was cooking him, which is expected because Boga's natural left winger and Warren's not a natural right back. But he, the second half, he turned up, man. He was locking his man to do taking duels. First half, he was kind of scared to kick the ball, but yeah, yeah, we cooked, we cooked, we cooked, we cooked. I'm happy, man. Yeah, and and the goal we conceded. <laughs> Lucas tries to clear it, hits off Vitinha, goes straight to Laborde, yeah. and he scores. Yeah, he happens. Kind of, he happens, yeah, he happens. That, that's, a, that's a people goal, man. Like, you do your best, try and kick it out, and just like, is what it is. DDA, man. This is what it is, man. But, but now, David, the narrative that we don't care about Ligan is is f- fully enforced now. We don't oh we don't my, care about oh, Ligan. Oh, my God. I, I don't, uh, we'll see, man. Wait, wait, why does League One come into it? Called, called, this is Cup de France, you know? Why does League One? We're talking about League One. No, I, I'm just saying, 
us winning this game and playing so well shows that when we play a Champions League game and a Coupe de France game, we play like, like we play football. But in Ligue 1, we just we play, oh, it's on. a semi-ass performance. No, but, but but again, uh, it's down to the it's down to the the new shape. Nuno started all this stuff and. Also, like our last league one game, we didn't start, we didn't have our best eleven. Was all like our that, no, that's true. We've been resting a lot yeah, of players. Yeah, we'll games. Up, yeah. I, I feel like I also have to commend Lucha again for rotation because well, no, nah, 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 while I'm more, more he watches the stream, while I'm man, he watches the stream, watches the stream, or he goes on Twitter and he sees the complaints from people, man, because he does, he's doing everything right, man. But the thing like, I don't know, man, I don't know. It's, we're, we're, but we're we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, man. And yeah, another I'm thing, like David, you know. Yeah, yeah Tosan, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I just want to be sure because I'm, I'm joining through a different device. I just want to make sure I'm audible. Okay. And shit. Yo, how y'all, how y'all doing, man? Y'all see the game and shit. It's a, it's a beauty, man. It, it no team is stopping this PSG sign. But I want, I want beauty, to say quickly. Be it wasn't a beauty, come on. It was good. Oh, my. It wasn't a beauty. Wait, so what, 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 impressed you? what did you impress you? No, I mean, we were way better. We were way better than Nice. Like, that's not even an argument. Okay. Just, so what didn't, what didn't you impress you? said that we didn't score you? enough goals. You wanted five, six. Or we didn't, or we didn't yeah, dribble yeah, past yeah, players. Or, or, yeah, or, that's kind of what it is. Like, we weren't as fluid as I wanted us to be in attack. It's, but it's alright. I mean, I mean, Mbappe hit the post. Gonzalo had a miss. Warren, the Bulka save. Kangi, like, uh, yeah, Warren. So Warren we're uh, lucky that Warren, we didn't score six goals. I yeah, I guess yeah. You, you, so you didn't like the the free flowing passing move, passing move, passing move, shift, shift, passing move, counter attack. <laughs> no, it was we were good today. I'm not saying we were trash, bro. I just I don't know, man. I just. You want to ask you? The football was a little stale. It was a little stale. That's all. But it's cool though. It's cool. I mean, we won. Like I expected. So I ain't mad at shit. Okay. Why well, you're just fucking up the vibe, Tosin? <laughs> Am I doing that? Am I really doing that? Damn. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, what what do you say? I don't want. To, I don't want to be the party pooper, man. No, 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 you, no, your, your opinion is your opinion. Like, well, I'm trying to, like, did you want like more like take ons and stuff, like skills and stuff? Yeah, I think I did want that, dude. All right, all right that's fair then. No, that's but fair. we were good today. We were good. Yo, Fabian, Maestro. I think you should say that. Like, he's uh, not the soul, consistent. Bro. Um, Baraldo getting his goal. That was good to see. But you can see though that Lucas is um Hernandez, he's struggling a little bit. That right center back position. Like he got caught out a couple times. Um also struggled dealing with crosses. There was one that went to the back post that Jeremy Oh got. yeah, when when he when he just let his hand, did the Bellingham celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was but then you gotta remember he's playing his weaker side though. I agree. No, I agree. It's not. I'm not. It's not like I'm blaming. Oh, oh, oh gotcha, it's gotcha, just, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like it's. He's a little uncomfortable playing yeah. that right side center back position. Maybe it's. Maybe he just needs a couple of games to get used to it. But yeah. Also, not playing Hakimi. I. I didn't really think that was a good decision because Warren again was struggling in that hybrid role for parts of this game. But Tosin, you know why it Warren played, right? Without him for UCL. Yeah, we're preparing for the Champions League game. Maybe if Marquinhos was favored, actually, try Marquinhos. That row ball. Maybe it's Warren that's going to play right back for the quarterfinals, first leg. I'm going to be lagged out. I'm going to be lagged out. Yeah, I think I think he lagged out. Yeah, um, yeah. David, what I want to say before is like we've gotten so used to it now, but Donna again, like the, the, free. the chances he saves, David. When, when when you see Donna do it, he's so big. You're like, oh, that's a simple save, but he's literally saving high xG chances, high xG chances in the box, Morphe chance, and then there was another one in the first half. He's, Oh. 
Do you know what the scariest thing about this team, David, is? We shouldn't be this good now. Like, this is a team that should be peaking in like two, three years. Two, three, four years. Because all of them are young. Like, Beraldo's 20. Nuno is, what, 21? 21. Kangeli is 20, 20, 22, 21. something. Yeah. Warren, 17. Yeah, Vitinha is 24, 23, <laughs> I think. After watching this, what pieces would you say are like needed? What well, needed? I feel like going Mbappe, but I think we still need, we still need we still need someone that that, that like can do what Mbappe does. I don't think he's a nine. I think I think I, now I'm seeing what Tosin. I think he's the left winger, man. Uh, left forward. So we need someone that's like, explosive. It's probably Vinny. I think we need a, someone like a Vinny that can score goals. Who's so explosive and can and can we sound like a Vinny or something? We don't need. I don't that could be really, Leon. Or wait, I don't. Wait. How did you guys feel about um? Oh, sorry, I didn't. I don't mean to change the topic, but you know, Zaire every like he kind of struggled with Boga, man, in some instances. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, especially that first goal. But it's not fair on him playing that position. Yeah, he's just chucking him there. Yeah, like with Lucha seven to but 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 I I'll say. He was drowning the first, the first half. But I said the second half, he swam. He was swimming. How do you feel? Like, I, I feel like yeah, there was one like he double tackle he made. Yeah, he grew into the game. Yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, War, War has, get, has to get used to those shifts, man. Yeah, but Until next I season, we won't have this problem next season. Yeah, but, but my thing like Fabian has to stay, man. Like whether it's for rotation, Fabian got to stay. I think like he, he sold like the, like the stuff he was doing between the lines, man. Honestly, I was like, honestly, he, like, he, if he if he if he regains full confidence, like he can outplay Rodri on a night. He can outplay he can outplay the best midfielders on a specific night. It's just how he feels that like he just needs to get that confidence in, you know. What, like he can outplay what, the best the best midfielders in the world on a specific night if he's in you know mentally there. You know, but the but the thing like like whenever I use this the statement like give him time. Do you think? Don't you see like how he took a twenty seven year old Fab, Fab, Fabian time to adjust to League One compared to these all the youngsters we, we criticized uh-huh. like, like in the first season PSG? Yeah, no, it took him a while. Um, yeah, because he still kind of showed things, but yeah, it took him a while. Yeah, but but I feel like the Fabian of last season. We, we we were like he's dying in league. We wanted to sell him like next season and stuff, yeah, because he was he was like he was he had some like stinkers and stuff, but he had some good games. But I'm saying like mm-hmm. a veteran like him, it, it still it still like took him time. So why should why should I as a person or for someone that watches football say, oh you twenty you under twenty two year old go, go perform like so and so like, I feel like I feel like the thing some is- of our fans were, were, were like were not realistic in that aspect because we were. We have seen the likes of variety and stuff, and all. So we got some like high expectation and stuff. But the thing is, it it be young niggas that pull up and start balling too. I mean, Barcola isn't balling now. Okay. But there was a point in the season where he was balling, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Similar to Garcia. Nuno, Nuno, Nuno Mench. Yeah, Nuno Mench. When he first came out the gate, he was balling off, off rip. You know. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it works both ways. There are some young players that. Just hit you the ground it. running. Yeah. And some, some that they just need time. Yeah. You yeah. know a player that people are still wishy-washy on? Ooh. Even after today's game? Uh, Kangoo yeah. King and Lee. Like, he had a good, good game today. today. I feel like it was yeah, good he day. had a good game today, but people feel he doesn't have the characteristics to be with his team long-term. Like, not really like a set position, you know? Like, just thinking in the long-term, you know? Like, I mean, he's he I mean, he sells, we saw shirts to him. Not, 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 to, not to joke about that, but we saw, <laughs> we saw a lot of shirts to him. I feel, I feel like he can play the the right, the right, the um, interior, and he's our only, he's our best free kick, free, free kick taker like, from what we've seen today. So, oh yeah, 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 that free kick. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And he's, I think he's, I think he just turned twenty two or twenty three a couple of weeks ago. So, he's a young dude, yeah. man. And we got yes. it for we got it for little to nothing, little, little to nothing. No, not like we not like we smelled like a Gonzalo Colomani. I think I don't know. I, I don't remember how much you got him, but no, I 20, think, 20, 25 million. Yeah, we, we have yeah peanuts, man. So like, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like at best, if he doesn't like become a starter in the just 22, 23, 
he would be a good rotation piece. And it was just, yeah. But I get what you mean by Kangili, man. But I feel like he like he could. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like he could. I feel like I think I feel like people are not giving. I, I don't give him like an excuse. No, but I think what happened. It was good, yeah. But for me, I don't. I feel like people are judging him too hard in the sense that for me that I remember that he hasn't played enough with this team in the sense that he had the Asian Cup where he missed like beginning of the season. You know what, though? I think it's mm-hmm. Lucho's mind. Mm-hmm. I think in Lucho's mind, he's a starter. He's a starter? Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, like in Lucho's head, I think he's a starter. Dude. Like he just, he rates him, he rates his technical quality really high. You know, that's yeah. what Jamil said on the stream. So I think Lucho holds him in really high regard. So he's a starter in his head, in Lucho's mind. I think he's a starter. If we're playing a do or die game, Kangin Lee will start. This was a cup game when he started, man. Yeah. I think I think yeah, this was this was literally, this was literally a cup game, knockout game, and he's like, all right. How do you feel about Colonel making the making the field, man? He's the only one that they didn't make the field today. That that actually that That's actually played. Surprising. I mean, Hakimi, Hakimi didn't make the field though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So but Hakimi, Hakimi for, you, you, yeah, yeah for UCL stuff as well. Yeah. But yeah, Colonel sure. not making the field is not surprising. Stop. He doesn't deserve to play right now, to be honest. Stuff sad, man. Stuff is sad. Hey, so how do you feel about uh, Gonzalo's game? Let me, let me hear. Let me hear your take. How do you feel about Gonzalo's game? Let me hear your, your take on Gonzalo's game. Gonzalo today. Gonzalo's. Yeah. Decent. No, cook, you, no, you're cracking right now, but if you want to cook him, cook him, man. I, let, let me hear. I, I want to see. Nah, for nah, me, nah, 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 I, I nah, feel nah, like he could have done more with the goal, man. Today. Yeah, I feel like he should. Yeah, like the chance he missed the uh, Zaire Emery um, cross to him, the back post. Yeah, like he probably should score that, but whatever. Like strikers are gonna miss chances; it's normal. But like in terms of like his duels, like he was fine today. Like you know, decent layoffs for the attackers. Like um, yeah, I mean, he just and yeah, he was a presence in the box. Like you noticed him. Like, it wasn't like he was invisible. You noticed him in the game, so. But that's all you can really ask. And yeah, like, on, on another day, he probably scores a grace. Like, he's going to, honestly, bro, like, he's going to get chances. You know? Like, he's not, I don't think he's not world class or anything, but he's going to get chances if we, like, get the right personnel and attack next to him. Like, he'll get chances. And that's all he'll need, so. Right. Yeah, but right, today he's not really a scapegoat today for me. Nah, really. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, Tosin, Tosin, could you try go out and then come in because your 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 audio is a bit lagging. Oh, it's shit, either internet bro. or something. Yeah, yeah. Just just uh, try go out and come in again. Yeah, what do you say, David? All right, all right. I've heard, I've heard too. What about you, man? Let me let me let me hear you cook him. Cook cook on channel. You want to cook him? Let, let me let me hear your honest take on this game. Wait, I, I can actually, I yeah, can give you something that's not even, uh, how, how can I say this? That isn't made up in the, in the moment. Wait, let me yo, bring it up. Yeah, true, true, true. true. Yo, even chat too, man. Chat, cook Gonzalo. Like, let me let me see what y'all people say. Because for me, I'll cook him too, man. Because for me personally, he should not, like, for me, like, I'm a, I'm a, a guy that I believe that four should always score their goals, man. But I, but I also appreciate what they do. In like build up and everything, but he, he should have scored today, man. I, I, don't, I don't give, give excuses, but he should have scored today. But I don't, I won't say if I was to rank the worst players of this match, I, I won't put him as one of the worst players, in my in my opinion. But someone else could, yeah. So, like, yeah. I don't see what, what, I don't see what the chat is saying because I, I saw some, I saw some people in, in the GC you made cooking them, like, yo, did you watch the game? It wasn't that, it wasn't that bad. Like, like people were just like overreacting, man, but I don't know. He missed one chance. How long misses four chances against Burnley, man? No one cares, man. Like, <laughs> uh, where? Uh, all right, here, here, David. This is from the from my match thing. Dude, they said, "Oh my God, Donna, everything." But now we're like, yeah, this is what we expect from Donna, best keeper in the world. And yeah, going shallow. Um. Uh, Missed a huge chance. 
could have done better. Didn't get a gold bar. I'm still happy with some of the stuff he did. And uh, this 4 2 3 1 animation, animation, you could call it, probably use it okay. more often. But uh, yeah, PSG. Okay, I didn't say that much there. But in, in the thing where I said, Gonzalo missed a big chance, but I liked what he did. Like, uh, for me, David, sometimes it's not easy even just, you know, about performing. It's just about doing what I expect from you. And I got what I expected from Gonzalo. He was running into the box. There was maybe like four chances where if he's on a good day, he could have scored them, David. So I think now, I don't know, I think Lucho David has to make a decision for maybe the rest of the season on Barcola Gonzalo. Yeah, I, and yeah, I think one of them has to be a starter. One, one has to, one has to bench. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's actually between those two now, man. I think Colo. I think, but I don't even know when that center is coming back, man. So like, I think it's between mm. both of them right now for that striker position, man. Hopefully, my man. Yeah, I mean, I, I like both players, man. So like, Marco is actually a worthy candidate. Kind of yeah. yeah, so we'll see, man. No, I'm, yeah. I've been, I've preferred Gonzalo over Colo since. Maybe uh, one and a half month ago. Mo, don't no. do that, man. Okay, 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 no. okay. One and a half. No, no, okay, no. Okay, because I, because okay. before I, I didn't choose one because it was too early on. None of them got enough chances and everything. Uh, but, but but I've been firm for one and a half month that Gonzalo is the player I would keep as a backup for next season. I still don't see him good enough to be a starter for Paris Saint Germain. But yeah. let's see what he got in his bag for the upcoming three months. Yo, is my good it, now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yo, Junior, what's good, G? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How How's everyone today? Doing well, man. Doing well. I didn't get the chance to uh, to see the game. Um, I I got to see a bit of the, the second half, but I, like, I literally missed every single goal. I've seen the, like, the highlights and whatnot, but um, how, was, uh, how was the game? Uh, I can give you the easiest, like of the game so the first 35 minutes absolute domination for PSG we got two goals could have probably gotten a third then they got a lucky disgusting ass goal a bit of good individual moment from uh, from Boga and then the, re the remaining 10 minutes of this first half were it was not the best from PSG then we came out in the second half it took like 5-10 minutes and then for the rest of the game we controlled we dominated we, we had contests of counter attacks chances and everything we only scored one should have gotten more but now nah, it was a completely dominant performance from PSG. I would probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. This should have been a tough game, even though Nice are in bad form. When you play in the in the in the quarterfinal of the Coupe de France, like everyone wants to win. Uh, but yeah, PSG are just superior to their opponent, whoever they play. I, I have an unpopular opinion. Um, what is it? <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. So, so you know how we've been talking about midfield this, midfield that since the start of the season. Yeah, <laughs> I think it ain't. I think it really ain't the midfield at this point, man. I think it's the attack. Man. That's that. You think it's the attack? That, that's her problem. Yeah, man. It hurts to say. Person, per, person. What, what, what player? It's not really like on the player on this particular player, but you can clearly see that there's a dependency on Mbappe, Mbappe and then Dembele. Like the belly's not scoring. Like, okay. Like it's kind of, it's it's a it's an issue, dude. I, I mean, just name me one great team that was not dependable on one attacker to play make it one attacker to to, to to score goals. Would you say that Tuchel's PSG was bad because we were dependable on Neymar and Mbappe to get goals and assists? Obviously, we still had Di Maria, but on Madrid for CR7, so. Yeah, I mean, Tosin, that's a normal thing. Or, or Barca for Messi. Do you or want to Bayern. be like Arsenal who have or, 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 mid, mid players that give you or, or a few goals or, here and there? Or Bayern or Ribéry and Robin. The thing is, when Mbappe goes, like, you gotta, you can't go into the season. Oh, but so what, why, why, what? We're, we're why, not. Why, we're not. Why are you thinking? Why so, are you I mean, thinking about next season? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Why are we thinking so far into the future already? Like Tosin to 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 is, like, is, is the Mbappe he's, stuff. He's ruining it. He's ruining it. Like he just ruined the whole outlook for this team. Like wait, Tosin. Speaking of Mbappe, have you heard about how he's um suing a, a fellow like content creator? Who's he suing? Yeah. 
So he's Anymore suing. That that throws his, uh, yeah, TV that, that, that Chris's TV and everything. He's yeah. suing him because oh. he, he, yeah, he opened up like a kebab, a kebab shop, shop, and then in one of his kebabs, like the description and whatnot, he has like, oh, the bread that we use is as round as Mbappe's skull. And so, well, I guess yeah. So Mbappe's yeah. lawyers like sent him. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They're not suing him. They're saying like they gave. They sent him a letter saying like, please take it down within nine days. Otherwise, we'll proceed with further legal action. As he should, huh? Yeah, Mbappe's sensitive. Well, the thing is, well, the thing <laughs> is, like initially, I was like Mbappe, like, like I was like all right on the Mbappe hate train. But then I watched this really like very informative video by this um French footballer called talk my football and he explained it how like well first and foremost it's probably not mbappe who like manually went looked him. through twitter it was probably just his lawyer somebody found it and they, they sent it and like um also another thing and like is it, like the, the what he said obviously it's like it's, it's it's a small little like he's probably heard worse in like football matches that's not the problem i don't think it's it's more so that like um like for copyright intellectual property as in to a certain degree he is banking on um, Mbappe's image to sell the, those kebabs because you know, people will go, oh, that's a lot. That's funny. I'm going to buy this kebab now without his consent, which is, I guess, a violation of it. So in this case, I think even though I think it's kind of petty, but it's like legally it's, it's there's like there's these there, he's not in the wrong. That's not petty at all. Like, it makes sense. Play with, the, play with the bull or get the horns right. That's the same, right? Yeah. But the thing is, though, now the the Mohamed Henny, he's, he's he's like pissed. He's on obviously doing with his you know usual shenanigans and whatnot. But the hilarious thing is what I want now is Mbappe when we in the in Le Classique drop a hat trick on Marseille at the Villodrome, shut him up properly. Yeah. How is Beraldo today? I saw he scored his first PSG goal, but what was his like play overall? Bro, there, there, there was a play where they were they were trying to like counter attack us. He just made one tackle and the, every, he just stopped the whole play. Like this, the, the striker, the wing, like and both and all. His reading in the game is advanced, man. For his age, it's crazy. Now Beraldo is insane, man. Do you guys think he's like what a potential like um? Like, do you, do you think he has the potential of becoming uh, a Thiago Silva of the club? Probably or is better. it like better, really? All right, okay. Thiago Silva won shit at 20. <laughs> was, he, was he even playing in Russia or something? Yeah, I think he I think he was playing in Brazil. Then he went to Russia, had like a really bad illness, then went back to Brazil. And then Leonardo. Ooh, Leonardo. Yeah, brought him to Milan. Yeah, PSG. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I think that's how his career trajectory went. But Beraldo, he came in off rip into Sao Paulo's team, broke into that team within 30 days of first day, first team training sessions. Bro, <laughs> broke into that first team. Done this all within six months, bro. You know, playing alongside uh, Juan Miranda, the former Atletico center back. Mm hmm. You know? And he's just saying, this kid will be much better than me. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, Ronaldo, he's just, he's just living up to everything, man. <laughs> he's living up to the, his expectations. Like, yeah, he's just, like, he's such a good ball, like, carrying center back. Yeah. It's going to be interesting he's to see. So, do you guys... For me, what's improved a lot with Beraldo, not just improved, but... Like he's showing, because I knew he was great on the ball. He's also so good at reading duels. Yeah, he's he reading as a game. There, there was one counter attack. Don't one, tell him all. He stopped there. it, right? He just he just stood there, like not like who, who the fuck you are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> he just stopped the whole play, man. Yeah, that goes back to his reading as a game, man. Like it's 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 advanced, man. A twenty, bro. I don't I don't know any twenty year olds that's doing it like this, bro. What about what about Lucas Hernandez? Um, how was he today? He was shaky. He was kind of shaky today. Really? Yeah. Because like, I mean, I don't know how you, how do you guys feel about having like two left footed center backs? Because like yeah, there was like one that, that issue was happening. Because that's the thing. Like was. there was one play I think yeah where Barolo passed him the ball and somebody pressed him and well because 
obviously oh, Lucas Hernandez is left footed. He like had to struck it like long on his in um on his uh, on his left, and it just like looked really awkward. Like usually as a center back, you want to take it on your back foot to play, but because obviously he's not right footed, he, he can't do that or can't do that with confidence. And so I don't know. I I think we have to have left and right, one left foot left footed uh, center back and one right footed. Well, but no one ever scoffs at two right footed center backs. You know, right side right footed center backs that play. On the left, like uh, Thiago Silva, John Terry, fucking you know, Walter. I think it, yeah, true. Yeah, I like, think I think it might just be that um, Hernandez is just very left footed. Like he's he's he's, he's like a Di Maria. Like has no right foot. He, all his right foot is good for is standing on. <laughs> no, but I think I think he just need to get used to it. I remember when Marquinhos, like eighteen nineteen season. I remember when he was playing. Um, DM against like Olympic Nimes or something, or was it? It was either Nimes or Gingamp, one of those teams. That was the yeah. same game. Um, Mbappe did. Um, Neymar did the crying gesture in front of those uh, the billboard that was mocking him. But yeah, that same game, I remember Marquinhos played in midfield, was getting overrun, just embarrassed. Then uh, uh, by a month or two into the season, he looks. Rolls Royce playing in midfield and at center back. Like sometimes it just takes time with these things. So I think Lucas, because right now, bro, like, like I just don't trust. I don't trust. Um, I don't trust Marquinhos over any of those two right now, personally. Really, yeah, especially away from home, man. Yeah, like especially on at an away ground, like. Like they're just they're providing real, but the thing is with Marquinhos, just because of his quality alone, he's gonna provide good enough competition. But, but I just, speaking of Marquinhos, is it, has he been like, is he coming back from injury, or is it like he's just Lucho just feels he's not the right fit? It looks like a tricky injury. It's no, I don't even think he was on the bench. He wasn't on the bench today. It's an injury, but it's okay, really yeah. tricky. It's really tricky. Okay, it's like yeah. An Achilles heel type injury i mean i don't okay, i don't know if this is i guess i'm veering off top of it but like today you know watching even today's champions league games and even like yesterday's it just felt different like i felt like you know calm not stressful not looking at it with like jealousy you know we've already booked our ticket to the quarterfinals like life's good life's no, good they, and they, now they, 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 they gotta talk to me about answer man yeah, you were glazing this team. You was on this team nuts all year. You, 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 you. Oh my god! See, see that, that's why. I, that's why. If you go back to the opening of the of the pod, I was like, I wish Toasted and, and the chat was here, man. Because I, I gotta apologize. I got the wrong <laughs> winter. Hand job. Yes, yes. My fault. My fault. It was my fault. Yeah. But I would say, in my defense, man, I always said Lautaro Martinez can never lead lead a line. He missed his penalty today. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he created chances for Barella and stuff. Barella scuffed the 1v1 and stuff. And Marcus Turam also scuffed the, also the 1v1 as well. But I'm like, the big man didn't, for, their, for that team didn't provide. So, like, that's what they lost. Yeah. That's my excuse right now. Wait, what do you mean uh, he can't play alone? He, he always had something he today. He, yes, he can't lead, lead a line, basically. He can't, like, carry well, he a team. Wasn't. Like, he can't carry no, a team. He, like, yeah. wait, wait, what do you mean like he can't lead like he he can't be like the star player or are you saying like he can't he can't play as a lone striker is that what you mean he, no he can't be the main man of a team oh okay Dang, he's been really season, you, think that, you feel that way that he's been good way. yeah he's been really good this season yeah, yeah like yeah. I mean, top when, four when, when he's top playing like Sandor, when he plays when he plays Sandoria and um <laughs> nah don't and, don't do that no 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 don't they 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 a year or two ago, he scored at Anfield, bro. Toughest ground in the yeah, world. Right? Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. That's two years ago, man. Like we're twenty twenty four right now. I'm talking about like what are you doing this year. I, I like again. I don't watch Syria week in week out, man. So you're you're probably. But I'm talking about what I see in yeah, Europe. Yeah, and he man. balls out every derby, every San Siro derby. But in the, like, group, he, but in the, in the group stages, he didn't he didn't do anything. Then 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 today then then this ball the first leg and second leg. I, I take him if he is. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, growing up because we have two, we have two people younger than him. Like he's like he's twenty nine, he's missing the penalty. He's, he's, shoot, he's trying to skill a fan in the stands right now. You take him, yeah. He, but we were, talk, we, were, we were talking like striking his age, in his generation. He, he's not top ten, even right now. Even right nah, now, no, nah, no, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's criminal. I, I, that's I'm criminal. 
I, I would take the Julian Alvarez, dude. I would take I'll show Darwin Nunes. Playing, I would he's, we, he's having the most complete center forward season since Benzema 21-22. Yeah, I mean again, right it's, it's, it's playing against Amdoria and stuff, man. So it's shout fine, out to him. Yeah, yeah shout, shout out to him, man. Shout, shout out to him, man. When when his team needed him, needed him in the first leg, when they needed him to score a one v one, he missed it. A tap in, he missed it. Today's game, it seems like he. It seems like no, nah, but that penalty, no, without that penalty, he missed that. You, okay, you, that you, can, you, yeah, you, yeah. you can, no, you can miss a penalty, like they can save it or something, yeah, but to but sky he, it like that, he, he that's, cr- that's kill, crazy. He, he tried to kill a no, racist fan of the stands, man. Probably no, the, pitch, uh, the pitch, the pitch, the pitch was uneven. That's why he looked down. Oh, it's a pitch, it's a pitch fault. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, my fault. They didn't cut the grass like two two meters off, man. Gotcha. Yeah, he. Bro, I, have, I well, okay. I'm seeing these. I'm not sure how true these rumors are. That apparently, number one, I heard that apparently PSG are inter- interested in Marcus Rashford. One and two, that apparently PSG would be willing to um, do a swap deal. But they apparently PSG are also willing to do a swap deal for Xavi Simmons for Ber- Bernardo Silva f- with City. Oh Marcus no, no, that, that that second part is bullshit. I mean, I don't like either of them. I think either Just- of them are. But so the, so the first, first thing is Rashford, Junior, all, all the Rashford stuff, and even where you mentioned, it's only English reporters that have been doing this. Why? Because they want to push out Rashford. They want to create rumors from nothing. PSG are not interested in Rashford. PSG are not interested in using Chavis Simons in a swap deal. If PSG get rid of Chavis Simons, they're bagging and cashing in that 100 million, 90 million they can get. So it's all fake what? stuff. Like... If you want to get Bernardo, it's it's a fifty million release clause. I, I think Qatar, Qatar is very talk, talk talked about Rashford though. Qatar is very much interested in Rashford. Yeah, Tuchel said like a couple of days ago that we're interested in Rashford and stuff. Man. No, I want this is swerve. But, so, but, mo- but, like, but, but the thing like, I don't think Rashford suits us, man. With the way we play, man, that's the thing. You, you think you think he suits us? I don't think he. Does, yeah, like man. you think he's mm. like just purely counterattack. Someone made that point yesterday, so. I, like I, I, I don't think he, I don't think you like he you do the pressing, yeah. I, be efficient with the ball, no. Man, at this point, no. I think we should go for a left winger, left forward instead of a center forward. Man, no center forward but, is worth sp- splashing. But, but then, do you think like which left wing, left forward do you do you think the, would like? Can replicate what Mbappe does basically. Doesn't need to replicate what Mbappe does. Just be, just destabilize, like Dembele does on the right. Yeah, and then so dribbling left. So so Mm. so it's so it's Cavara versus Liao basically. Basically, that's the best. Those are the two best options. The two best, yeah. So basically, pick up, pick your poison, basically. And what what happens to Barcola then? He's just he'll he'll play shit. he'll, He'll play shit ton of games. Play, There's 60 yeah, matches in a season. He'll be play. He'll play. He'll play at least 30, 35. If he's not injured, provided he's not injured. Hmm. Who do you oh, guys think? Wait. Yeah. DJ, I just saw your tweet. Why yeah, are you bro. calling out Dortmund? Is this fucking Brentford? Nah, nah, bro. Easy draw, isn't it? Easy draw. <laughs> Hey, I'm, Look, I'm shameless with it. I'm shameless Barca, with it. Yeah, but Barca is an easy team. Yeah, but like, all of these teams are easy. I don't know. Honestly, about all of them. I see, I see food. I see food everywhere. Well, well, like, hey, give me, give me, give me, bro. Give me, give me, I'm happy. Give me, I'm happy. Give me Madrid or Barca, man. Walla. Hey, chill, chill. Don't, don't say. Nah, nah, nah. I want Madrid or Barca, man. Walla, give me them, man. Barca is food. Barca is food. I agree. No, bro. give me any Spanish team. Madrid, bro, Barca, we, we will like, eat La Liga, Liga teams. I, yeah, well, just, I promise you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so wait, which teams do you guys? Which teams? Okay, for me, the 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 teams are that is the only team that's a hard sort of a city. I don't want City. I do yeah. not want City. Bro, why don't you want City? Like, what what do Man City got that like got you sh- shuffling? Oh, I mean, I'm not saying that. I don't. I'm not saying that we can't beat them. I just think like they're the, they are out of this. These are this. That's the best team. But is that fair? Is that a fair assessment? That's a fair assessment. There you go. Like, yeah, he, I mean, team. unless, no, unless you team, want to. Best team is Putty. All day. The, but the best team that we can face is what I mean. Like, the best team, excluding us, that you, you can face. Honestly, the toughest team here across two legs is City. City, it's City. It's city. It has <laughs> to be City. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you say otherwise, you're just wrong. Like, it's yeah, City. <laughs> 
Like <laughs> initially, like before, before, before team, last yeah. week, I would have said like, um, if I had like favorites as a neutral, you say favorites to win it, you probably say City and Real. But then I saw Real's second leg, and I'm like, nah, Real, Real are beatable. Real are very we will, beatable. We will cook Real, man. Like, I, I, I imagine like Mbappe, Mbappe, or fucking Colomani on the end of those like opener chances, man. Uh, yeah. Or Cesco's chances, like we'll cook them, man. Voila. Especially with our press, man. I don't think in, I think all these Spanish yeah, teams our press, with our press is, man. I think our press, yo, that's something I didn't talk about from today's game, man. Our press is on another level right now. But I'll, I'll take Dortmund. I want rematch with Dortmund. Do <laughs> finish, finish, finish what we couldn't do before. But why do you want Dortmund? That's so why do you not that's want Dortmund? That's my question. That's what, a like, soft ass shit. That's a soft ass shit. Adrian mate, Brown, listen. When we, when we, when we have that's, that, when we have that trophy with the big ears and whatnot, we won't care how we got there. Like, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to go and win the, the Champions League, or do you want to? Barca, because it's wait. You get more gas, more press off being yeah. Barca. Yeah, Barca. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Like. Bro, no yeah, but you also have more chances of losing it. Like the chances, the probability that you lose also increase. Against, no, against Barca. Against Barca, are you serious? More chance, against, bro. Dortmund will give us a tougher game. Like it'll be nah. tougher to go. Now, it'll be tougher to go to man. Iduna Park than it'll be going it'll to. Continue. We've already yeah, been yeah. there. We've already been there, and we should have won. Yeah, but yeah, but. At the yellow, we struggle at the yellow wall, but I don't think we struggle at Camp Nou, man. I think our players love to play. Well, at they're Camp not even at the Camp Nou. They're not, they're in this like B Tech oh, Olympic yeah, Stadium. Yeah, or the or yeah, yeah. That Costco or whatever, man. We'll cook them, man. Voila. Okay, okay. Cool. Who do you guys think? Like, okay, if you have to, if you in like ideal world, all right. Who do you face? For me, it's number one. I want to face Dortmund. Then yeah. probably it's between Atleti and Barca. Either of the two. Um, then I'd probably say Bayern. Then Arsenal. Then Real, then City. Yeah, Real. That, but you were yeah, yeah, Real. yeah. That's you were crazy. you were just you were just hate. Yeah, you were just hating on Real like two, three minutes ago. Now, you, but you have them second as the second team you don't want to face. Well, That's I said I, like a, a decent second, but like I still think like the the thing is first and foremost, it's Real. It's their competition, so you can't you can't rule fully rule them out. <laughs> Stop this! It's the fucking competition, man. Like, as in, as, well, listen, as in, this is, this is, I, I still think. Listen, if PSG, I think PSG, we could beat Real. But as in, like, I think we have a. Uh, if we played Arsenal, Arsenal have a better chance of. Um, no, Real have a better chance of beating us than Arsenal do. That's the point. I still think we could go through. I still think we'd go through, but I think that like Real have a better chance of beating us than Arsenal do. That's all it is. I'm not saying that we're losing. Of all these teams, of these seven teams, right? These seven potential matchups. Which of them would lose by the lowest score at the park? Because they all get clapped. City. They all get uh, clapped three 0 four 0 No, oh, so no, not City. City's I don't. City's I, don't I don't. I don't think City's taking like getting like. they probably be two 0 yeah, maybe. No, you, no, you, you, you ask who is going to take the least the least amount of goal. I think City. I think everyone else gets destroyed in that park, man. Well, okay, easy, you guys. Well, we, we played Real Sociedad, and we it was two 0 So it's not like we're gonna be smacking like eight goals against them. Yeah, but I, I do mean, think we'd win at the park. Yeah, we took it easy on Sociedad. It was like round of sixteen. <laughs> it was like a warm up game, like you know, like a sparring session. All right, all easy guys, easy guys. The pride comes no, before the fall. Remember, no, Proverbs. Wait, the pride comes wait, before if, the fall. If it was me, if I was to rank who I want, it's probably Barca, then Dortmund, then Madrid. Sir, Barca, Dortmund. Bayern, then no. I say Barca, Dortmund, Madrid, the truth Bayern. Is all of these teams are food. Except I don't, I don't, the, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want the Premier League teams, man. I don't want Premier League teams, bro. Okay, you don't want City or Arsenal. Yeah, I don't see Arsenal. I, 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 I know the doping allegations. They've yeah, the, doping I, the, the press, the press, press. Yeah, I, I want us yeah. to press a big team and make them look foolish, man, on the biggest stage, man. I feel like if we give the La Liga teams, man, we we'll kill them, man. Like, cover how we need a new heart and stuff, man. <laughs> Uh, that Duh, that's crazy. Carver Halverson, that's he's gonna cook. You cook him, even Barcola against him. Dang, no, no, I'm thinking yeah. Dembele versus Mendy. That's that's a more even one. It not, it's not bad, even. Mendy was getting cooked yeah, by Mendy, 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 fucking Hendrik at Leipzig. You send Mendy so. back to Spinnacle, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm, I'm I'm thinking the midfield battle as well. Like Jude would just be running circles. 
That's what the thing the is. We're gonna press hard. them off the go. If you press them we'll, and we'll you stop Cruz from distributing, <laughs> that's it. They're done. They're done. They're generally done. They'll have no Cruz, means of progressing the ball. Cruz versus PMP players, man. Who would yeah, exactly. that that's that's it. Yeah, he, exactly. he would hide in a bunker, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bro, did dude. you see? Did you like? Did you see how Ancelotti left Cruz out to dry against City <laughs> last season? <laughs> Playing him as a, like a regista. They just it's like a bukkake session on him, bro. Everybody was just on him, man, bro. Like that shit was. was that smooth, shit was bro. fucking nuts, man. Bro, like four v one. He's dealing with four v one and shit. It's crazy. So you guys don't think that you guys don't want or. Your favorites to to have is not Dortmund. Absolutely not. I, I've already had one fucking boring game against Sociedad. Like before we played, I knew we win. Give me, give me, give me some. I mean, I would say City is the, the only challenge is, you know, in this. You know, you know, we win in everything. Like it's not like you knew we like we, we beat all these things. <laughs> all right, okay. Over. Be sure to not not walk the fine line of cockiness okay, and what, the what, confidence. Okay, what what honestly scares y'all about City? Because I, I don't think for, for me, I, I I don't think we beat them too legs, man. No, I think City City is a better version currently of us. I think, like being honest, what? they're worse I, no. on the counter. They're worse with possession. No, they're better in possession. They're better in no, possession the than us. They have a better midfield than us. Is there b- they have better than, finishing no, they than don't us. Have a better, they don't have a better midfield. They don't have better finishing than us. We, a better we, midfield. We, we, All right, let's, let's look at no. their goal scorer to, compared to our goal scorer. Are you comparing Mbappe to Dogland? No, no I think overall, against... like Mbappe, like I mean, we, to to a certain degree, we are ha- more we're more mean, reliant on Mbappe, Mbappe than they are on Holland. Don't, 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 call, don't call him, don't call him Dogland. That's our future nine. <laughs> 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 as in, I'm not saying this as I'm like I'm not saying that we get smacked by them, but I just like I think we I like City that. are where PSG is going to be in like probably next year, most likely. Like we are still, we are still agree. We are still a team. Like you said it earlier before I got on. I like we we don't we have no right being this good right now, right? Like a lot of us at the beginning of the season, if you told us that like we may potentially have to be like trying to look look to win the Europa League, and that now we're in a quarterfinal of a Champions League, we're like that's great. So like, um, I think I think City is like yeah it is is just ever like they're I think they're just a bit better than us now. Now like not clearly enough that we're getting smacked by them, but like. Their midfield, I think their midfield is better than ours. Rodri, De Bruyne, come on now, like. Yeah, they like, have the experience. We, they have the experience we don't have. Right yeah, now, we can't. Right? We can't. You can't. You know, we can't say that they, they. We don't have a. We have a better midfield than them. Yeah, well, yeah I'm no, like, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take any. We have a midfield that can outplay them. As in, okay, Mo, to, to, to do a comparison, if we did a combined 11 of both teams, I think there's more City players that are in that combined 11. Well, well, I'll do a quick one. Uh, Donnarumma in goal, Hakimi yeah. right back, Nuno Mendes left mm, back, Miranda, uh, Lucas, Hakim, Hernandez, two centre backs, uh, yeah, midfield. Stop, 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 wait, 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 easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, you're in the US. You rate yeah, Ake? You rate yeah, like, I don't these stones? Like, you rate them? Look at these B-rates. Yeah, exactly. Like, look at these you're, 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 you're going to... You're, you're, you're going to... Quick, first, yeah, really? you're, I didn't even well, wait, hear what you wait. said. Yeah, exactly. What form, what form, <laughs> first of all, what formation are we going to use, man? You, you just ran over... I say 4 3 3 We got goalkeeper. We got the entire defense. Our goalkeeper. I I think Don Roma. Don Roma. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, clear. Yeah. No, 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 no debate there. No debate there. Okay, yeah, no right, right back. Me. Right back now. I think right back. You can make a you can make a case for Walker. You can make yeah. a case for Walker. Wait, uh, wait, you think Walker is better than Hakimi? Well, can, well, I said, I said you can make a case. I said you can make a case. I I still pick Hakimi, but I think you can make a case. Like that's all I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 shit, am I speaking Walker, English? Honestly, bro, Walker be getting gas for shit. Hakimi be doing like. Isn't it? It also. De- I guess it would also depend on who I'm playing. Like Walker, Walker is a better defender than Hakimi, but Hakimi's better going forward and will link up more. Like, it like so. I would personally take Hakimi, but like if you took Walker, you're not like it's not. It's like as in if you say Walker for this one, it's not like you said um uh what's his name Ederson for goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, it's clear. Like there's there's no competition. Like yeah, Donnarumma's okay. a better overall keeper. Yeah, right. Let's go. Okay, all right. we'll all right. go I Hakimi, Hakimi, right? Hakimi, Hakimi. I'll say Hakimi. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, left back, back. Nunez. Yeah. 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 Nunez. Who yeah. is City's left back even? 
I, I mean, you I can, can say Gvardiol. Yeah, bro. Either way, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy for is PSG. the white Mukiele, man. No, no, we can't just go careful. We can't go careful. No, 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 no. I'm doing Baraldo on stones, man. Yeah, I'll probably say that. Wait, y'all think y'all yeah. think Stones even, better than Marquinhos? Even Stones plays as yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah, think Stones yeah, is better yeah. than Marquinhos? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah right yeah. now, bro, we're like a current guys, season and everything. Guys, yeah, yeah, bro. Well, Stones ain't even played this season. He ain't even playing games this season. Well, Marquinhos hasn't been playing recently either. So they're the same boat. They're both in the hospital, mate. They're both in the hospital. Bro, okay. Intrinsic, intrinsic qualities. You think Stones better than Marquinhos? Yes. Yes, yes. I think still, I think still is the most, the most <laughs> this shit is crazy. He's the best English center back we've seen with the ball this week. But have you? Did you see what Martin? You think you think uh, Stones was playing uh, midfield? At the Wait, this is this is hilarious. Tosin, you're you're what, backing Marquinhos now. Like you're the one who like wanted because him Marquinhos like sold. Legitimately, Marquinhos legitimately starts for every top team in the world. There is not a coach no, except on the PSG. That was put Marquinhos PSG. on the bench. Except PSG, because, basically, for you. Wait, what do you mean, though? He starts for us, doesn't he? Well, I'm toasting one of them sold. Oh, okay, okay. Tosin, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't, on, like, a I couple months. Like, doesn't, mean, doesn't mean I don't acknowledge his Well, if you're saying he's, what, he starts on every single be best team, and you said you still want him sold, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. No, Verratti starts on a lot of teams in Europe, but we pulled the right, yeah. Same thing with Neymar. Bro, yeah. Neymar can't even get on the fucking pitch, man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, quality wise, they start on a lot of teams, but we uh, put them the same shit that's gonna happen well, with Marquinhos. So, 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 can we vote on it? I, yeah, I let's vote, vote on I it. Vote, I vote, I vote I, from Baraldo and Stones, man. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I second I, I that. I vote for Baraldo and Lucas Hernandez. Okay. Wait, are we voting Baraldo over uh, Luca? Well, there's the center yeah, back yeah, pairing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Baraldo's yeah, yeah. already on here. There's three of us. So three of us, Baraldo's in. Now it's who's the second center back. I, me, me and me and Lucas David Hernandez. say, okay, one for Lucas Hernandez, two for um, Stones. T Tosin said Hernandez. You said Marquinhos? Hernandez, right? No, he said Marquinhos. Okay. Yeah. And well, either way, we've we've won. Does it? Wow, no, 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 no. DJ, 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 Rodri de Bruyne Vitinha. Relax, relax, relax. We'll, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Don't worry. What, Bernardo? Get <laughs> <laughs> DM. No, Bernardo's fucking ass, man. Uh, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. What the? <laughs> Vitinha what? pisses on him. Vitinha no. pisses on him. So you don't want Bernardo? So you don't want Bernardo at PSG then? You don't want him? You don't want him? Nah, he said no. He said no. Uh, Yo, yeah, no, 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 no. You have to say, you have to say, you don't want him. It's not priority. It's not priority. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, bro. I'm that's actually for, crazy. I'm checking for his experience, not for his quality. Nah, that's crazy. Come on, like, come on, bro. I think no, mid I'm, no Vitinha has to be there. I, I, I would drop, I would drop Rodri for Vitinha if you want to play that game then. No, no, but Rod Rodri's bro, the best DM in the world. Rodri's in there for Dude, sure. De Bruyne is in there for sure. Rodri's cooked, man. De Bruyne, you know what? Fuck what? De Bruyne. De Bruyne is cooked. De Bruyne oh, is actually... okay. No, 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 no. What are you smoking? What are you smoking? What are you smoking? If, if, we're, smoking? Playing if we're playing Dembele as a 10, I'm putting Dembele ahead of De Bruyne. De Dembele is a better player. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Okay, no, no. Okay, let's let's talk football so, here. Let's so, talk. So let's come back to football. Can we go back to the voting or no, man? Let's go to DM. It's Rodri for me, man. No, Wait, are we are we considering Bernardo Silva as a as a midfielder? Yeah, no, yeah. no, we're doing, we're doing defensive mid first, right? Or the middle center, whatever you want to say, man. No, okay, we, DM. We said well, the DM already. We said DM. Yeah, I'm saying Vitinha. Mo says Vitinha. I said Rodri. Yeah, I say Rodri. Rodri. All right, Rodri. So that's, that's three. That's three to one, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, 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 okay, the, the other midfielders right now: Zayemri, Bernardo. Uh, <laughs> Vitinha. Kevin, I'm Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, Vitinha. Oh, Vitinha has to be there. Vitinha has to be there. I, I'm Vitinha as well. All right. who, I'm going who, who, who Bernardo. To... No, if we say Vitinha so, as a sixth, then I'm gonna choose Fabio Ruiz. <clears throat> Genius, what? bro. Genius. Nah, 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 nah. All right, all right. Okay, I say, I say, I say Ruiz and KDV. What? Yeah, I, I, I can okay. roll with that. I can roll with that. No, I say I, like Kevin I, unfortunately, mm. I think right now. Mm. Uh, the thing is, for me, Bernardo and 
Vitinha. If we're okay, if we're going current current form, Vitinha. If you go like season overall, I probably etch out ever so slightly Bernardo. So are we going current form or are we going over overall the the whole season? I think Fabian's been better than both of them though. Fabian, yeah, I see a reason. I see reason KDB. Yeah. You don't think he's been that good? For me, KDB's in there for sure. But then for me, it's okay. between Bernardo and um, I'll Vitinha. I'll do current form. I'll do I'll do Vitinha. So for me, my midfield is Rodri, Vitinha, and um, uh, uh KDB. Oh guys, okay. we we forgot Soler. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, if you're talking form, what the fuck is KDB doing there, man? He's had he he's been subbed off for the biggest game of the season. He's been having like assists. Mate, he's United come United back. United. He's had like twelve goal involvements in like eleven games. The like, Premier League is ass. Saka has thirty goals in his bro, ass. Bro, I don't okay, care about okay, goals. Okay, right, okay, okay, easy, easy, easy there. <laughs> easy there, like. Um. Okay. Attack. Okay, right wing, right wing uh, Foden, Dembele, Dembele, easy. Yeah, Dembele. Yo, it did say. <laughs> You've seen the line, man. You like this performance? Right, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay, thinking, Mbappe's, Mbappe, I, I Mbappe on the left for argue. sure. I think we could argue Mbappe, Haaland for the middle and then put Foden off the left. Ooh. Yes, yes, Yeah, yes, I, I would yes, rather yes, do yes. that. Yeah, I would drop yeah, Haaland. Yeah, I would drop yeah, Haaland, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm playing I'm playing, I'm playing. playing Mbappe on the left and Haaland through the middle. Mbappe hasn't mm. played off the left though this season. He's played through the middle. No, he has. He started the season it's off on the like left. Bo both pretty much. It's been like 60-40. 60-40. I do oh, Mbappe on the left. And then oh you, you know mm. you, you wanna respect Talon, that's why. I, I Not gonna lie, this is this gonna this is gonna be a popular if I get if I get I think I think unfortunately I have to say um Doku nah. Okay, Doku. No, not Doku over Mbappe. That's crazy. But I, I, I'm gonna say I think Foden, Foden over Dembele, Foden over Dembele, and oh, right wing. Foden over Dembele, right wing. Unfortunately, he didn't play off the right though. He didn't play a winger. Right. Well, he played. He played. That's where he played against as United. As a winger, as a striker, as a fullback, Dembele is clear at Foden at every single thing with the football. Apart this from nah. finishing. This well, Apart from mean, finishing. Finishing. That's why we need finishing. <laughs> No, we I, don't I need was, that. We need a fucking playmaker. I was going with Foden, Mbappe, and Bella to my phone three. Yeah. Yeah, same, same. Get rid of Holland, man. Okay, so thus far, so uh, everybody's in agreement Mbappe's in there. No, nobody disagrees yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah. then Bella's in there. Okay, how many, how many? So I've, there's, I've got one Foden. Uh, David has one that's two. All right. And then David has, there's two, there's three Dembele's. Is that correct? Yep. Right. You, Mo, David, and DJ. And DJ. Um, okay. And then, so Dembele is on the right. And then, how many people said Holland? I put Holland. That's one. No, just yeah, you, you're the one. Just me. So then, yeah, are we? Yeah, so, okay. So, I guess. Okay. So I guess it's um. Uh, <laughs> so it's Mbappe <laughs> through the middle. Um. What? Foden on the right. Uh, no foot on the left and the moves on the right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So how many in total? So you got Mbappe for P Mbappe, Dembele, oh. Vitinha. Wait, what what did we say our midfield is in the end? We got seven PSG players. Four wait, city wait, players. Wait, 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 no, who's wait. our midfield? We didn't even finish off our midfield. I don't think no, we, we settled did. on our midfield. Who do, who's our, we got Rodri? We said Rodri, Fabian, uh, De Bruyne. That's not what I said. I said, I said, I said, I said Vitinha. I said <laughs> Rodri, Vitinha, and KDB. Wait, David David, you I said, said Fabian. Fabian. I said I said Fabian and KDB. Uh... Wait, have y'all yeah. have y'all finished this shit yet? I just wanted to go and show you. Y'all 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 did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. Wait, yeah, but yeah, 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 we have, we have, of the back five, we have four of the, of, of the back five though, right? We have so yeah, goalkeeper, we have, yeah. left back, right back, and one center back. back. Yeah, that's yeah. Four. So we have four of the back five. Okay. Yeah, one midfielder and the two wingers. And two, two, two. Yeah, we had seven. Yeah, you said well, seven to four. Yeah. Oh, and and Lucha, Lucha better than Pep. Lucha better than Pep as well. No, 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. He's cooked, man. Pep is falling off. He's cooked, man. Pep has the treble. Pep has a treble. Two trebles. Pep has the treble. We when know, was the last time Lucho won the this treble? Is history, listen, this is not history. Listen, this was last year. This is less than like ten months ago. <laughs> yeah, like, last year, last like, year. we're talking, we're talking purely this season. 
And Luke should get a better manager than Pep this season. I mean, you can make a case for that. Yeah, we forget we forget how Lucho embarrassed Pep heads ahead 2015. I need 2017. 2017 as well. Yeah. In the group stage. Group stages. Yeah. City Barca. Yeah. Yeah. Respect Pep. There are some players, Pep. There are some coaches Pep can't hack. He can't hack Potch. He can't really hack Klopp. He can't hack Lucho. Tuchel as well. Tuchel. I mean, how 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 many how many trebles do all those managers have combined? Zero. Irrelevant. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. I rest my case. I rest my one. case. I said one, one, one. Yeah. And how many does Pep have? Yeah. Oh, but we said combined. I rest my case. I rest my case. We removed the 2012 one. No, Nigeria. Not constant. Why? 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 Yeah, Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah, Nigeria. Nigeria. We don't. We don't count those. Negreta, Negreta. Oh, Shelton, you yeah, said something else. <laughs> no, they rigged it. They rigged it. They rigged it. Wait, you said removing which 2012? They didn't win 2012. 2009. It's 2009. Oh, 2009. 2009. The six super. Yeah, that was rigged. Even the Club World Cup was rigged. Everything was rigged. All right. Yo, PSG is actually that good, man. I think I think I think we're being, I think you guys are being a bit too generous there, but I think City are ever so slightly better. Just ever so slightly. They're they probably better collectively. They're, they're, like, better co- they're like what second or they're what but, two points off first quarterfinals. They're still in the FA Cup, still in the Carabao Cup. They can do a quadruple. No, 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 they can't do. No, they're out of the Carabao Cup. They can. They're still in. They're just like us. They're still in it for a treble this season. Bro, yeah, but we don't have one hundred and fifteen charges. Um, again, innocent until proven guilty. Okay, Man, how you, like, like, bro, are you a lawyer? Like, is that what you mean? You be lawyer enough? Are you like, innocent until proven guilty? This is the. This is just a. This is something I apply to everything. I apply to Mbappe when he has his hit his whole um. Uh, remember when, he, when the first thing I said on the pod when Mbappe that Monaco fiasco? I said you're innocent until proven guilty. I can obviously give like how I think given what I've seen, but again, they're innocent. I, I don't know enough on their case specifically. But yeah, yeah, yeah. this is something I apply. Generally that. speaking, I, 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 yeah, I just you, 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 you got to play defense like you, man. This no, is no, 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 you gotta have both sides on the pod, man. It keeps it interesting, man. No, it's a little too far, man. City glazing is crazy. Nah, stop, man. What saying that? City, what man. city is innocent in terms of their charge? Innocent until proven guilty in terms of the charges, man. Yo. <laughs> Like, I, I have no problem. Yeah, city. Is Bill Cosby a rapist? What? Why do you use Bill Cosby? Man? Bill Cosby? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's America's dad. Chill, man. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who's the guy that murdered? The, that black guy that murdered? But he never came OJ through. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. O- o- is he murder? O- o- Obviously. Does Mbappe affect France? Yes. We don't need proof to believe in it. Then how? why are you believing in it then? Because the evidence is there. Well, then, too then, much well evidence. then, then evidence well, is your form of proof. The evidence is quite clear. It's inflated sponsorship dealings. Um, well, again, I don't, I don't know enough about the like. Obviously, like I'm not saying that like I, you can but, make an you can I can inform an opinion on stuff like for the Mbappe one. Even before whatever he had, I still thought it was bad. I still gave an opinion on it. But I'm like, I'm not gonna go because my issue. What I don't. This is just a general. Like, this is like getting very philosophical. Is that I don't like when people go and rush to conclusions and say this is this. And like, how many cases have we seen where, for example, women go accuse men. These men go and get blasted on social media, and it turns out the um things weren't act they were there was lying this that, and the other and then in the in the end like for example look at um uh who is it um mendy mendy yeah. he goes gets accused of all these things everybody blasts him on social yeah, media no, years mendy later it comes no no he said he, he slept no, no, cons- no, it was con- yeah. it was it's consensual yeah, it was consensual, it was consensual. Uh, yeah. they said it was rape so okay so for and that's what i'm saying mm-hmm. like that's why so in a case like that i always go and say like i don't know and you don't agree no, no, no. I, I definitely know he did uh, illegal slash shady stuff. It's just that these women, they're so weak. And when they come to the hearing, they're like, oh, I don't want to say anything. No. It's like the Greenwood situation uh, as well. These women, no, 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 they no, call no, no, this no, stuff, no, and then, no, and then they're, they're like, no, oh my God, the no, no, shit. The, the Greenwood is different. It's different. Don't yeah. do the men. Well, just just that's what we have video of blood and everything. Yeah, bro, no, that's the evidence. That's, that's the evidence, evidence man. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't need to see the. I, I know that Mindy 
Uh, did did shade the stuff? How do you, like the thing that's I, I'm saying. I'm just going and being like cautious because the thing is, though, my issue what I don't like is like, like I'm just putting like myself in their shoes. Let's say you're that, and you, you just, just comes want the out facts to all be out there, basically. Yes. No, I said, yeah, yes, I won't right? give my concrete and, thing. And we were because... talking about city. We were talking originally about city. The facts are they yes they have. But the thing is, the also thing deal. for city though is that it's also my ignorance. Like, that's, that's 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 just that's why we're talking about city. But I the thing is, though, with city, I'm I'm not, I haven't like gone into the I don't know everything that's on there, so I'm just saying I don't know. As in, it doesn't look good. Don't get me wrong, but as in, I won't go and say that they are definitely Bro, guilty of everything the, they said. They're Spiegel. You can read but that's why I don't have the time. That's why I'm saying I don't know. Yeah. I'm not giving giving my final thing. Like but, you don't, I don't have to even put on every single thing. That's my point. But, but the thing is, like, I don't even think like the 115 charges. Man, I don't think anything's gonna, nothing's going to happen to City though. Like, well, no, I don't know y'all. Like, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Nothing's gonna happen to you. They're too, they're too big right now. They, they make so much, too much money to, to get any yeah, punishment. Yeah, brand right exposure now. for the penalty yeah. and all that. If they were like a Brentford or like an Everton or something, yeah, then probably, yeah. We're too big to get punished. Yeah. But but yeah, yeah, respect that, man. Y'all cooking them too much. Respect that. No, I, I we all respect that. <laughs> it's just not Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, yo, can someone like pull up this uh, the first um pod man? We went to not the ex Lucha sign Lucho on. Ball, man. Honestly, though, Lucha Ball is still Miz, bro. Like I know I'm giving them, I'm giving Lucha love right now, but. No, I tell you, you're you're actually an enigma. You're actually an enigma. You're going, you're like, going to say, man, I remember when you said, better, bro. This is, this is party, no, no. bro. The football got to be on no. point, bro. Like, I remember, I remember, I remember when Tosin was saying Vitinha sold, when you said Marquinhos sold, uh, Lucho gone, all this stuff. And now you've done a 360 uh, and a 180 turn. All right. Done full pie, full pie radians. And now you're, bro, you're, 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 you're glad If I want to trade, if I want to trade an all NBA all-star player, does that mean he's trash? No, you said you you said you wanted you, you were weren't you if the I one wanna, saying if I wanna wait sell, no wait 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 Mo 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 I have a qu- Mo I, Mo I have a question for you Do, is it me or am I resmem- misremembering when we asked specifically wait, wait David I think you were there too when we said we asked the question <laughs> was Vitinha um beginning of season so on and so forth better last season his beginning of the season or this season uh, this and season. he said last season is is this is this the same Tosin? This is the yeah, same I guy. A, yeah, I got, I got yeah, a question. Dude. I, said that, I, said that. I got a question. Dude. Do you take that back? Do you take that back? Do you take? Do you take? Do you take that back? That's my, that's my own question. Like, yeah, do you take that back? Do you take that back? Do you take that comment? Do you take that comment back? Like twenty percent. There's still some credence to what was said. Yeah, there's still some credence to what I said. So do you still? And do you also take back? Um, you want him sold? Do you still want him sold? Ooh. If Vitinha. 80 million come, I mean, if 80 million drops on the table, yeah. But he's by far undroppable. He's undroppable for us. Yeah. Right. So wait, do you think yeah. do you think Vitinha current form is a world class midfielder? No, no. He lacks. Okay, who's who's a world class midfielder, midfielder in his position then? Who's a world class midfielder in his position? Like world class central midfielders playing right now. I guess if you want, like, where do you think his best position is? Number one, and then who would you say is the is is um uh, the best player in that position or best players in that position? Right now, like the deep line playmakers playing at a high level. I mean, you got Rodri, obviously in the Premier League. You got Chahanoglu in Serie A. You got. Uh, I mean, in Spain, you got the uh, Hirona dude, Alex Garcia, who's playing well. In Madrid, you have Cruz, who's still as good as ever. Um, so no Liverpool, Declan Rice, no Chouamini, no none of these guys. McAllister playing at the top level as well. McAllister's not a deep line playmaker. Rice doesn't. He started out as a six. He started. He started out as a six this season. McAllister. Oh, no, he's not. He's not playing. Um, a lot of dudes are a lot of dudes out there are playing at a high level. I mean, so would you say that all those players though are better than Vitinha currently? I think everyone I mentioned is currently better than Vitinha. So then, why did you put why did you not put Rodri then in our combined eleven, or why would you like not entertaining it? I wasn't here. I, I went to go do some shit. Remember, I wasn't here for y'all when I did the whole eleven. I, I was only here for the, the defense part. All right, fair the enough. Fair enough. Part. Yeah. 
No, yeah, Rodri does make a combined City PSG eleven. What y'all didn't put him in? <laughs> like, no, no, well, no, I mean, no, no, it didn't. Won, he didn't. I, I, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did, I did. <laughs> no, okay. no, the, my thing is like, no, I get the. I'm not talking about the Vitinha stuff. The, the midfield, the midfield for the combined, the Lucho ball stuff. I know you, you you like the dribbling and takeoff and stuff, but you do you think like it is down to us not having like the players who can actually like take on and dribble that you don't like? Bro, Mbappe stinks, man. But the thing is, what sucks is that Mbappe is our goal scorer. But Mbappe on the wing is the nastiest shit. I don't know why people think he's a winger. But did, did, was it was it his really a center forward either? Wait, wait, so we said like, Mbappe he, stinks. He, what his like dribbling stinks? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it's ass. So wait, he so his goal that he left scored left. against Real Sociedad was that just what, like, just bad? Like, what? what how do you explain that? The goal that bad. everybody's raving about, how he like it's made bad. his it's like bad. made his 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 right back dance, the 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 Macarena, and sat him down. Yeah, Zubaldia. So so yeah, he yeah, was... he made him dance, <laughs> and you're saying his dribbling is bad. The nigga name is Zubaldia. <laughs> <laughs> like what else? Did, what else need to be said? Like. <laughs> That's a bad, like, that's just bad defense. That's all that is, bro. Hand down, man down, like, that's just all that is, bro. Like, he can't do that in Liga. I literally said that in the stream. Bro, in Liga, he gets doubled immediately in yeah. 1v1 coverage in the box. Immediately, yeah, a second marker is coming in there. So, so you think Mbappe is bad Mbappe, at Mbappe dribbling? Gonna put, Mbappe, Mbappe go drop 80 goals in that league, bro. Like, that's just, like, they can't clamp. They can't, they can't sit on shit. Like that's just what it is. Like that's crazy that you said. So Mbappe is a bad dribbler. That's crazy. Oh no, he's not a bad dribbler. Well, I mean that's what. I see. Bad is too far. He's is he a, a good dribbler. dribbler? Is he a good dribbler? He just about. It's... Yeah, just about. I I just feel like I I don't think you would ever or really enjoy Lucho's football because other than maybe Dembele, no one like dribbles to the extent you want you enjoy you enjoy football no but i don't see he's doing that but colo was doing that but, was well, but doing I, yeah but i that mean i don't like i don't want me into into talking about i don't i don't think i think but like you you may disagree with me man but i think for that like it's it's mbappe dembele and ramos or barcola at this point i don't think colomani is the conversation i, th I think it's between those two right now oh no 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 i i agree there colomani is just I, super sub strictly yeah so what i'm saying like between Ramos and this dude, if they do start Ramos, Ramos, Ramos cannot like twist his waist, man. He can't dribble for shit. We all know this. So he just the thing is, if we just need, Mbappe needs to play. Mbappe needs to play much better. That's just what it is. It's like he needs to do more real de destabilizing and not be selfish. The thing is, Mbappe is looking for his goal playing from there. Like whereas if he's at the nine and he can drift to the left when he wants to. Fine, he could do all that shit, but like, I don't know, man. On the left, he's not, he's not, he's not beating his marker as easily. Like, no, I disagree. I disagree. I mean, just like look at if I mean, if we look back at like his highlights against Real Sociedad, um, the, remember the first action when um Barcola like make forces the keeper to make a good save there. That's yeah, that's an yeah, Mbappe. Yeah. That's Mbappe going beating his uh his, his right back there. Um, if you remember yeah. the goal that we scored that that Zary Emery scored to equalize against Dortmund in the group stages, that was an Mbappe run there as well. Like there's just a few. No, but like, he can do that. He can do that playing from center forward. He can still be. No, but there, but the, well, those two, Dor the Dortmund one and the one he was like close to the touchline. So those are yeah, like wing. That's a winger that, play. Yeah. Yeah, but then he's a winger. Like if you're if you're saying that he's just play center forward and goes, then what's that? What's the difference between that and being just a winger at that point, really? Not necessarily. Then you're saying other players in history are wing, like like Benzema. You're gonna say Benzema's a winger because he'll be on the but touchline. Benzema, but Benzema, Benzema, but as in like Benzema wasn't like going. Or Thierry Henry is a winger because he'll go to the touchline. Like, well, Thierry Henry was a well, was a winger. He he played winger. He as winger. He's a, I mean, he was, was a winger. He was a winger technically, but he was also a forward, right? Like. I mean, that's he's, yeah, he's, but that's the problem with Mbappe. He just don't. He don't have a position because I'm telling you, he's not. I think his best position is a left forward. Enough, he he's a left forward. Well enough to be a a, a, a winger, and he he's a left forward. He's a left forward. He's not quite like he's not a Vinny. He's not somebody. He's not like a Dembele who's gonna touch the the line. But he's not like he's not a Holland either. He's not gonna stay like planted. He's like in that half space, that place in between. He can do a bit of both. 
that's how I would define his position. Like he's he's not at his best when he's playing straight through the middle, and he's not at his best when he's playing purely as a proper proper full 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 on winger. Like even if you look back at his like Monaco days, I remember like listening back um um his interview um when he when he joined the club. First and foremost, like I thought Mbappe had a high like Mbappe already has a pretty high pitched voice, but I look back at those interviews like golly me, holy smokes. But basically in that interview, they he got asked, like, what's your favorite position? He's like, Well, even as like when I was going through the academy, I played everywhere. Because even at Monaco, like he played out on the wing, right wing. Then he went like played as a second striker with Falcao. At PSG he started off as a right winger. He's sort of played everywhere. But I think his best position overall is left left forward position. Because even for France, he's not playing as a winger like Dembele is. He's playing in that left forward position. No, that in France they just yeah he starts from the left. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I don't really want to dwell hard, dwell too much on this topic. It's just yeah, so I don't like how. French squad, right? Is he gonna make the squad? No, I doubt he makes the squad. Yeah, Who? I think Barco takes the spots, man. And I think he's gonna. But there were rumors that Barcola is not going to make the squad, and Colomani will. For real? I saw, I saw, I saw yeah. vice versa, man, from Tanzi and stuff. So. I'm not even sure what is this. They say that they're win. monitoring Bar- Barcola, but they're, they're they're saying he shouldn't be called up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Do you guys Zyamri think Zayamri? So. Yeah, they, they, yeah, I saw Zayamri's getting called up. Yeah, Zayamri's going to get called up. I mean, I haven't been monitoring enough other of the French players to know, like. Then we got impeccable PR. <laughs> did, you, did you see that? T- that t- t- Henry is, is called, like reconsidering, like adding um, taking Mbappe to the Olympics. He's oh well. I mean, he's it's not it's not serious. Mbappe has made it very clear he wants to go to the Olympics. Yeah, well, he's been like, very Henry's open. Coach, well, Henry's a coach, man. He's, I don't think he wants to take him. He did a uh, stuff with Paramount Plus today. I don't think I don't think no, no it's not that no it's not that it's it's about it's about Mbappe's even said it himself it's about whether the because cl- because the Olympics it's not a FIFA regulated tournament so the clubs aren't regulated to let them go so Real Madrid can say no or or whatever whatever club he's at can say no and and so they he, can say no basically right. yeah and he he well he won't as in if he does go he'd be breaching his contract gotcha yeah. But Mbappe's made it very clear that he wants to go in and, and Henri's like if he wants like if if you got the up like because well, I mean Mbappe loves that PR like you're if you think Mbappe Olympics in Paris your home city at that point like of course he wants to go and I like if you're Thierry Henri are you gonna say no to the what the best player in the world arguably in the Olympics because you can take what I think three players outside of like yeah. the under twenty ones or something. It's three, yeah, it's three Mbappe, Giroud, and Griezmann. Yeah, I I don't know. Your, mm, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Actually, pretty pretty weird. If that's the case, that that's broken. Holy smokes, that actually broken. That French that French team is actually yeah, pre- it's actually underperformed. The French is a spoil. The French under twenty threes. You got Malagusto. Obviously, Zaire Emery, Barcola, Sherky. Oh, will Sherky be in the I mean, he should, assuming. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, he might not be because it's only because he, he you can only take eighteen players to the Olympics. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if he doesn't no, make like that date, if he doesn't make the squad, oh, I will eat, man. I'll have a feast, man. Uh, I'll, I'll be too funny. Why, why are you praying on his downfall? That's nah, not nah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You th- y'all think Turkey will cook, it, cook with this uh, Lucha system or not? Who's that? Why are you doing Shirky, this? Ryan Shirky. Ryan Shirky. I said I said it before. Man. I remember that when, when during the transfer rumors, uh, I think I remember more because I came on the pod. I was like, keep this man uh, like five kilometer radius outside of no, Paris. Don't, I don't want him anywhere near my club. Record, you don't like football. You're already on record. You don't like the sport. So. What? <laughs> I don't want Shirky. I don't want Shirky at PSG. I don't want Shirky at PSG. Wait, wait. wait. Yo, Mo. Mo, I got a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. You think Shirky is? You think Shirky is fat ass who press? No chance. No chance. <laughs> Look, what I've always said this. I will, I will make that 10 million big, get Turkey, then send him out to the Bundesliga and see if he can actually develop. Um, 
Yeah, he's sacrificing himself for the team. Would that happen? I don't think so. No. <laughs> for me, Shir so. Shir Shirky Shirky is a, a Hatem Benarfa 2.0. I think Bernard for 2.0 for me. That's profile. That's profile. Like you five zero. You caught. Like you just profile. That's profile. Bro, how? How? Tell me, left footed. Um, um, like they have too many things in similar. Left footed, great. Like have have been like PR'd to oblivion during their academy days. Have been told like if they try, they'd be some of the best players ever. Not the quickest. Have a great left foot on them. I think both of them are of Algerian descent. Like it, it, it just seems like a like a, a Hatem Bernard for two point oh. Um, yeah, I would say mentally they're both extremely arrogant, extremely ungrateful. Uh, they don't like Mbappe got the same shit as well. <laughs> Bro, wait, Mo, 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 what is it with these? What is it with you Algerians and this attitude, man? <laughs> All of them have Algerian in them. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Being Algerian, you gotta be half Algerian. Benzema and Zidane, they're anomalies. I mean, Zidane <laughs> behaves more like a French than an Arab. And uh, ben Benzema is a huge question mark. He comes from Lyon, from, from the criminal areas and everything, but he still made him, man. Uh, yeah, he, he's an anomaly, man. He's an anomaly. So, so do you but, want your phone? You know what? Algerians. One thing we have in That's common is, is talent. Talent is there. Talent yeah, is there. True. Really. It's, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. But extreme amounts of arrogance. Yeah, I saw, for me, Shirky is a big no-no. But I'm just thinking, imagine Barcola. Shirky, That's Shirky a, is the biggest. Shirky is the biggest footballing talent in the world right now. what so that's, that's cap that well okay wait like what under what like wait, under what, what age what, under what, what age do, it's not about age it's just what he can do ball to feet nobody does he even start for leon no no he doesn't <laughs> yeah i, I was here talent on the bench <laughs> what? no the thing is he is a starter technically but you know they be hating on him but he's not. Exactly. <laughs> like they be hated. Like they be hated. Like they they playing Malik Fofana. That some dude they bought in January over him. It's just, it's nasty politics over there. Wait, 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 wait. Tell us, tell us. Okay, when you say he's the best football talent, he's just in all age groups, everything combined, like all all things. Yeah, because what he just can do ball to feet is ridiculous. So like better than Messi, Neymar, Vinny, all these players. No, no I'm talking. I'm like, talking that's what I'm saying. What's the age group like? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh Are yeah, they? he better than Vinny. He be like yeah, he more talented than Vinny. Yeah, oh, Messi, Neymar, wow. obviously. Yeah. That's crazy. But, yeah, Vinny. Yeah, yeah. Can 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 you be better? <laughs> Look, can <laughs> probably is better actually. <laughs> Did I say? Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know how to judge better. Like we're talking, we're strictly talking talent. Like. All right. Okay. Uh, I, 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 check your redemption arc next season, and I'll be there. We just need a Bundesliga. We need a Bundesliga stand. Yeah, but that Bundesliga PR, man. That's no, nah, man. I'm we not. Have, it's like nah. a rehab center of football. No, no, I don't care, man. Like, cause, cause remember with Ben Arfa, I and mean, initially was at Newcastle. And he had like his stint at Newcastle, and then went to Nice, and that's the season he popped off. Like I, that, that was the season where all his comps were all the, over YouTube and everything. And we bought him next year, and we we fell for. The, yeah, but we fell for the trap. We fell for the trap. It was a thirst trap. That's what it was. Next season, what did he do after PSG? He he didn't do nothing. He wasn't he wasn't wanted by Emery. That's why. It, he, yeah, Lauren he, Blanc he, he insulted. Him, yeah, he insulted Emery as well. Yeah, Lauren Blanc I mean, wanted him, not Emery. So that's it. It was gonna be. It was gonna go bad from jump. As in, like, okay, if 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 we already have problems saying that we don't want Mbappe, he doesn't defend, he doesn't do this. How, like, at least Mbappe, at minimum, he's, like, one of the best in the world, and he scores goals. Shirky's not doing that. Shirky's not doing that. How do you know yeah, this? I, I, I think the like, church how, is, uh, how do you know I, this? I, I just said it to, like, to, to mess with Tulsa to, to the... I'm going to tell some those church. Yeah, why are we talking about Shirky in 2024, man? <laughs> I just said to 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 we all know that. No, 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 no. Respect your team. He's got time. He's, he's, he's got time. Hopefully, like I said, redemption season next year. Redemption season next year. You could. I think. Yeah, play. I think he still has the potential to be a good player, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be a generational player. Oh no, no, stop, 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 stop. I, I think he still does. <laughs> he's, he's, still, he's, he's still early, man. He's, he's yeah. twenty-one. He's like. What, I like think. 20? I think he'll have a, like a, a a similar career to like a, a Samir Nasri, something like that. A good career, but like, like you won't. You won't be. Yeah. That, yeah. Samir yeah, Nasri, yeah. something like that. Yeah, Nasri is one of the best I've seen. That's yeah, Nasri's like like 
not even like in the competition for like French legends and stuff like like he's good, but not like he he he, he, he yeah, but that's right. he yeah, but Nasri's better than Griezmann though. You all agree? No, no, no. That's no, that's no, a no, that's a criminal no, take. That's a criminal no, take. No, that is a criminal no, take. No, that is that I, you should I, be I, you should I, be arrested I, for I, that. I, 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 no, I, no, it's I, I, not. I, I, how many? How many? Top five French players. Man. I have Griezmann. Like, are we like you could put Griezmann like top three? Uh, arguably, I don't say I would say. Uh, but, top like, three? No, like top five French players. Easy is yeah, top um, five, no I'd order. Say. No order. It's Zidane, Platini, Mbappe, Benzema. No, nah, I, I can't put I Benzema there. I can't put Benzema. You can't put Benzema, Benzema there. there? Benzema there? What has he done for the French Benzema national team? What has he done for the French? Okay, wait. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Are we saying for the, like French players or, or or French national team? What are we French saying? Players, Bro, stop this. French don't, don't, don't. don't. It doesn't matter. Like just French players in general. Even French, French, French players, he makes the list. French players, he makes the list. French players, he makes the list. French, French, but for the French national team, doesn't make the list. Yeah. Even French players, though. Even French players, though. You can make a case still, even still for Griezmann. You can yeah, still no, make a case for Griezmann. Yeah. Griezmann for Benzema? Yes. No, no, no. What, no, no, no. Uh, 2016 level, Griezmann, 2016 Griezmann was podiuming for like, well, cause, uh, 2018 Griezmann arguably was robbed of a Ballon d'Or. You can make a case there. 2018 like, Griezmann was yes. robbed of a Ballon d'Or? Uh, no, you can make a case he should have won it. A strong case. No, no, no. He they wasn't even France's best. Because they won the World Cup. That's why you're saying yeah. that bullshit. Won like the World Cup, no. most goals no. in the, for Atleti won uh, won the Europa League as well. Twenty sixteen Griezmann as well. Like, like twenty sixteen <laughs> Griezmann is his peak. I'll give that's like the only season where I'll be like, okay, he, like he could have arguably won Ballon d'Or that year. But the thing but is, so, okay, he did, he did that as in K. Okay, if let's say let's say K, okay, we say that Kareem Benzema's best season was what 2021, 2022? Wait, yeah, that that season. All right. He has okay, multiple that, great seasons before that too, as well. Did good, but like wasn't like before then. I think okay before that season, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. clear Griezmann over Benzema. I think yeah, 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 that yeah, season yeah, put yeah, yeah. Benzema back no, in the conversation without, for me. See, that's, yeah. that's, that's 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 nonsense. Even without that season, he still has Benzema. Still got like three, four seasons better than like Griezmann. Like come mm, on, bro. Griezmann on average, like stop. No, I don't think so. I don't wait, think so. wait, wait, wait. Okay, because yeah, because you haven't been watching football wait, wait, wait. that long. But, but, wait, but who, who's, like, who's, like, wait, what's your, wait, what's your own top five? Let, let's hear everybody's top five. I, I want to see something. Uh, like, what's your in top order? Five not, not in order. You can say any, just in, right, random. Just five players. Top French players, yeah. Um, top five French players. Um, all time. Just, 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 just all time. Okay, okay. Go on. Yeah, Zidane, Platini, Mbappe. Um, Griezmann, no, Mbappe, Benzema. I guess Griezmann is fifth. Yeah, you gotta. Play. I guess Griezmann. Too. All right. <laughs> is he right. No, actually no 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 no? Sorry. Uh, Griezmann. No, no not Griezmann. Griezmann. Sorry. Mbappe, um, Platini, Zidane, Henri, Benzema, Frank Ribery. Right. Oh my god, oh my god. that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, you said French players, you didn't say national yeah, 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 team, you just said players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got Zidane, okay, Latini, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, probably just Fontaine. Um, oh. just oh, no, 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 you can't be. <laughs> no, 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 I'm thinking about nobody. No, I'm thinking about. As so, a Marcy, wait, Marcy, wait, wait, wait. What the f no? Wait, wait, and who then the who the probably fuck is Mbappe. Mo, that's wait, that's Mo. criminal. Mo, see, Mo, a... David, David, Fontaine has the most goals I'm, in I'm, one World Cup. That's uh, all he did. He didn't do much I'm, afterwards. He didn't do much afterwards. Yeah, Apart from the coaching PSG, the war started. I'm a young. And it was at that dinosaur era football too. That was that dinosaur era World Cup football as well. You move. I'm, no, I'm, a, I'm a young guy right now, man. Me and the chat. Nobody do 80s. Do, do, do a team yeah. 80s onwards. That's why I put Platini. Yeah. Just 80s onwards. Yeah, did, did, did okay, okay. Platini is it then? Is it picture um, black and white? <laughs> <laughs> Ribery, <laughs> Benzema, and, and then Mbappe, yeah. Dang. Okay, yeah, that's basically the same as me. The same as me. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. David, what's I'm yours? Think, it it uh, feels like we're missing yeah, I, someone. Add Zizou, Ari, Platini, Ari, Mbappe, and Griezmann. Griezmann, Griezmann. I, I don't have Benzema in mind, man. 
So, yeah. yeah, maybe Henri uh, over Benzema. Yeah, that's yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's, that's on my list. Yeah, I know Benzema in mind. No, I'm not for Henri. Benzema is better than Henri. Like, discernibly huh? better than Henri. Oh, what do you mean, Henri? Okay. Like, this is you Premier League. Like, you prep hard. You fucking prep hard, man. Bro, like, what is this? We're not even getting this anymore yeah. with the Prem, bro. Oh, like, why, 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 why are you Dude. getting mad, bro? How so? Like, you said yeah, that Henri is nowhere near. Henri is nowhere near Benzema. Oh, oh my god, oh my days. days, oh my he's, days. I'm just serious, oh he's nowhere near days. Benzema. Nah, 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 that's criminal. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro, Benzema is discernibly better than Henri. That's player for player, peak for peak. Like, bro. Ugh. Okay, okay, I think if you want to argue peak, I, I can argue peak with you. But I think, like, when you look at the, what they did at Totality. No, nah, even uh, peak. Even peak, no. Even peak, you can't. No, I don't no, think so. No, peak, peak Benzema won the Ballon d'Or. What were we going to... Peak, peak Henri oh. was robbed. Like, truly oh, robbed. Oh, Pavel yeah, Medved. Yeah, 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 Robbed yeah, 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 the Ballon d'Or. Pavel Medved should have... Huh? This is what? 2003, 4? Wait, wait. The same Medved. Whenever Pavel Medved won. Wait, so you're saying the same Nedved that led Juve to the Champions League final? And he was suspended. He couldn't even play in it because he was suspended. And that's the only reason why Juve lost that final to Milan in 03. Like, you're saying that Nedved? That was that? Like, come on, bro. Nedved, Nedved literally replaced Zidane at Juve. First season, he replaced Zidane at Juve. Was a fan favorite. Like, yo, y'all need to actually respect the no, history no, no. of the in game, 2003, bro. No, Henry, 2003, no. 2004, is not, Ballon d'Or. 2004, he didn't. Um, no, 2004 was. Uh, I think was it. I think it was someone else. It wasn't. 2003 was Nedved. I think 2004 was Ronaldinho. I think it was Ronaldinho. I think 04, I think, 05 is like Ronaldinho. Was it 04? I think and no. I think 04. Like kind of 04. I think it was. I think it was the season when they went invincible. That season. That season, oh, that I think he's did? robbed. No, he was robbed of a Ballon d'Or. I no, think that no, season. No, 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 Bro, okay, no. you know what? I, okay, let, let's let's remove. Okay, I has David is you your top five? Yeah. Okay, you know how you guys say dinosaur yeah, football? You guys, you know how you guys like to say dinosaur football? Yeah. Let, let's say pre Mourinho era Premier League. Can we call it a Farmers League? Because that's what Harry was dominating. I mean, that, like pre Mourinho no. era. It wasn't. Premier it wasn't League. the. Can, it can wasn't, we do though. that? Can we do it that? Wasn't, can that though. be a time? No, bro, it, Premier it, League it wasn't, wasn't big like that. It wasn't big like that. It, it wasn't, wasn't big, three. yeah, but it wasn't a farmers league. Like, if 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 we're gonna start saying like like that, the the Premier League then was a farmers league. Then we have to say League Iron is a farmers league too. Today, like now, like we, we like it wasn't a it wasn't the best no, league in the league world. Got, got, got more got more talent than two thousands, bro. What? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Oh, pre pre Mourinho era, pre before the money came in, before Chelsea came in with the money. No, I I think the quality of football was shit, but I think relative to the rest of the world, I don't think it was like it was in the far. Yeah. I yeah. don't think it's as far as behind this league on is right. I know now. farmers league is. Uh, I'm pushing it with farmers league. I'm pushing for, it with for me. Like, the whole the whole farmers league shit is stupid because like pe people call a league where where one team dominates a farmers league, but that's not what a farmers league actually is though. Like a farmers league is like you know when it's like. The, the players are so the level of football is so shit. The players actually have to go work on a farm, you know, to like they work side jobs and shit. And that's about basically any non like semi professional yeah, football. Exactly, that, that's farm. <laughs> okay. That's well, that, that know, the, well the, the thing is, though, colloquial, the thing most people mean when they mean farmers league is a team that like over yeah, like steamrolls their, yeah, their their competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I they would say PSG so does in league aren't and Bayern do in the Bundesliga. Yeah, but then yeah. I would also then say if that's the case, then why are we then saying the same Premier thing about league. the Premier League then? Exactly, exactly with City. It, it's so stupid. Like you have yeah. to be consistent. Yeah. yeah but anyways, yeah. my, my so, top no, what, five. What, what makes what wait, what, what what is Henry better at than Benzema? Yeah, 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 better dribbling, better, better dribbler, better pace. I'd say that's it. He's that's a better, I think he's a better creator as well. Yeah, better creator, better, better back to goal. I wouldn't say he's, oh, a better he's not better. He's not creator. better back to goal. He's not a better you, you creator. He's not Benzema's better back to goal. Benzema yes. is like an elite playmaker. Benzema pass, Benzema's ability to pass and move is second to none. His ability to pass and move. As fluidly as he does from no, nah, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys need to, you guys need to respect Henri. And this is me as a as a Spurs Henry, fan, Henry, right? Henry, this is Henry, me as a Spurs Henry, fan. Henri was exposed on like even like the little technical like in, intangible parts of the game, like playing in closed spaces. He wasn't a Barcelona level nine. He got exposed there. That's why Etzo had to play there. 
there's a reason why Exo says in interviews, Hari wasn't on my level. Well, that's just Eto's also like, very arrogant. <laughs> Eto was better, <laughs> Eto, but he's not even wrong. Like Eto was better than Henri. But like, I mean, you can make the point is, I mean, you can make case for sure. Yeah, Eto is better than Henri. Uh, you can yeah, you can make. Yeah, like, but the thing is, like, Henri's skills, like, man, Henri, I think Henri, like, the most overrated player, bro. Even with football, even footballers know low, low key he overrated. Nah, that's because Eto, 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 Eto didn't even, bro. Eto didn't even rate Henri above Anelka. No, 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 no. Well, it took something wrong, but no, 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 no. no, but it just goes to show you. It just goes to show you. It's like it's like a hoop thing, bro. Like it's like okay, it's I, like okay, this, this, this might be a hot when, take when for me. Spurs, when the Spurs won the championship in 2014, and Kawhi was like 22, yeah, people were saying, "Oh, Kawhi is better than PG." Paul, right, and KD and KD was like, "No, no, he's not. He's not better than PG because it's just it's no, talent, but, like." That's not the same thing. Yeah, Are you comparing Kawhi to, to Henri? What? Yo, can someone dumb that for me, man? I don't, I don't know fake sports, man. Like, I help. I'm, I'm, I'm not comparing Kawhi. I'm not comparing Kawhi to Henri. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an analog. So, like, there's these are two highly rated quote unquote players, but I, I, then they have someone though. that's yes, they have someone on their level. Okay, so basically, you have someone yeah. that's you know a contemporary, okay, that plays the same position as you. Okay. Yeah. And you, you see, you think, you know, it's based on just purely talent that mm -hmm. one is better. Like that's just all it is. What right. Kawhi? So people, Anelka, so Anelka, and Henry came from the same academy. Anelka was really? high, highly what's rated. He was is, higher bro. rated than Anelka's. A, he was, like I don't, even, bro. Come on now. You I'm not he's saying he's better. better. I'm not saying he's better. I'm just trying to add credence to what Eto Eto's line of. No, yeah, but Eto can be wrong. Eto can be wrong. I think can be wrong. What the fuck is this? Like I can't can be wrong. Care what Eto has to say. You don't care what he has to say. No, why the fuck would I? Why would I care what Eto has to say? I mean, I'm not saying that. We're trying to have a debate. I don't have a problem. Like I, I'm not saying. Yeah, I, I, I well, think well, Eto can be wrong. You wouldn't care. Yeah. Wait, you wouldn't care. Yeah. You wouldn't care what. You wouldn't care what a protagonist in, in the game has to say. Like that's he's, not a, he's, he's a side character. He's not a protagonist. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't do that, man. Don't you do that. You think Eto is an all-time good player? You think Eto is underrated? Eto is underrated. Eto is underrated. He's probably the greatest. He's probably the greatest African footballer ever. What do you mean? Arguably, he is the greatest African. Is, is, all time. Is, is, exactly. Is, 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 okay. See. We said we said African player. We said like born yeah, race. He's Nigerian. He was, he was born in Marseille and play, he's no, never he's played for Marseille. Huh? No, but yeah, but it's all about blood. <laughs> he's, he's never played a minute for the Algerian national team ever. Uh, oh yeah, no, no, but he's still Algerian. <laughs> Bro, yeah, he's got he's Algerian. Algerian blood for sure. Yeah, but he's he's not he's not, he's not an African footballer. <laughs> I mean, he is. He's from Africa. Bro, bro, respect that too, man. Anyways, he, man, he, that's he, the greatest he, he's, African player of all time. He's the top ten track of all time, easily, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Argue, maybe argue, even like argue. a top seven, maybe top five, man. You don't push it, man. Yeah, I, he's, I, he's I, better than Suarez. I agree. But, Look how everyone paused. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know about that. 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 I don't know. No, no, no. I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. Prime to prime, I can't say that. I think they're 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 they're, they're, they're equals. They're equals, but greatest. Suarez is the greatest. Um, you know, flash tracks of flat track bully of strikers ever. He's a what? Flat track bully. You know, just small teams like you know how to stat pad Cardiff, Norwich, like that type shit. Like he knew how to stat pad, bro. His 15th, 16th season is the most disgusting form of stat padding I've ever seen. Like what Neymar and Messi giving him penalties? Oh, it's just nasty stuff. I mean, listen, if you're they gonna fight, if we're, if we're gonna go and start saying that, then we're I gonna remember, start having we're gonna, gonna have to start chopping them. a lot of 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 Real Madrid, of Ronaldo's Levante goals and Messi's uh uh who 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 we're gonna go who pick hey, them Deportivo yeah, La Corunia and stuff. They were padding too. Like they were and, and and put him up right there as well. Like fifteen, sixteen Suarez is on another level of stat. Like it's it's egregious. Respect Suarez. Anyways, I don't think I don't think I don't even I did I get I don't think I get my no, top no, no, five. 
What's, what's your top five? Yeah, what's your okay. top five? It's no order. Zizou, Platetin, Platini, um, Henri, Mbappe, and Griezmann. Yeah, it's the same as mine, then. What, yeah. So what what makes Griezmann or Henri? By the way, Henri was a flop for the national team, by the way. Like, you guys know that. I, like, yeah, when yeah, he actually yeah. came to the it was pretty much a flop. He, he's, 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 late, no, no, no. In the in the latter part of his career, yeah. But I mean, Henri is a World Cup winner a and sub. Euro yeah, winner. He was a super sub. Uh, super, was sub. Was super, super sub in the first one. Super first sub. One, he was super sub. Super sub. Super sub. 99, 1998. He came out and played on the right wing and shit. Oh, oh, truth. Oh, oh, truth. Was, uh, actually, Euro, Euro 2000. Henri is super underrated. Super underrated. Well, there you go. I mean, like, I you didn't... can watch the like, you can watch the final. Well, you, if you, you want to talk about what they've done for the French national team, like Benzema is not much better. Yeah, Benzema needs to shut see, up. But see, but let me just say this. No, wait, no. Benzema's 2014 World Cup. I said he's good. 2014. He was good. Yeah, he was good. He was good. It's better, he was than, good. It's better than any Henry tournament with. Trends. No, not 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 two thousand, not two thousands. I don't think. I don't think he was better than two thousand. Henry wasn't that good in Euro two thousand though. He just played. Hard. He just had like one or two good games, like. Okay, he, wasn't uh, that great in he wasn't as good as like Will Sword and, and shit. Okay, well, like, okay then then Benzema, um Honduras. Benzema was, good. was your main man. Benzema was your main man at twenty fourteen. That twenty fourteen World Cup, he was your main man and he was carrying the team. He was yeah, arguably the best too. player in the group stages. He was actually the arguably the best player in the group stages, bro. That's how yeah, good I mean, he was. Okay, Neymar, okay, Neymar, Neymar, like, Neymar. Yeah, Neymar, Neymar, Neymar Cook, Neymar Cook, Neymar Cook. Then. Yeah, that's why I said arguably. I said arguably. So oh, like, okay, like, hey, not, I, this, okay, this is complete. And then, oh, yeah. go and on, then go on, go his on. Euros, his Euros, and his Nations League. I know you guys don't want to count Nations League, but he cooked up. He cooked up. I mean, well, that's better than they, anything yeah. Harry's done. That's better well, than anything Harry's well, done. Wait, well, well, first of all, wait, hold on, hold Let's on, hold on. Real. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The the right. nation. Are we talking about like just the semifinals and finals bit of that Nations League, of the first one? Like yeah, when they yeah, won France won when he scored. The... That's the only part people remember anyway. Okay, but then because he played in the Nations League afterwards, after France won it, and France got like finished second in the group, and he was playing then. So and 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 the and the and the Euros, I mean, he was uh, yeah, he was good. On. So 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 you're gonna you're gonna but, hate on like, you're gonna you're still gonna discount that um Nations League where they they face top international teams. That was Belgium and Spain, bro. No, but I'm Lucho saying that Spain. that was over what two games? That was two games. Two, two games big, only. Big time games for a trophy. But like, Henri scored in a World Cup final. When did Henri score in the World Cup? Two thousand six. He scored in the World Cup final. What World Cup he, final was you watching? Two thousand six. Did he really? Did he not score? No, 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 not the World Cup semifinal, semifinal. No, no, semifinal, semi. My bad, bad, my bad. Not the final. No, he didn't. He did not score in the semifinal. No, that is also factually incorrect. He scored in the quarter against Brazil. He scored in the quarters against Brazil, and I think he won the penalty against Portugal in the semi. But that's it. Like he did well, it for the French national team. I don't think he can make much of a case. I think Henri is better than I, you could say that. Henri no, disappointed. You, don't, you can't. You can't, bro. Just I, stop. No, you no. Can't. Well, first you just look at pedigree. First and foremost, that's it. And, and in that case, pedigree. It's, it's pedigree alone. Pedigree alone. Henri smacks him. One. Um, and also like, what, though? like well, a World Cup, a World Cup, a Euro. Tournaments. Yeah, because he was playing with he had he was playing with he, he was playing with the best in the world. Like Benzema <laughs> had that little case just before France, like you know, peaked with their generation, with that generation, with Griezmann, Pogba, and Mbappe coming in. Like low key, like low key issue, but... for for France, Giroud over Benzema. Giroud probably over Giroud probably over even even yeah, but already see, all of them. You know, I, but like I look, 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 in... look, we, we already had this see... debate before. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. But like who? <laughs> what, what's the debate? Like, Giroud, Giroud just, versus ben, yes, Giroud, the only Benzema, dude. Yeah. Giroud, Giroud the underrated. Only dude. Giroud underrated. Nah, but honestly, Giroud the only dude that could play a whole World Cup, score zero goals. <laughs> Zero shots on target and still get love, <laughs> just because he won the World Cup. Man has zero goals, zero shots on target in the 2018 World Cup. Only one big chance created. I think it was for Mbappe against Argentina, and that's all. Y'all was fucking glazing Giroud after 2018. Fucking <laughs> nasty. Stuff, man. Like y'all are just embarrassing. Like the shit like, hey, I, I, have a, I have a hard take for me. Like Benzema has always been a, a a very good player, but like Bar is not like, very good. Benzema is elite. Benzema is the best nine 
no, 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 no. For me, b- before, before, like, pre, no, pre, no, pre, no, pre Ronaldo no, leaving. Yeah, that's that's crazy, crazy, no, no, it's not crazy. crazy Benzema is just he's just no. The, no. The, no. For me, bro, Benzema, just, Benzema before, before, un- before, before, like, okay, when Ronaldo left, the season right after that, it's only ever since that season afterwards. The season, like, so beyond twenty, I'll say. 2019 onwards that's when he's been like truly uh like truly like best he, of the best the before is, he that he was like okay that, he always had that level in him he just couldn't like i remember it. when he was getting he like always... constantly booed at the burnabout yeah, constantly that, yeah. like game yeah, after that, game yeah, after yeah, game everyone thought zidane, yeah. zidane r9 has been booed at the yeah but they're not getting booed like five yeah, games in a row and ronaldo's yeah, that, having to say don't boo him and stuff and giving that, him penalties and stuff that's that's why i had two really poor seasons that's when i had two really poor seasons like wait, wasn't there some seasons where he scored like less than ten goals? Well, what, no, that's what I'm saying. Goals. Exactly. Like, bro, when was Henri doing that? When was Henri doing that? In his like prime and whatnot, he was not doing that. That's what bro, I'm saying. I'm... Heck, even bro, Griezmann. What mean, bro, what do you mean Henri in his? What the fuck? Henri had his prime at one fucking club. That nigga had his prime at one fucking club. Like, what are you talking about? The dude went to Serie A, stank it up, went to Arsenal, started eating against you know high line defenses. Then he went, goes to fucking, what's it called? Like, he goes to Barcelona, gets exposed. Like, he can't play pretty much as a number nine for them. So they have to go back to relying on Eto, like, who they were trying to sell back then. Like, come on, bro. Like, dude. Like, don't no. fuck <laughs> Harry. Harry's European career was ended by Pedro. Pedro Rodriguez and shit. Like, what are we doing, bro? Like, what are we doing, bro? Like, nah. y'all actually don't know what y'all talk about with this Benzema shit, bro. Like, Benzema. Nah, you're, 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 you're this is next level Benzema glazing here. Like, Benzema's it's not, very. It's not, he's the, he's the best nine like, in the no, last no. 15 years, bro. Because you want to know why? No! 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 That's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. Best nine no. last 15 years is crazy. That's criminal. Yes, yes. That is criminal. Benzema, yeah. anything. Benzema, yes. if, if if you take Benzema like um last like 2019 onwards, yes, okay, fair enough. But like before no, then, before, no, like no. Let me even put this but he was point, right? four so goals in the season. Seasons. Yeah, that like, was 16, 17, and 17, 18. Those were the two seasons. Yeah, he was four that's of those two in a, like you, you know you can't you can't tell me that you can't tell me that like the no, fact that I he was still at Real Madrid at that point is is is. I can Even his that, first couple seasons at Real Madrid, he wasn't all that like. I remember, wasn't it real, like Mourinho was telling him like he he he's like a cat or whatnot? Like yeah, he was like he was dissing cat. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was dissing him. Like this is what like which was disrespectful. He, that was disrespectful as hell. <laughs> and he and, and he checked him. He checked him on that shit. And Mourinho shut his shut the fuck up since then. Like oh my God. Nah, this 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 like, you see, bro, this 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 this, this reason, Benzema glazing is too much, man. No, but there's a reason. This Benzema glazing is too much. Bro, there's a reason why Benzema has stayed at that club for those many years, bro, and played at that level. Bro, there was a Leon reporter that said, a uh, Leon scout, that in the middle of Benzema's, uh, what's it called, like 16, 17, 17, 18, like poor slump in form. This was when he had like five league goals, right? The season where he had just like five league goals. He said, Benzema is still the best nine in the world. The issue is at Madrid, there's a lot of pressure to pass. That's what he said. There's a Wait, lot of who, who pressure. Is to pass who is this? Who is this? Who is this? This is a scout at Leon. This is a scout at Leon. I okay, remember why, 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 why is this person authoritative? This middle... Why is this person authoritative? Because he knows who Benzema is. He knows who Benzema is. Like he knows who like he he grew up. How, with how the is dude. Okay, like, that how is that any different than like me as like your your like Mbappe's I don't know Mbappe's going through like oh, a, a red patch no, and his scouts, like man. his his like his crap on ten manager world. goes and says I'm, that it's it's because of that. Like I don't like of course you're gonna defend him. There's per- it's personal. No, but what he said was justified seasons later because of what he was doing post Ronaldo when Ronaldo left. But I'm so saying he wasn't before, wrong. Post, he was playing post, as quote unquote the best nine in the world. The truth post, is he's always post, had this okay. level. Before, the truth but, is, wait, wait, wait. But truth, no, no, no. Truth before, is, before, before, before 2019, before 2019, before he broke him. out, most people of the BBC, most people would have put um, Ronaldo one, Bale two, mm-hmm. and then Benzema. Yeah, and, and they before were 2019, and they were before 2019, it's only afterwards that he's broken in. But you know what? You want to know why that's a casual? That was a casual. That's a casual thing to put Bale above Benzema, even on the production, the numbers. Bale wasn't even touching Benzema. Goals, in terms of that, numbers, he wasn't. He wasn't. There are seasons. Okay. Go look at the BBC. Yeah, 2016, 17. Go look at, Go look at it. Was even benched by Isco. Bale was benched and shit, bro. What the fuck are y'all talking? Like this? Was you niggas watching? Was you niggas watching the games? Like, god damn. 
Yeah, like, yeah. bro, Benzema was still, um, what's it called? He was wide receiver number two. Cristiano no, I, wide receiver number one. Like, I, bro, I, no, that was, I, that I, was I, the I, hierarchy. I agree, it was still I agree, Benzema. I agree with you on the, on the Bill stuff, man, but you saying he's the best striker of the last 15 years. Is that's crazy. That's criminal. That's criminal. That's criminal. That is criminal. No, I think Suarez is better than Suarez him. Suarez is better than 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 him. Suarez outscored Messi and Ronaldo in their primes. Suarez outscored Messi and Ronaldo in their primes. I told you. You're going to score and say stat pad. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When 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 Benzema was playing against Levante and 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 Hirona and all these places, was was it also not stat padding then? He's playing in the same league. Bro, no, 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 I'm bro, not having that. Bro, You're being inconsistent to us. I swear to God. Look, see, Junior, I'll tell you this, bro. I swear to God. God strike me dead. I seen a game. Barca won 8-0. Mark Bartra ran in a straight line from central midfield. He ran in a straight line, central midfield. 40 meters up the pitch, scored. That, that was clear stat, like the stat how, padding. How many, how many penalties on. did how the many penalties how many penalties did Benzema score in the 2021-2022 season? Can we bring it up? Those stats up. How, can we bring them stats up? Can we bring them? Can we bring them? Penalties, just, so just penalties. We're, we're, we're going to use penalties to this. Well, because you're saying stat doing. padding and, and and whatnot. Suarez was in like star, Suarez was number three for, for for like penalties, arguably at Barcelona. Unless no, unless never, unless unless three. Neymar and Messi gave them the pen, he's he's not. He certainly wasn't number one. He and, certainly wasn't number one. And the one. thing is, Benzema, Benzema could have, um, before... Uh, well, you know, you're, you're not Ramos responding. Left. You're not saying anything to that. No, before Sergio Ramos left, Benzema wasn't even taking penalties. Okay, okay so he's, he's number two. But I'm saying 2021, 2022, which is Benzema's mm -hmm. best season, compared to mm -hmm. Suarez's best season, 2015-16. The season where he outscored Messi and Ronaldo uh, in their primes. I told you that that 15-16 shit was just some clear stat padding, bro. No, no, no. no, 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 no can you bring up the right? stats for those then? Those two seasons between the two players. You watched that season. You, 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 you watched that season. Suarez, man. Man. You respect Suarez, man. I feel like Suarez's I feel like best, really, Suarez's best like season at Barca is actually 14 15. 14 15 is actually like, his debut. I, I feel season like Benzema is only in this conversation of the Ballon d'Or, man. Other than that, man. Yeah. Suarez slaps him. It's not even because of the Ballon d'Or. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Tosa, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Suarez, Lewa, Aguero. No, 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 not a girl, not a girl. Some, 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 some say Kane. Oh, no, I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I kept a Kane. I kept a Kane. You kept a Kane. Man, kept a Kane. like, and man, this, is a, this are, is a Spurs it, fan. You guys are sleeping right. on Benzema. I'll, I'll, I put I put Swan low over him, man. End of the, of the week, man. That's fine, but you're wrong. But that's fine. Like, as far as I'm low, man. No. Yeah, for me, for me, Griezmann I, has to be in the top. Three Griezmann over. I, I, I shared a thread, man, of of, of Benzema extension, man. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go through the comments, man. Of what Madrid fans are saying, then. They're calling he he's so bad. He's terrible. He's worthless. Doesn't deserve to play in the first team. It's 2017, man. Yeah, like, yeah, coming off a bad season. No, no, an atrocious season. Like, this is, like, this guy makes Colomani seem like a Ballon d'Or player. Like, th this is what we're saying here. No, you see, you see, you see that, like, you know, that's clear hyperbole. Like, no, no, oh, I mean, but Colomani has six goals. Colomani has six goals and, and playing in. This is what, 2016? This is, this is that same season where you're saying it was stat padding in the Liga. So it was, so it was like that. Sink level of quality no, 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 football. This, no, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Bro, wait, see, wait, go, 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 scroll up. Bro, he can dribble. And that uh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. No, I, well, I, 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 think, I think what it is, yeah. Tosin, I think what it is, I think his last couple, like his last three seasons yeah, he, at Real Madrid, he, 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 no, you are changing your perspective. No, I think it's like, that. It's recency bias. It's recency bias. That's what it is. Bro. It's recency bias. The peak of Benzema's career year-wise it's probably like 2014, like where he was playing at his no, best level. 2014. You know, he, he peaked late, man. He peaked late. He peaked in yeah. 2021, 2022. That's so what he peaked. Did did so did y'all rate the Benzema 2014? 
No, he was good. He was good. Don't he get me wrong. Good. He was good. No, he wasn't but, just but good. He wasn't just good. He wasn't just fucking good. good. Like, was, you niggas need to stop this shit. He wasn't just he was, good. He, was, he like, wasn't top. Okay, oh 2021, God. 2022, 2022 he was the best player in the world. 2014, he wasn't even, like, top three. Okay, Arguably okay, not even top five, even. Even not even top five. Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Hazard probably that season, too. He wasn't top ten, man, that year, man. Okay, maybe not that far. Maybe not, maybe not that far. He wasn't top 10, man. Like, what are y'all doing, man? He wasn't top 10. 2014, he wasn't top 10. I don't know about It's cool, though. Yuri, this is re it's recency bias, Tosin. Like, that's recency, man. You need to go, 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 go to your little, uh, go watch Back to the Future again. Find that time travel machine and go back and, and watch it again. Because it, was, it wasn't that good. That's not always been that guy. He's just always, he's always been the, mo he's the most fluid center forward we've ever seen. Like, Unbelievable football. He's a, he's great yeah. football, yes, but he's not the best yeah. football in the last fifteen years. A, That's you criminal. A, you don't have a he can combine physical like the physical side of his game, which is super underrated, how strong he is, his box presence, his ability to orchestrate attacks, play one touch, two touch. Bro, you know Benzema's on record saying the best game that he's ever played was against um Liverpool. 2018, 17. That's coming off of his five league goal season, by the way. The final he played against Liverpool, 17 18. That's one of the finest center forward performances you will ever see in a Champions League final. <clears throat> Dead serious. I'm not even fucking trolling. Go watch the tape. <laughs> like, bro, Benzema, they, he got, uh, what's it called? Like, the goalkeeper, like, uh, he punted the ball like 70 yards, bro. Benzema just fucking. Just fucking like the way he just like his touch, the way he just brought that shit down, bro. Like, just uh, speaking sex, of Benzema, man. I was recent like last week. I was looking at um afterwards. I was looking at how the uh you know the RB likes the Real Madrid game and saying how like RB likes it got robbed of the goal in that first leg. And then like all the Real Madrid fans in the chat were saying how there was like a push on the keeper and so on and so forth. They're saying it's a foul. So then I got like, okay, if they're gonna say that's a foul, I brought back the the PSG game away at Real Madrid in the second leg. And I looked at and I looked back at it and I haven't looked back at it in a while now. Mate, initially when I was I always thought like it was it was like it was Donald Ruin being like light, like being like very weak. I look back at it, that's a foul. How is that not a foul? How is it not a foul? Yeah, bro, bro, about everyone knew. Everyone we talked knew about the foul. Years, yeah. Like, okay, when I saw it initially, I was just more mad with Donald Ruma, like being so. But yeah. I look back at it; it's like it's a foul. How is that not being called? And it's, it's, the thing is, was, and, 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 and do you have the video? Do you have the video? Do you have that video where I, I went crazy? It was on another channel, bro. Bro, like I, I got my reaction on stream. I put up, up it's in my latest oh, video. You can about, look back at it. That's the Donald Ruma thing in twenty twenty two. Yep. What was the channel's name? Actually, don't you don't need to bring it, but yeah, man, I went crazy. I went crazy like literally thirty minutes after the game, bro. Like, I was just saying, like, bro, like, how do you not call that shit? Nah, my like, I look because I think I I always, I I always had the idea that it was like Donna Room being a, like just being a pushover, basically. I look back at it, I went like frame by frame, frame by frame, and I like lost it in chat. I lost you it, like I I got the full video of, of the reaction again, frame by frame. When I looked at it. The fact that these Real Madrid are shameless like that, they'll go and say, oh, Jordan Room needs to hit the gym. I don't, like, oh, man. Even four, year, four years prior, we went to that. Every time we went to that stadium, we've been robbed of some crazy shit. Yeah, even 2017, like, 18, I look back, and, and Bobby, and when he was in a one-on-one, -on -one, ref calls blows offside, nothing there. Bro. No, Cruz. Cruz was offside before the Cruz was yeah, offside for the goal, but Mbappe was another point too, where Mbappe's through on goal, one on one, and the ref like the linesman blows like pull, uh, puts his flag up for offside. Uh, it's 2019 under Tuchel. Um, we don't get the penalty. Like they call back the penalty and the red card on Couture. Yeah, they do. The party oh, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just, like every time, I'm just saying, every time we go to that, stadium, yeah, every time we go to that stadium, it'd be, it'd be some bullshit. It'd be some bullshit, bro. Like, that's just, that's par for the course. Like, the thing is, I had somebody in my chat come and say, oh, like, I'm uh, mentioning our, our PSG, um, uh, um, the, the Newcastle game at home, how it was a robbery for Newcastle, so on and so forth. And they say, like, PSG's always getting, like, um, like, 
favorable calls by refs in the Champions League. I was like, mate, you you could say this about any other club. You, I say you, I could even make I could even um, entertain that argument if we're talking about PSG in League R. But PSG in the Champions League getting robbed by referees is 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 like a, like for them is ridiculous, ridiculous. PSG arguably could be the most like robbed team in Champions League history if we count everything that's happened to them in the f- last fifteen years for sure. Bro, like, but, you know how everyone refers to like Chelsea Barcelona two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone talk, bro. That game is light compared to Remontada. Like, yeah, Remontada yeah. is cr- like that's light. Light, like, like that's actually the biggest like <laughs> robbery like, of all light time compared to the Remontada. It's actually light. Remontada is actually criminal. Remontada is genuinely criminal. Like I, every time I look back at that game, it just boils my blood. Actually, boils my blood. Both Neymar and Suarez both should have been sent off for 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 simulation. Minimum, we should have had at minimum one penalty. Arguably, cer- certainly, arguably two penalties in in, in that game. Suarez, th- their last penalties, a couple of their penalties shouldn't have counted. Like oh, Bro, oh my Di goodness, Maria, Di Maria, like when Mascherano packs down Di Maria off the Verratti through ball. Yeah. He just hacks him down. Mm-hmm. How that's the thing is though, the thing, but no, you, no, you know the thing is though, Mascherano. But you know, like, Mascherano after the game was asked by like Catalan, like uh, Barcelona, like things. And he's like, "Did you touch him?" He's like, "Yeah, it's a foul. It should have been a penalty." Openly, he said it himself. Yeah, I touched you, him. You Not just a foul, pay, but a, a red card. A red card right too. Yeah. Like, it's crazy, dog. Like, that's one of the worst calls in the history of the Champions League. And it's criminal, <laughs> like, bro, like that shit was not called, bro. Like, but they called the Suarez shit though with Marquinhos diving. Like, bro, who <laughs> oh shot you, god. man? Oh my god, bro, that's so funny. But okay, I that. have a question though. Do you, do you think that um Neymar penalty that like when um Munye is like falling down and he trips over his like his head? Do you think it's a penalty? It can get called to be fair. Yeah, I think. Hit, so. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah. I think that one. I think is like. I think you can make a case for that. Um. But what what do you yeah, guys think Stars about one is crazy. That that one's crazy. crazy. What do you guys think of the um uh 2019 versus United Kimpembe handball? One of the worst calls as well. <laughs> like the thing is the thing is okay. Top five, three of them are associated with PSG. Like no, but guys, I feel like that's... like in this conversation, we also have to mention we've had some shit go our way as well. Like let, let's not lie now. Like I, I remember the we beat Leipzig one 0 back in I think twenty twenty. We had a bullshit penalty given given for yeah, us. Yeah, we did. Do you remember that? Yeah, I can't remember. No, it I, remember that game. I remember that game. Yeah, it was yeah, the was one. It that, Di Maria? Was one of the I think worst. Di Maria got kicked. Right. Yeah. 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 Di Maria got fouled. Mm-hmm. Nate scores the penalty. Mm-hmm. That's one of the worst games I've ever seen us play. Yeah. Like really I know disgusting. we've been robbed, but we've definitely had some shit go out. No, but we're dude, we're talking, we're talking high stakes moments though. Like yeah, no, we were definitely like, number one. We're this definitely is the number quarter one. Quarterfinals. These are knockout round games. <laughs> like where you can't afford yeah. to make these type of mistakes. Like that's that's true. That's true. That like, bro, the Bernabeu itself is just fucked up. Like we're <laughs> but we already know that. Three, we already know that. Like the three different instances that every time we go there, it'd be some bullshit, and then. <laughs> Bro, the Barca one is just—it's the most egregious of all. That's the most, yeah. That's just like that is ridiculous. I feel like I feel like all these teams are paying for the price right now, man. So, I mean, who won? Who no, won Madrid won? never paid. We should have slapped Madrid, them in well, twenty-two, and they never paid for their crimes, bro. No, Madrid don't pay this season. No more, man. Oh, I don't know. Somebody, somebody, I remember like this was a while back now, but somebody asked in the comments, like, to ask the panel, who do you, who do we want, or who do you think we're, we're going to get? And I think they said that the, um, they thought we were going to get Arsenal. I don't think we ever responded. Like, e- individually, who do you think we will get? Um, I mean, this for the first time, there's no odds, percentage, anything. We, it's the same chance to get any single team. So it's a pure guess. Um, but, I have a feeling they were rigged, so we'll play City <laughs> in the semi and Real in the final. So the quarters is between Barca, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid. One of them. I think we get I'm Dor- going to say Barca, we Barca or Arsenal. We're not getting Dortmund, no. They've already right. given, given us one yeah, easy yeah. team. That's enough. Yeah, one yeah, easy you're team. Right, is you're, enough. Right. you're right. You're right. You're right. No, I already no, know who we're going to get. If they give us Barca, though, that they're giving us two easy teams. That's the issue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I think we're fun, man. I, honestly, you know what? 
it's going to either be City, Bayern, or Real Madrid. The quote unquote right, three favorites no. before the quote unquote three favorites before this uh, competition even started. Barca City, Real, or City, no, seed City, Real, or Bayern. One of those. Three. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, City, those two. I'm sorry, man, but if it's if it's Real, Zion it's Real. Zion, Zion, Zion can play right back, man. Vinny will kill him, man. I'm sorry, man. If it's Real, man. Vinny kill Bayern. That got to be Zion's <laughs> coming out party, man. That's that's where we will know if our midfield is for real. <laughs> I don't want no, Real. I, I do not want Real. Not. No, I do. I do. I do not. I don't want because Real. I do. Not, no, no, no. No, I don't want Real. I don't want Real. They're genuinely, like, objectively, they're not better than us in defense. No, no, no. I said, okay, for, the, for me, the reason I don't want Real is not the football. I think we can take, like, if, if this game was played in, like, the training grounds and it was just streamed there and that's it and it, they just played it back to back and I was like, yeah, I'm fine. For me, it's everything that's going to be around that. Everything and Pope this, Rare PG this, the history. I don't want any of that. I just want like a team. That's why I want um I I I, I, I want like I'll take a Bayern, even or even like I'd rather have a like in terms of footballing wise, City's a team I don't want, but in terms of like PR, all that, Real is like number one, do not want swerve because of everything that happens. And especially like the whole like mentality going to the burn about and everything that's gonna go there. I don't want Real. I do not want Real. But I think we're going to get them. Like I think we're going to get them. Yeah, I, like I, I like in scenario where we get them in the final and do something no other team has done before. But I feel like you know the UEFA can profit more off of like a two-legged affair. Exactly. So. And also, if if it's if if it's a yeah. because for me, I don't have any like PC. We're we're, we're fine at, at home. It's at the Bernabeu. That's what they want. Like they want, that's what you wait for. Want they want Mbappe going to his "quote unquote" future club and playing against them the season before? That's what they want. Because if, if, if it's Mbappe in the final, scores, it's going to be at London. It's going to be in Wembley. Exactly. If Mbappe scores, like what? What are they going to do? The goofy shit. Oh, he might not be in the park. The per he might not be in the Bernabeu this season, but he will be there in the next six months. <laughs> Like nigga, we just score. Like, can you just say PSG just score? Like, we just put points nah, on the board. No. It's Mbappe, not PSG that scored, bro. That's the way they look at it. Yeah, that's how. That's the way they'll be looking at it. Yeah, it's Mbappe that scored, not PSG. See how this rat is such a snake. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's not his fault. That's just that's just that magic PR. A, I mean, he's a disgusting rat. He's a disgusting rat. We've known that for uh, such a over a year now. <laughs> That, look, that's why we should all come along on the 1st of June and pray for an ACL. Amen. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Amen, yes. amen, amen. Wait, is that is that his first, um, is that the last, is that the that's final? That's when the contract ends. That's when the contract ends. No, 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 no I don't want that. Whoa, 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 whoa. It ends actually on June 30th. No, 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 I don't want that. I need him, I need him fit for France. Come on, man. I need him fit for the Euros. Okay, okay. You know what, you know what, right? 30th August, 30th August. No, no, even then, even then, I need, I need, I need him. Okay, 30th August, maybe, You already got one World Cup and one final. He win you the Euros, win you the Olympics, and then he's already retired as maybe the best player player for France national team. Then we can cook him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll really, need him for, really need him fresh and fit for the next competitions. He's so like, down for like for me, I, for me, genuinely, I wish, I wish as a pro, as a player, as a French player, I wish Mbappe the best at, at for him individually. And I wish him the best. I hope he scores hat tricks every single game, and I hope Real Madrid lose four three anyways. I hope, I hope, I hope he smashes every single record, every single record at Real Madrid, and they still get relegated. That's what I'm wishing for. Nah, just that's just you saying deep down. I still love that nigga, man. Fuck out of here, man. I can't lie, man. Deep down, I still, man, he's I still, he's, nigga, he's still man. French. He's still, I still have to support my fellow countrymen. You guys don't have those obligations, so you guys are fine. I know deep David down, comes out. Yeah, I'm completely pick out of deep dance about that nigga. Sorry. <laughs> 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 like I still need him performing for like I there's Sherky will place at well first Sherky needs to make the French squad first and foremost. Even his spot in the in the in the under twenty ones is not guaranteed. So tell him to focus on that first before he has any inklings on the French the, the French nat A team. Nah, he got, he, he's gonna make the under twenty one. No issue. Like if in 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 an ideal world, if like France takes their strongest possible squad to the Olympics, he's not making, he's not starting. 
oh stop stop no nah, nah, you're doing too much now nah, to, 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 to shirky to the to the yeah, olympics yeah, yeah respect he, he makes the score he should make the score comfortably yeah no no as in he's not starting oh starting no no, no yeah okay, yeah but he makes the squad yeah yeah probably um probably will make the squad yeah i think he starts if griezmann oh, don't no, no, no. make the squad if griezmann don't go he starts it's gonna depend on yeah who goes but yeah if Griez well the thing is, it's also going to depend on where Griezmann, Griezmann plays. Wants to go. It's just Griezmann and Giroud don't want to go. Do you, you think that you think Diamond goes or not? He will. He ha he has oh, yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. He has to go. That means he's missing. He missing the beginning of the season next year. Then. Well, the, the yeah, yeah, Moscato taking, yeah, so, yeah, taking his place. Yes. Yeah, Moscato taking his place. Yeah. Wait, won't Moscato be there too, bad. though? Won't Moscato be there too? No, 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 not I, 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 they lost to Argentina. Yeah, even like even this. the I doubt PSG will let him go. There, there was clown and Hendrik. Wait, yeah. Brazil aren't going to the uh to the uh, Olympics. No, they lost. Yeah. No. They lost the like, I think it's mm. uh, Venezuela or Ecuador and Argentina going from. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Conmebol. 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 From, big, from the big country. Yeah. <laughs> now big look, country. we're finally gonna make Brazil great again. Muscardo, Beraldo. We just need yeah, some more to join us. Yeah, they just need an Americans, man. We need an attacker. We just need an attacker. Estaval. Let's talk. William? William? Oh, it, it, it's Paraguay it and that, Argentina that went through. Mm. Wait, I have a question. Do you guys, do any of you understand this new format for the Champions League? Well, you As in, like, like, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's more similar to, like, I would say NBA. Like, oh, it's a bit more shift to that. We're so copying a fake sport now, man. We'll have a lot of no, but as in what, what I don't understand is how how are like the initial games gonna be decided? I know that so there's gonna be pots for each each one, right? And that each you play two teams from each pot and you play four home games, four away games. But the thing what I don't understand though is how is that gonna be determined? Like if in pot draw, draw. A just random. Wait, you guys this is actually yeah, a yeah. topic, but do you guys think the Champions League fucked up getting rid of away goals? Yeah, away goals is cr like away goals made the Champions League really for me. For me, it made it like it it brought the drama to it. The I don't shock like of an away goal used to be so far like it don't hit like the shit don't hit no more. Bro. Yeah, now it's just it's just two regular games. It's just two regular games. Like, technically, Inter would be through, you know. Yeah. Like if it was like the away goals, Inter would be through by now. But it, it didn't it like the, the away. Yeah, but thinking about the way it goes, make some teams sit back at home, like, and it was just like, yeah, I think like, either way, what, 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 what legs this like, quarterfinal? What legs this quarterfinal would you have say would have been different if the way go existed? Coming up this time around, Arsenal, Porto, and um, Inter, Atleti. Just Arsenal, games. Porto was one one each time. It yeah, was one each like time. I feel no, it was one nil. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Porto would have gone for that away goal though. I mean, they did chosen. It wasn't like Porto didn't try. They tried. Or Arsenal. Arsenal would have gone for that away goal. Hard body and Porto and could have got slapped two nil or three one. I, I feel but, like the away goal, like it was, it was correct in that it, um, because now it's just two regular games. That's all it is. It's just it doesn't really matter, right? So I prefer, I prefer it now, to be honest. No, I prefer away. Like for me, like because the thing is, though, that's how every other game is. It's just too, it's like it's it's no different than like in a league game. You just win or lose, yeah, and you just hope you win more. Be so fire. Away exactly, I agree. So I agree. I'm with you, Tosin, I feel like, man. I feel like I feel like the way goals were rated. It was rated, and I, I feel like the team the team that that was away played aggressive. While the team at home played defensive. Most nine out of ten, that's how it was. But this time, it's like, can you beat me twice? Can you can you beat me like? Well, okay, what about the fact we were we were um, removed? Like Bayern, if, if it wasn't for the away goal, we don't go through there. Or we have to go to extra time there. Yeah, okay, the Chelsea the Chelsea one where we get in because of the away goals. Yeah, but then we yeah, also yeah, won yeah, the next different. year because of away goals too. Yeah, something like. I mean, but then that's what I'm saying. It makes it more dramatic. It makes it more dramatic. Yeah, man, uh, away goals is part of the shit, bro. And it like, also makes it. It also makes it so that like you you have less chances of going to penalties. Like Neymar's because... away goal was vital against uh, Dortmund. That's how we got through. Remember? Dortmund. Um, yeah, the header, right? 
No, no, yeah, we, yeah. it wasn't away. I don't think it was away goal. I think we we just scored one goal. And we scored. Yeah, we scored right after. Yeah, should, you, you, wait, I don't remember. Because it was an Mbappe we scored. I think oh, yeah, it might yeah. Have been Holland, scored, Holland scored right after. I know what you mean. Yeah, It, it was, was Holland scored Holland. first, Mbappe, and then Holland again, I think. But didn't we we beat them, what, 2-0 or 1-0? 2 nil, 2 nil at home. It was 2 nil. 2 nil at home. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that yeah, but the, the thing is oh that's why when Neymar equalized there we were we were through on away goals because the thing is away goals what it does too is that in a situation like um like we like let's say for example yeah that inter game today it means that you don't have to go to penalties and I yeah. think well do you guys think that what ending a game in like ninety regulation is better than going to penalties it's a it's a more fitting way to end a game I, I love penalties man I, I think I like the drama of it yeah. I Nah, I don't, you'll catch me dead ever watching PSG in a penalty shootout. Like it's dramatic, but I don't like. I don't like That's it. That's never happening. I'll never watch. I could never stomach watching us in a shootout. Like, who would be our first five takers? We I'll don't say, got shooters. I swear, we don't got shooters, bro. I'll say Mbappe. Mbappe, Ramos is taking Mbappe, one. Gonzalo, yeah, Mbappe, Gonzalo, 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 Gonzalo. Lucas Hernandez, Lucas Asensio. Because when it comes to Pence, it's a lot about mentality as well. Like, do, do you get like Lautaro Martinez? I think he's a great penalty taker in general, but he has the mentality of a fifteen-year-old woman, so he missed it. So, I would say Lucas. I think Beraldo as well got crazy confidence. He'll probably have a good pen. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have Beraldo. Well, I mean, it depends what stage. Yeah, yeah, Hakimi. Yeah, yeah. Hakimi, 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 yeah. Hakimi, 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 no, Hakimi, no, 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 not Hakimi, not Hakimi, not Hakimi. Okay. No, what about, what about, not this season. What about what about what about Dembus? What about Dembus? No, no, no. no, 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 no Dembus would get subbed out before the pen, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> if if Kempembe is fit, Kempembe is taking a pen. Yeah, Kempembe will take one. Yeah, bro, Kempembe in that world against Switzerland, he smashed his penalty. Smashed that shit, bro. Bro, did you guys see the Pies penalty today? Holy smokes, that was that was a penalty. That was a penalty. No one's getting that. You're never saving that. That was ballsy. And who was interest first? Y'all trust Kangli on a penalty? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. You trust Vitinha on a penalty? No. Vitinha is like second round, second round, like six penalty taker. If, don't, don't so we don't got shooters like that. It looks like we don't got shooters then. That's what actually Colomani. Really Colomani. I put Colomani. Colomani Colomani scored a World Cup penalty. So I I, I can trust him. Fair enough. Yeah, World Cup final penalty. So I, I can trust them. Mbappe, Colomani, uh Ramos, Gonzalo, that's three. Asensio, that's four. And five. And then maybe Lucas Hernandez. Five. Yeah, Marquinhos needs to be like outside the stadium, nowhere near that penalty spot, nowhere near it. Marquinhos is definitely not taking a penalty. Um, and then for me, I think Mbappe has to go first. Mbappe has to go first. Yeah, I don't want to ever imagine this in a penalty shootout scenario. It's too stressful, you know. But I, I, um, the thing is, I hope they're practicing penalties though. <laughs> No, no, no. That's what Lucho and the Spanish national team did. And, and they were asked in the penalty shootout. No, you should never practice penalties for a shootout. You should just no. be confident to take them immediately. Well, I think, you know, I think you need to know who your shooters are. 100%. I think what? you need to know. Yeah, Lucho well, yeah, but, who, but, but I think you should practice them. No, I know, I know his... Like, it, no. it, it's just Dembele Marquinhos. They shouldn't take a pen. And maybe Vitinha shouldn't take one as well. So, like, so, so, so you don't think that PSG should be, like, you know, like usually it's after training they'll do and they'll practice penalties. You don't think you should be doing that? I think the, I think you need to, because well, like you, you should do it in in a normal sense. I'm, I, I just sure? brought up that Lucho thing because Lucho yeah. and Sp the Spanish players like they were training crazy with Pence, like they were hyping it up and everything. Yeah, obviously it doesn't mean that you're gonna win all the time, but like for example, France and Didier Deschamps was always is was like you, and he's like, oh, I'm never, never doing that. And you look at the two opportunities France have had in penalties. You had um, the Euros Switzerland against Switzerland, and, and then the and the in the final, and bang, France were woeful. Um, then I, I can't, yeah. Actually, is all that actually not not even not really actually though. Like France, that that one, it's just Mbappe misses penalty. That's it. Everyone else actually scored. It was just Mbappe missed his, so they weren't that bad actually. But I agree with you. I yeah. think that the thing, the thing with the wait, tricky wait, thing uh, about and, and wait, what what's Dembele's stronger foot? 
I don't shooting know. pens, he says, I think he's right. Right for shooting pens, I think. Because he got asked this once in, um, this was when he was at Ren. He got asked, what foot, like, are you left footed, right footed? He's like, I dribble better with my left. The truth is, the truth is we don't really know. I, probably, I think I'll take you it with his right. like that in a, in a shooter? Man, if he doesn't know which foot he's taking with, I don't, I don't know. I don't want that. I need certain. As a goalkeeper, I, you don't. As a goalkeeper, you don't know though. You're like, oh man, I don't know what he's gonna do. I mean, true, but there's unpredicted. Like, he I might don't know. score. He might sky it. But he. But he but the thing score. is, though, you already know. You already know. For me, the, the, if when Dembu steps up, he's gonna like. It's just gonna be. He's either gonna do what um uh, uh what's his name Lautaro did and sky it, or he's gonna roof it like Kim Pembe or or um like uh, uh Depay did today. Or in Kunku with PSG. In Kunku? Which one? You don't remember like, when this guy just planned with us? Like five years first. ago? Yes, yeah, and we're, we're, we're we're just, we're oh, I don't remember. Most. You don't remember that game where you skied his pen? Against Not France? in Kunku. I don't remember that, no. Well, what was it? Was it a cup game? Yeah, cup final. Oh, Same no, final no. Uh, Danny Alves scored. No, no. Um, I just want to read this out uh, quickly. Uh, GR7, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, good, evening, good evening, Int. Good evening, Int. Will you stream the Champions League draw? Yes, I will be streaming the Champions League draw on Friday. have to wake up early. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you so oh. much. And then here from Jimmy. This is straight to you, Junior. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for the super chat. Junior, may combined XI, England, France, Euro short. I, I made one on stream, like, let your last stream. Um, but... Maybe I oh no speaking of which oh my goodness okay I saw one of my friends um he he like told me that he saw this post for the combined France England eleven um by this like an English pundit Paul Mercer and he said he only had two French players in there and the two he had were Mbappe okay reasonable and the other one who did he have um I think he had the and other Saliba. player he had yeah Saliba just, yeah Saliba yeah. those are the only two he had. That is criminal. That is criminal. Everyone, he had Luke Shaw at left back over Hernandez. Theo, Theo Hernandez. Either Hernandez at that point, really. That's criminal. No, it's like maybe three England players in it. Mm, yeah, no, there's I, like, I said, there's like, yeah, there's like, I, 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 I think you can get a couple more in there. No, no, no. I, so this, 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 this is what this you is. You have Dickman Rice, you have Foden. Yeah, Kane. Stone. 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 Kane. This is what Stone. I said. Who rates Stones actually? Wait, no, for, who, I had, who, Stones is who good. Better than Stones in the in, in the French. Oh, hello, Lucas. Um, Upamecano. Mm, uh, not recently. Not not what? recently. Not recently. Not recently. No, nah, no, nah, bro. I can't yeah, this this is this is the, the combined eleven I came up with. I had in, in goal, Mignon. Upamecano uh, starts for any club in the world, to be honest. Bro, he doesn't just, even, he, he honestly does. Bro, he he start, you gotta understand when you have when you have that ability to be vertical. It's the same shit with Dembele. I swear. We're not playing he, basketball. He, I don't need you to be vertical. Bro, he, he, it doesn't he, he, matter. He, it doesn't he, matter. He, it he, it he, matters, he, dude. That it matters. That shit fucking matters. He breaks lines, man. Like it or not, every coach is enticed by that profile. Every coach will be enticed by that profile. The problem is he just he just has a bozo gene, man. But other than that, man, he's he's not very good. man. He would, bro, Pamecano would start for England. Bro, on bro, God, he's he's six, bro, he's on God, he would start for England. Bro, he's, he's the, the sixth England. or seventh choice French centre back, bro. Come on. No, no, he's not. not. No, he's, he's not. not. He's literally no, first he's choice. Number one is he's number literally one. first choice. He's top three. 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 Saliba doesn't Saliba. start. Saliba doesn't bro, start. Saliba he doesn't play for France. He doesn't play for France. Bro, real life. Real life. Saliba the most overrated. Saliba, the most overrated French center back. On God, he's the most overrated bro, center back. Bro, 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 I swear, playing in the Premier League, be giving people reps that they don't deserve, bro. Oh, you actually, you, so you don't rate Saliba? He's not even better than Todibo. No <laughs> life. He's not even better than Todibo. <laughs> nah, 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 that, that's for crazy. France, for, that's actually, for France, that's actually true. For France, for the French he's national not. team, in their games they've played, nah, Todibo's bro, been I'm better. No, no, nah, I'm talking about week in, week out. I don't need you against Gibraltar, bro. I'm talking about your bro. Do you did you see Nisa? Well, we're asking for French center season? backs. Did it's like it's like it's like why England? Why Maguire is always playing for England? He's he's good for England. He's actually good for England. The manager is terrible. That's why Maguire is playing. No, but Maguire's also like good for England. Like you don't see. Maguire legitimately one of your top, your five best center backs. 
Maguire legitimately one of the best center backs in England. Legitimately. He was okay, one of the okay, best okay, English center backs. Yes, he is. That's how Cook y'all depth is. That's how Cook y'all depth is. That's how Cook y'all depth is, bro. That's, that's, Are you saying that's, England that's or like the entire, all the Prem? The entire Prem? He's definitely top five. I'm just talking English. Yeah, he's, he's top, top five. five. Yeah, he's top five. English. English. Okay, English. English, fine. He is. Unfortunately, he is. I'm telling you right now. English, yeah. All right, name five English center backs better. Uh, okay, Konza, Tamori. Okay, Ben White. If you want to play him at centre back, he doesn't play centre. He's a right. He's a right back. He's a right back. Oh, he's he, a right he back. Plays back. He's okay, fine. Ass, man. John Stones. That's three. That's four. No, call it three. Call it three. Call it three. So Konza, Tamori. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of names. Stones and Ben White. That's four. So he's in the top five. I'm, bro, I'm thinking. I'm not done. I'm thinking. All right, go on. The fact that you're struggling just says it says everything. That's how. Like, how do y'all be acting like y'all got depth like that? Y'all actually right, did. Okay, 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 like okay. Maguire, Maguire right, would not. Let, Maguire let would not finish, sniff let finish. Francis. Hey, let, let me okay, finish, okay. man. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Lewis Dunk, Gehi. Kate, no, I, no, I, I think, nah, no, no, I, I genuinely exactly. think you just mentioned the NPCs. That's all you do. <laughs> we, 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 we can stay here. We, we can stay here. Like, look, look at France. Like Wesley Fofana, who hasn't played in a year. Well, he would be like a god. He would be like manna from heaven for England squad. <laughs> bro, that's the thing. He would be like manna from heaven for England squad, bro. Oh God, like bro, French. He's not good. Bro, Buddy Ashile yeah. would get into your team. Buddy Ashile would get into your team. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you, you got that. You don't even, you couldn't even. Like Loic Abde or something, his name is? From Sevilla? Uh, Loic, yeah, Buddy, Buddy. Loic Buddy, yeah, he, he would get into he England. He would get into England's team. I, I don't watch La Liga like that, so I can't even say. Okay, but no, I, I have, I for me, okay, my, this is this is the combined 11 I came upon stream. I saw it in goal, Mignon. I think that's no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Right, R right back. I put Walker, Walker right back. Center back pairing at Stones and uh, Konate. Yeah. Left back Yo, we, Theo we Hernandez. Sure, are, we, are we sure? We sure Walker better than John Class? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 Like he's he's better. He's better. He's better. No. In twenty twenty four, I'm not saying like generally. I'm just talking in twenty twenty four. We. Sure. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't pick up keep up with Marseille, so I don't know. Um, even but bowling, he's, he's, even bowling. Uh, but I think for me, yeah, Walker, Walker over um, uh, uh, so, so goalkeeper Mignon, right back Walker, center back Perry Kanate and Stones, left back the Hernandez, midfield I put Chuamini. Wait, you're telling me Lucas don't make the t Lucas easily get in over Stones, bro? This shit crazy. <laughs> nah, if not like Lucas me, Hernandez me, don't make a, Lucas Hernandez don't make it. Oh my god. Um, midfield I put Chuamini, Bellingham. Griezmann, and then front three, I put Mbappe, Kane, and Foden. So it was what six miss. five to France. That's how it is. Wait, you miss Johnny Evans, bro? He's Irish. He's 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 Northern Irish. Yeah, but nice one though. Uh, midfield would be uh, Rice, Griezmann. Dude. No, no, dude. He can't play some fucking midfielder. If we're playing him as a as a false nine, as a striker, he maybe can work out. You have you have rice over Chuamini. You have rice over Chuamini. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, for me, Chua, Ju no, for me, Chuamini is better. Chuamini is better. Yeah, Jude is in. Jude is in. I have Chuamini, like Jude, it, and Griezmann. I think Chuamini is better than Declan Rice. Maybe you play a Declan Rice, Chouamini, double pivots, and Griezmann. Jude is not going to go in there. Jude is asking. Jude, Jude has Jude to go in that midfield. Jude has to be in the middle of that midfield. He has to be in that midfield. Yeah, Jared I think Jude gonna, is I'm one of the best players in the world. Like, he, no, you can say he's not a midfield, but he's, he's, he's putting up numbers. Like, you can't not have him in the team. So that's why I'm saying Chouamini. He's playing as a, as, as a fourth or fifth midfielder at Madrid. Well, just wait until he plays as a third midfielder. I had, I had like a four two. I had a four two three one combined eleven. So it was like uh, magnetic goalkeeper, uh, right back. Trent actually, it wasn't Walker. I think it was Trent. Um, Konate Lucas, your center back. Steel mm -hmm. left back. Uh, mm -hmm. Double pivot of Rice and Bellingham. Sadly, Rice, yeah. but Bellingham was a 
pivot. Okay, okay. Yeah, Rice and Bellingu. Um, in the hole, probably Griezmann. Off the right, uh, Dembele. Off the left, Foden and the striker and Bappe. No, 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 no. Get Foden off there. Um, and Bappe left, and then Harry Kane at front. Now, Harry Kane is breaking records. Like... No, nah, Kane, Kane can get in. Kane can get in. Kane has to Kane be in for me. Like... For me, the, the, the non-negotiables for me are Bellingham, Mbappe, and Kane. They have to be in the squad. Like, those are arguably, right now, probably some of the favorites for the Ballon d'Or. So they all have to three be in that squad. No questions asked. D- David, you still, is your Kane agenda still bubbling? Or? The Kane dude, is a, the Kane dude is since 2024 has been, has been shit, man. He, I mean, he scored a hat-trick, like, last week. <laughs> yeah, there you it was, go. It was, it, was, it was against a relegation side. Fucking Goresco had the brace, man. Well, Kane is Goretzka Kane went crazy. Goretzka's box score was looking crazy. Bro, yo, <laughs> like two yo, goals, yo, two that foo foo shit, man. Please <laughs> don't get it. Nah, that, actually, not moving me. I, I like that. The team is shit, man. Walla, uh, if put all of us in all of us against you, we score like two men. Mo score like two goals up top, bro. Walla, I promise you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, respect, man. Respect. Uh, yeah, I, I, you better not learn, man. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, but the that some especially he oh my god this is off this topic, is why he, though, off topic. What, what do y'all think about the Luis Luis Diaz link? I like to it. PSG. Mm. I, no, I saw hundred no. mil. Like I'm, I, I, I'm like, why not yeah. get Cavara? It's just fifty. I like it. I'm not sure. Yeah, fifty. Yeah, fifty Bro, makes him about hundred man. Yeah, hundred man. Yeah, that that that's crazy. Crazy. That valuation. Bigger, that's, yeah, that's a crazy valuation. It's, it, yeah. that, you never buy from the Premier League, like. Because everything is uh, extremely overpriced there. And, I mean, barely quality. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. We got Di Maria from the Premier League. Easy there, bud. Yeah, but he didn't fit into the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. How much yeah. you... Yeah. Di the, Maria, the, the, the Maria the luckily for him, man. he didn't get, you know, the virus of the Premier League. One season and he dipped immediately. Before, you know, he started becoming a robot. Yeah. Have we bought anyone else from the Prem? I can't. I can't think of anyone else. Idrissa, Idrissa. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have, have and the yeah, Herrera, and the Herrera. That was yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were all right. Was, it was the beginning. Yeah. Of the game. But Gay was good. I, you guys don't like Gay. I don't know why. I, like, I thought I like no, you thought he was pretty. He was all right. I don't think I, I think other than Verratti, I, 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 I don't think any other PSG midfielder had dropped a master class in the UCL compared to his game against Madrid. Um, yeah. who better? Who better? Gay, gay or Ugarte? Gay. Gay. That's what Logan was asking at the start gay. of this season. Yeah, we yeah, were going gay, 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 gay like gay. when he was like 25, bro. Yeah, but Gay was like, but Gay, yeah, gay was like, what, well, prem proven is 30 years old or something. Yeah. Ugarte, like, well, Ugarte, you, like, you're old enough to be Ugarte's dad, man. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Bro, Ugarte, Ugarte, if he played in the prem, he'd have hella ratings, bro. Like he'd be yeah. Who cooks, man? Who cooks, man? Like P and P stuff, yeah. man. Nah, you guys actually, you guys are, you guys are low key like prem haters though. Like I listen, I think the no, Premier no, no, League no, no, no. I, I a bit overrated, a bit no, overrated. Not, not it's, it's just I love, I love this. You, you are a certain like, Tosin, You certainly you are a prime. You are like a certified prem hater and probably like proud of it. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I like I, I say, yeah. I think the Premier League is a bit overrated. It's still, I think it's the the the, the most competitive. League, but I think it's people overrate it, especially people here you know, in England. You no, know, the, the thing about so not to cut you off, man. They don't like the Premier League, man. But they, they also don't like the city stuff too, man. Because more keeps trying to tell me that yeah, 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 Toure or uh, Tosi or uh, Tosi them like fucking Roy Keane's better than Kev, Kevin De Bruyne, man. I, then I get heated and then I want to leave, man, because I love Kevin De Bruyne, man. Kevin De Bruyne's elite. Kevin De Bruyne's elite. I believe he's the best midfielder of the Greatest Premier League, man. And you can argue with the wall, man. Yeah, I think he's he's not better than Paul Scholes. Yeah, he's not better than Paul Scholes. He, 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 who? He's not better <laughs> than Paul Scholes, my guy. Paul Scholes, bro. Fucking... bro. <laughs> I swear, Paul Scholes and Mark Noble, no different, man. Wallah, I swear to you. <laughs> <everything. laughs> no, that's, 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 I swear to you on everything, man. Listen, nice. I've never watched. Paul Scholes is before my time. Paul Scholes is before my time, so I can't. I you can't are, really you're, comment. You're hyping you're hype Michael Carrick who can actually move move his legs. Right, get out of here, man. Please. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh wait, wait, wait. DJ, I have a question. Okay, who? Okay, this is. I, I don't. I don't have a stake in this. But Lampard or Gerard? Who? Who? Who better? Gerard, bro. Lampard. Lampard is not good, bro. No, nah, for like, me, Lampard, for me, Lampard every single day. For a midfielder, Lampard's a good like, striker. Man. The shit that Gerard did. That's what I want from my midfielder. I don't. For need me, Lampard throw. every single day, man. What like? I don't need to throw in twenty goals. Bro, what a what a dead argument. It's like trash versus garbage. That shit. Oh, like, that's <laughs> whoa, 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 easy there. Nah, nah. Like, nah. But honestly, though, Gerard is five times better than Lampard. No, yeah, that's, that's curving. Oh, that's curving. I know. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me, Lampard. There's not really much of a debate for me. For me, it's Lampard. Like, why do you why do you have Lampard over him? Well, goals, assists, as as, as like as in being. See what I'm saying? But he's in the, 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 the thing is, so, like it, that's the thing. It, even even goals. like as how how can you tell me that he's as a midfielder, midfielder he is what t- Chelsea's t- all time record goal scorer? That's cr- that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, he's but yeah, he's still he's he's he's, he's still off the black man. He's still an off job goal. That's all he's doing. And 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 like. And like the thing is, so at least you could like maybe people with like Gerard, they'll say Champions League. Uh, Lampard's going to Champions League and Premier League to that. And like Gerard didn't do any bro, of that. You, and then, and then the first fact, argument people are going to go and say is that fact. Uh, he. Yeah, go fun on. Fact: Lampard doesn't have as many Champions League goals as Gerard or Paul Scholes. Fun fact. That's just a fun fact. For all those goals, he doesn't even have as many goals in, in Europe as Gerard or Paul Scholes. And definitely not more than De Bruyne. Like, yeah, that's cute. This guy that's is fine. crazy. This guy is this guy is crazy, man. And he, that part is just not like he's not on the level of a Gerard. Like he can't impact the game like a Gerard. Yeah, because he's he's that's above that. it. He's better. He's not better, man. Like I think I've got I don't care for Liverpool or Chelsea. I don't if anything I have a reason to not like Chelsea, but I think for me Lampard over over Gerard as well. Wait, say that no. again. Pardon? Say that again. Yeah, re- repeat what you said, please. I, I didn't hear you what you said. As in being a Spurs fan, like I've got even more reason not for, like to like Ger- Lampard, but for me oh, I, I, I Yeah, like I mean, sure? oh, what, oh, what do you think of Richarlison? What do you think of Richarlison? Richarlison. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think I think I think Angie's uh, I think Angie's doing miracles with them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's I don't know. I, what, who do you support? Ah, P- PSG and Leverkusen. All right, okay, okay. No, yeah. no, no. You definitely got a prem team. Man. You have to have like, a you have to have a prem team. Who are these imposters? Sne- sne- sneakily us, Arsenal. Sneakily. I know Arsenal. Dave. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. And David team, David bro. is a City fan. This no, I'm crazy. not a city fan. I, I just love Pep. Bro, just stop, stop, stop. Well, I, I love Pep too. I can't even hate. I love. Pep. I, love Pep. I like Pep. I like. I like Pep. Although I don't like his like his ego though. I don't like the fact like. Nah, like I, no, no. I mean, bro, no, he's he, the best. I love someone. I love someone that, love someone that can ego. back his ego. If you can back exactly. your ego, yes. We. Exactly. You can back your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's gangster, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like some of the stuff he like for like remember it was at this season where he goes and like openly like at halftime is like blasting at Holland whilst he's still on the pitch. And then he goes and says like to the cameraman, no, I don't don't have a problem to him doing that, but like on the pitch, and then he goes and like says, get like move the camera, get it out of here. It's like, well then just just wait till like you wait a couple of steps. Everybody Pardon? know Pep love the cameras. Everybody know Pep love the cameras. The cameras. Yeah. Even so, then even even a further knock on him. Then like that's, yeah, that's what I mean. I so like I don't like that yeah, aspect yeah. of it. But these are men, man. They're not kids, man. So I don't think he's gonna cry about them. Man. No, no. Wait, Tristan, what, what's that ritual called? They do like for celebrities and everything. Oh my, you about to say the shit, like, like, right? Or, or the... Yeah, no, no. Pep, lo- Pep loves doing that. Putting certain players uh, under the bus to take up his standard and show that he's the ultimate boss. That's why Pep has fallen out with so many big players, players with egos. Because he needs like everyone Eto, to be with him. Eto, Ibra, yeah. Yaya Torre. Yeah, yeah, but the only person to win was Eto, man. Everyone else lost the argument, though. W- we, how lost did Ibra I mean. lose, for example? Yeah. Ibra, Ibra, loved, Ibra loved the club, but he didn't get, he didn't like, Succeeding like he's doing dream moves and no, stuff. No, but how did he lose the argument, Matt? To Matt, Ibra told him straight up, Nig- "Nigga, you being a bitch. You yeah, gonna speak to me face to face like yeah, a man? Yeah, or are you just boy. gonna hide, but not yeah, give me won, any rationale won. for why I'm not playing?" Yeah, but like, he won with the uh, with Messi coming off on coming out of nowhere and Messi being Messi, basically. 
he was replaced. I no one, no one really remembers you bursting the Barca. He wasn't replaced. He was supposed to play with Messi. Yeah, but the plan what I'm trying to say, like, play with Messi. What, what I'm trying to say, that like, Messi thrived and like everyone like, and Messi became Messi. I no one really remembers it bursting at Barca. If I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, he was but coming like, off the bench. He was playing out but, wide. But, 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 but someone like Eto, like you, like you said earlier in the pod, Henri came, Henri stunk up the pitch. Eto was was clearly clearly better. Eto still still that I won the trouble after. Eto won, yeah. No, but yeah, like the, 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 the Ibra situation, there isn't a winner, there isn't a loser. It's that Pip wanted Ibra to be his bitch, and Ibra didn't accept that. Like he, they're literally like school children. That's that's how they're. And uh, David, look at every player Pep signs. Pep never signs a player above 24, 25. Why? Because because you know it's it's much harder harder taming uh, an older player than a young player. <laughs> you do use taming, man. Taming is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, that's, I, I, but I, I agree with you. I agree with you, Mo. That he does want he he does want people. He does want to be the ultimate guy. Like that's what I think. I, I said that. Yeah, I think I've said on Pop before. Like I feel like him, him and like Mbappe would be disastrous. Absolute disastrous. Like a calamity. As in, like Lucho still like Lucho's like still he'll has make, to like play him. Like I feel like he'll if, make, if, he'll, if, make it, he'll make Mbappe better, man. I think he probably if, no, if Mbappe no, wanted it to, but Mbappe's no, got too really much really of a like I didn't if, if, if you know you, you know you know the whole um uh, the, the the whole Monaco situation after that if if, if this is Pep and he go he Mbappe's never playing for PSG again like he he he'll, he'll bench him he would have benched him for uh for the Real Sociedad game if that was Pep that's all that, that's <laughs> nonsense that's no I think Pep would have done that Pep would have done that I see I see I see Pep tell his whole squad I saw I saw Pep tell his whole squad once. Nobody take any soda. No soda on this team ever. Pessy opens up a, the Oops, coat I'm right in front of him. <laughs> drinks that shit right in his face. Drinks it. Have they, yeah, but that do shit. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Yeah, shit. because but the thing, thing is, when you're big, when you're, when you're big, you're big. Man. At the end of the day, when you're the big, yeah, exactly. When you're that dude, you're that dude. Ain't no way. No, the, uh, the, the, the issue with that, David, it, is that Pep went against his own stuff. For example, the reason he switched Ibra to the wing and played Messi sent forward was not because that's what Pep wanted. The reason he did that was because yes. Pep pressured him to do that. Yeah, the, the only him, I feel like I don't the like only where I'm playing, I don't like Ibra outscoring me because Ibra was outperforming and outscoring Messi. Messi went to Pep as a bitch, and Pep listened to him as a bitch. So Pep actually <laughs> lost there because he listened to a player. When Pep, Pep never does that. The only player Pep has become a bit sure is Messi. No one else. Is that a good thing? Bad no, thing? No, no, no. He's, he's Eto, been a bitch with Eto. Eto, he begged for you and boys to go back Eto for forgiveness. So he Eto stays, man. Eto still left. Yeah. Oh, Shucks, I forgot. Eto, the, um, the, f oh, see, yeah, go on, finish. You gotta respect Eto, man. One thing though I don't like about Eto and I don't know if Yaya Torres done it. They they try to play the racist gimmick card. Like, yeah, I don't like that. Eto's never done that. Eto's never done that. Don't lie. Mm, no, no, no. I don't think Eto's done one that. One of them has yeah, done that. One of them. Yeah, Yaya did it. Yaya did it. Yeah, yeah. Yaya. Eto did it. Eto balled everywhere. Don't do that. Respect the like, Eto. Eto. That's what told Guardiola straight up. No, Eto on French you're, television you're, said that you're, he you're, said you're he told them he said yeah he was never a great player. Yeah, exactly. You were a good player. You're never a great player. You're not a great player. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, he's not. He's not chaffing there. Like he's not wrong. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, Kate, listen, I I don't know. I want to get your guys' take on um uh, uh Vinny and La Liga. Like, Kate, obviously, what like happens and the abuse that Vinny gets is I think I think is is bad. I don't like. But like I was like like looking at the the Valencia game. Yo, low key, Vinny has like anger management issues. <laughs> Like oh, yeah, yeah. I I know he like he he gets a lot of abuse and whatnot, but like at the same time too, like I go like when he scored against Valencia, like I get like he got because that's where he got like the whole abuse last season and whatnot. I get like the whole thing, like I understand obviously there's that's your, that there's no room for that in football. At the same time, if his goal is to not get racially abused in stadiums, him going and like taunting the fans after he scores, not once, but twice, continuously. I'm like, at that point, mate, if it happens, yes, obviously they're still in the wrong, but like, mate, you're not doing yourself any favors at that point. Like, I no, understand. No, like, he's he, a he's a, Exactly. He's, like that. So, 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 so to a certain degree, like, he, I guess you, it, it, you feel less empathetic for him if he do, if he's doing that. If he's just like playing normally, scores a goal, and there's like... Junior. 
you it, know who it reminds come, me of? He's come to an extent where you nearly feel he deserves the shit that he gets. I would no, I would never. I think it, I would. No, I can't see that. No, yeah, no, yeah. That's what Vinny does. It Vinny, I've never Remember seen. Balotelli used to kind of do the same thing. I guess it's just their way of thinking that it'll help them play better. I think Vinny, it helps them play better. No, but the thing is, though, he's always like, like, like you, like you see the whole um. Because uh, the thing is, though, Ner Vinny is an emotion. Like he's he's like Latin. He's he's, he's an emotional player. Like as soon as he gets on edge like that, well, look at like what he did for example against um Leipzig. Like he should have he should have been sent off. As in, if you're able to get under his skin like that, you take him off. He's gone. He's he's a ticking time bomb. Like so, like obviously, like the abuse is going for. I feel for him on that point. But then at the same point, it's like, mate, if if like the thing is, the from my perspective, in, an entertainment sick. perspective, I think he's sick. That I think he wants the abuse at this point, bro. I think he's that. Like the way yeah, I, yeah. He, he likes being the victim. A lot of people, especially in nowadays society, they like being the victim because then you have something to blame on. For example, when Vinny drops the sinker, that's when he drops the Instagram uh, thingy. It's exactly like Rashford. Rashford likes being the victim. And there, it's not even about race. It just he likes being the victim. Then he drops the essay. I love United. I love this. Uh, people shouldn't hate. I get uh, treatment. Like you're a football player, getting hate on social media. That's part of being a football player. You shouldn't act like a victim. Every football player gets hate. The players that get more hate is because. They call for it. I've never seen, um, like, do we do we see a Beraldo get hate? Do we see, like, do we, have we ever seen a non-toxic football player get enormous amount of hate? Not no. even that, like, like take, for example, like, um, uh, Bukayo Saka, for example. Bukayo Saka, obviously, one, being one of the people who missed the penalty. Bob, he got blasted, obviously, you know, by, all, like, people, some people that fall right here in England. But he never, like, he hasn't talked about it further. Like, he just goes, continues. That's why I, like, even though Saka's an Arsenal, I, I like Saka as a person. He doesn't, he just he, like, keeps himself in, in, in that sense. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, if Vinny, like, if Vinny's goal is to not get racially abused, like, you can't also then gaslight and, like, um, uh, instigate other people. I, that's why I think it's fucked up. I don't think that's his goal. I think his goal is to win the game by any means necessary. He's going to taunt. He's going to do this. He's going to. He's gonna cry wolf, you know, like Ant was alluding to, like with the whole but, victim thing. Like, but like for me, the whole like, yeah. But the thing is, though, by any means, you say that. But like the thing is, though, it's like um uh, because the thing is, it can backfire on him too. Like um, when he goes and does like you know the whole like pointing the badge and everything to Real Madrid kissing and so on and so forth like in front of like listen in terms of entertainment as a neutral this is like it cracks me up like I'm like this is peak that's entertainment that's, but that's that's part of it too he's trying to yeah do I stuff. like it Neymar but the thing is on my point similar. Neymar was Neymar was doing the same shit at Barca true but the, the thing well, I have is that the you whole can flow of talent to, to justify it that's the, the thing. thing is. A, my issue with or stuff like this is that you can't go and like taunt other people like that um and and go and 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 do that and then when they do like clap back and do abuse you obviously like this i'm not condoning their actions don't like people are gonna go cut this i'm not these yeah, yeah, yeah. like what they're doing is disgusting all right you can't you never go and racially abuse but at the same time it's like mate if you go and you do it's like um if you go and you uh, uh insult somebody's like mother and whatnot if and they come and like beat you to a bloody pulp is it an excessive use of force on their end? Absolutely. But at the same time, if you do that, mate, what are you expecting? That they're just going to come and shake your hand and like sing Kumbaya with you. So it's like, be like, be reasonable. If what you want to do is taunt and do that and you're willing, like the way I see it is if you're able to give it, you have to be able to take it. That's my point. If you don't want to like take it, then you don't say anything. You don't give it. That's just my general sense I on it. Yeah. No, like for every action, expect a reaction. Something exactly, like exactly. But yeah, I mean, Vinny will be fine. I don't think he cares. The guy makes six figures every match day, so. No, but Loki, like, a thing is, for me, like, that, the, the whole, the fact that he didn't get sent off, like, that's just, like, Vadrid at its peak there. Like, that is, that is, like, because no, like, they, they, they be getting, they be getting nice calls, man. Like, no, even in the league game, he, 
the league game he should have been sent off as well like because i was looking back i was i thought the you know the valencia that game the valencia game i thought it was a new chapter i thought i thought god said enough was enough and he bang, came with divine justice and i was all for it i said i hope it happens again i hope it happens again and then the the larby leipzig hap game happens and i realized i know what it was i know what it was is it, the, the refs went on strike they, they said they weren't happy with Madrid's wages, and so they went on strike, and they gave them that warning, and that was the Valencia game. And then Madrid went, went like, you know, begged, uh, caved to the pressure and increased their wages, and that's why they got those calls. Like, that's all it was. I thought it was going to turn a loon leaf. It was, it, was just, it was just business. It was just business. That's all it was. Oh yeah, I just realized tomorrow the French national team squad comes out. Do you guys think? Um, uh, do you think? Uh, oh my goodness, Barcola is making it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been reported he he's going to be the player that takes uh, Coleman's spot. Because Coleman, Coleman is also probably dropping out. Yeah, because Coleman is injured. Oh, Coleman yeah. is probably dro being dropped out. Uh, and Kunku also not not in in form or anything. It's like what the attackers. Has, what is happening with? Is he is he like? Still injured, or is like because yeah, what's happening? No, with him? Back. They keep rushing uh, him back, man. That is probably... Oh, he got injured again. Mm -hmm. What? Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, in, in 2024, he's only played five games. Yeah, they keep rushing him back, man. I mean, in what eight in nine games, he has two goals already. Wait, who? And Kunku. Yeah, man. He's, um, the injury shit is fucking with him. Like, he can't, he can't beat that, those niggling injuries right now. And it, it didn't start at Chelsea. It happened since his last season at Leipzig. True, can't yeah. can't shake off that injury bug. And you know Anymore what he needs to do? He needs to, he needs to come back home. He needs to come back home and we'll give him the Dembu's treatment. We'll give him that. I'm good, I'm good off that, man. You don't want any Kunku. <laughs> Yo, Chelsea yeah, fans are killing him right now, bro. Yeah. And Kunku. No. Yeah. Yo, Chelsea player, I want Enzo or Cole, like... or Cole Palmer. Man. No, it's crazy. Like, Cole Palmer, dude, honestly, and Kunku's their best player. But he hasn't no, been Cole able Palmer. to show that. Because, exactly, because... This Cole well, he's Palmer, not played, yeah, so you can't yeah, really... Well, Kunku yeah. really is their best player, bro. You can't show it, though, because it's... It's a mess. Bro, it's a mess. Like Loki, okay, do, do you guys think do you think like Prime and Cuckoo, do you think he makes it into PSG's current squad? No. Yeah, yeah. No. Really? No. Yeah. Do you think he can play as an A Tosin? That's all You're talking like as a sent forward Tosin? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, he'll play center forward. I think he makes it in, yeah. Like is he better than uh Ramos or Colomani? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Based, based, based they stop playing Bundesliga. You see me, y'all. Yeah, okay. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's how. That's how. But the thing is, no. But the, no, no, no. But it's different. It's different. It's different, though. It's different. Colomani, Colomani, match. Colomani match his own stats. So Colomani had more GA when they both played in the same season. I think Kumar could even stay fit, man. Don't do that, man. Kunku was injured. No, last last season, and Kunku finished Bundesliga top scorer whilst only playing you know, half the season. That's why that, that I said. I said he matched his stuff, man. Like he has never like, exceeded what Kulomani had. No, come that on. Was, yeah, wait, that, no, that no, was, no. The, the no, the point is, and, and Kunku was injured half the season last season and still managed to finish top scorer in the Bundesliga whilst being injured for like half the season. He's never matched. He has never. I mean, he. I think he scored twenty one season, man. How many? Cool, hold on. I think it's got twenty. I think it's got twenty this season for that. The thing with for Nkunku is, Nkunku's issue is he shies away from contact too much. Like he don't, and he's he's just too. Yeah, he's just too techy, man. He's not. He don't. He don't want to get dirt down the dirty paws, and he don't have like the. He can't go Nkunku's up best, down like a winker. Google's best position, second striker, man. Exactly, like he can't go up and down like a winger. So, positionally, you have a little—it's a question mark. Where does he play? That's his last issue. season in the Bundesliga in twenty-five games, he had sixteen goals, six assists. You see, for that, he scored twenty, right? Uh, hold on. I know the season scored twenty. That's I actually, I actually yeah, 20, 20, and 15, 20 goals and fifteen assists. 
Bundesliga like the NBA G League, man. Everybody just go there and say numbers up. <laughs> those who, the, those who, right? Yeah, those, those who, right? Those who, you know what I'm but saying? But wait, but do you, do you guys think, do you think, though, that Chris, that what, and Kunku and um, Koyo Mani are like, what, similar players? No, no, no. I don't know. Kunku's probably better, but I'm just trying to say that in the summer, people were, people were using <laughs> Kolmani comps and stuff, man. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> can't can fool me, man. That, that's why I'm like, I'm like, you saying Kuku's like based off what Bonasliga? Nah, no, I saw Kolomani, man. He, he's like, like R9 there, man. That's nah, like, but also like he also cooked in the Champions League too, though. Kolomani cooked in the World Cup. Yeah, but also like he also cooked in the Champions League too, though. Kolomani cooked in the World Cup. I guess Kuku hasn't had a chance. He scored like two goals in seven games. He didn't. He scored a hat trick against City, even though they lost. <laughs> that, oh, you're scored about a Kunku, you're talking about Yeah. Oh, I you were about no, 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 and Kunku. Okay, okay. And then the thing is, like, 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 and Kunku is like way better technically, way better technically. Uh... No, Kunku. And no, 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 no. You can't. Like, Kunku I am probably better really technically better. than Kolomani. Like, Kul- no, then Kolomani can't say otherwise, man. <clears throat> No, Pardon? Kunku's a very technical player. Yeah, I said that Kolomani say otherwise, man. Kolomani Kulmani 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 doing higher level. Can you watch Kolomani come from Frankfurt, man? For for memories, man. <laughs> okay, throw, let's throw, throw, throw Throwback session, man. Throw, throw in a Kunku cop. Throw in a Kunku cop. And Kunku was looking yeah, like yeah, a young yeah, Benzema. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Kuku's yeah, looking silky. Like, yeah, no, no, no problem, no problem. Like, and Kuku, and Kuku techier than Mbappe. And Kuku techier than Mbappe. I remember Kolomani, man. He can create Anybody his own goals, back to own goal. He's literally Mbappe, man. Come on. Kolomani, man. More, more, for, please. Or is it, would you get, no, honestly, get a strike or not? Kolomani was looking like, he was looking like... The Kulmani fuck did you just, man? He's looking like Henry Light in those Frankfurt comps, man. It was crazy. What's Wait, how did how did Frimpong get a team of the year? Has he actually been that good? No, but I mean, you, you know, before team of the year was taken by like the actual best eleven in in the world. Now it's voted by FIFA players. There's no FIFA talk. And I've even heard the stat, Junior, you know, that more people play FIFA than watch football games. Or at least in, in the current generation. Like Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. that's why the football knowledge and everywhere is so cooked. Because people base it off on FIFA ratings and skill moves. Mm, and I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know about that stat. I still like, think more people... When Marquinhos was good, nobody rated him. When, when he started becoming mid, that's when they rated him. Why? Because that's when he had a high rating on FIFA. <laughs> the casuals still rate Marquinhos highly. Maybe Marquinhos not highly. Top quality, bro. Stop this shit. Respect bro, wait. Captain. You you were on that Marquinhos hate captain. train. You wanted him sold, run him stripped of the captain. I'm toasting. You are like shameless. Like I, you need to take back some of your comments, man. Low key. No, look, Tosin is Tosin is like this. Only he can hate on PSG or PSG players. If anyone else does it, then he will defend PSG and his players. <laughs> so inconsistent. Nah, he yeah, just loves PSG. I gotta go and get <laughs> food, man. So I'll be back later if y'all are still on. Nah, yeah, I gotta David. go. I think I'm gonna have to get going. Wait, Junior, yeah, yeah, Junior, before you go, there's a question for you here. Uh, but yeah, David. Oh, uh, take care. All David. right, Junior, for France, how would you line up the attack for the Euros with uh, players like Mbappe, Coleman, Dembele, Turam, Colo? Um, I think. Uh, so I, and Bob is obviously would there. Giroud? Would you start Giroud? I think I would, yeah. I think I would. Would you try and bop at nine? You're so cut. No. The thing is, the, the, Mbappe loves playing with Giroud, though. He, like, genuinely loves playing with Giroud. Like, what does he that just, mean? What does that mean? As in, like, he like, just feed so off of each other. Huh? Did he need Giroud in the World Cup final? Well, no, no. <laughs> But that 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 how was him. Goals, that... How many goals? How many goals did Mbappe score in the World Cup overall? Seven. I think it was like eight. How many yeah. of them happened with Giroud off the field? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. Well, three, obviously the th- three, a good three, actually four, actually five. No, counting the final, it's like five. I can't remember every scene. Um, Holland. Holland. 
where Marcus Turam came off with Giroud, Mbappe scored two. That's where he scored his two goals against Poland. Mm-hmm. That was Giroud off the field. Then in the final, because that's the next time he scored in the final, he scored all them shits without Giroud on the field. Well, okay, but taking him off on the, in isolation, I just think they gel well together. I, I don't know. I can explain it. I think, like... Nah, you just think that. You just... Nah. Well, the thing is, like, the proof is in the every, every, like, every, like, like when we try well together, like, as he plays with, like, Messi, Neymar, like, there's a certain level you have to be at for him to play. Like, you think he plays better with him? You think he has better rapport with him than he does with Theo Hernandez? No. I, I think so. You know, I think so. I think so. I don't think so. Well, like, for example, Mbappe played better with him than he did with Benzema. No, Mbappe, Mbappe and Benzema were figuring it out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just think that, like... We saw the Nations League, so... And then, whoa. Oh, shit. Ferrati cooking. Is this Ferrati in... I think he's going to be back in Europe, bro. Didn't he say that no. he didn't want to? Didn't he say he didn't want to go to any of the European clubs because he didn't want he didn't want the prospect of having to face PSG? Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, yeah that's a lie. He went that's to stay in Europe, but no PSG, European clubs. The, the, club, the, the, the clubs in Europe didn't. No, no, no. The clubs in no, no. A lot of clubs wanted him, but the clubs in Europe didn't want to give PSG the money that we wanted. Like mm-hmm. they wanted a, a cheap price for him or something. Simple as that. Yeah. Like Chelsea wanted him, Barca wanted him, Juventus, uh, Inter Milan, a lot of clubs wanted him. But yeah, to answer the question, though, I think Mbappe on the left, Giroud through the middle, and then I think it's going to be between Coman and Dembele on the right, most likely. Whoever's in form. That's who. That's a, That's how I think the front three is going to be for France. Yeah, I know. I just think it's super predictable going back, playing Giroud as striker. Like, fucking move on, dude. Move the I mean, fuck on. Like, I mean, Giroud's Mister Reliable. Like, that's just not. That's not. That's not how it works, dude. Like, you gotta finally switch the shit up. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel. I feel like Giroud's underrated. Like, people under underrate what, Giroud. What the fuck does that matter? Like, we're talking like right, right now, twenty twenty four. Like, is Giroud really the best y'all can come up with? Well, it's not the thing is yeah, that's okay. The thing is with Didier Deschamps is Didier Deschamps is not a manager who goes and takes the best. He goes because the thing you think for tournaments like this, it's about squad cohesion, things like that. Like, um, uh, one of the reasons why, for example, he wasn't taking Benzema and whatnot, uh, there too was because, well, like, well obviously, one is case and whatnot, everything was going on there, but also, it was mostly like, that. it was mostly. Yeah, but the thing is, eventually he brought him back, and he, like the the things hadn't fully settled down. He brought him back like earlier, but like the the thing with that is that even like when they brought yes, him back, yes, we had war. there was a war going on between Mbappe, no, not Mbappe, uh, Benzema and um, Giroud Griezmann, and Yoris and Yoris. And that's why they yeah, well, so they yeah. so exactly so it's like so that's that's the point. So if you're if you're Deshaun, is they're do you jealous, is they're jealous of Benzema? They're jealous of what Benzema's achieved that he comes in and he he's already the best player, or if not the best. Well, I don't. Player, I think that I think it's more so that they I think they didn't like the fact that despite despite everything that he done that they done obviously without them and that they were able to build like so on and so forth and now now he comes in having hasn't played for like eight years and then obviously just gets the status i think yeah there was certainly this jealousy in there why would he not be a, a no i'm not saying i'm not saying that this is good or bad i'm just that's how they felt like it's, it's it is what it is. the thing is okay like i don't think that they were like i don't know like explicitly malicious about it i think they're just just generally unhappy it's like imagine like okay imagine it's it's like this let's say you're playing like um uh for like your uh, school football or whatnot and you go and you're on this team and whatnot and like there's another team another great player and eventually transfers over to your team and you've been that guy for that longest time and all all of a sudden this new player comes in and arguably he is like technically better than you and all of a sudden all your teammates everybody now they just clamor to him like almost forgetting everything you've done for them previously I think that's perhaps how they felt. That's not really what it really should have been because at the end of the day, all three of them 
the idea was to play him, Griezmann, and Mbappe in the front three. But the thing is, Griezmann's role was suppressed with Benzema's role. And, well, they didn't, yeah, they didn't want that. And Griezmann didn't like that. Yeah. So that's why there was, there was some beef going on. But in I mean, reality, a real coach... But the thing is, you also look... A real coach would have bench Griezmann and said, we're going to play a two-man attack of Mbappe and Benzema, and we're going to play some traditional wingers out wide. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I like think that's the, that's what well, a real coach, a strong real coach. Would or have you're, you're, you're talking, you're seeing a real coach, or the, like one of the only few coaches to have won a World Cup as a player and as, as a manager, gone to a World Cup final, nearly winning it there, Euro finals. What, well, like, this isn't some like B tech, no nonsense coach here. No, the Thompson's is a good, he's a, he's a exactly. Good, like, good the thing is, like, oh, I, I agree. Like, sometimes he's, the, the he's choice, also pussy shit. he's also pussy shit with a green. He was too scared to bench his, his boy Griezmann. His boy, that's his boy. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Even he's admitted that he's his his his, 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 his like goody two shoes. Is like his yeah, but like I think it's wrong. But like the thing is but what though, what was best for the team in that time was to play Mbappe and Benzema together as a front two, and then you know show up so, in midfield. So what would be the formation then? How would they have played? Like what formation? Just the flat four four two. That's it. Benzema and Mbappe up top. And so the what? Who would be like the the left and right midfielders then yeah you can add like one midfielder like maybe Rabiot to play on the left and then have uh, Dembele or Dembus, Dembele or Coleman, Coleman. On the right yeah and then Pogba Conte in the middle like you've been doing like that's all he needed to do that, there was mm. no room for but even then I, I, I don't know I still feel I think even because even at the World Cup in 2018 Griezmann was playing as a false nine I think I don't know like the thing is, too, that what you have to think, though, is that it's about, like international football is not club football where you can work on patterns and whatnot. It's you have to sort it's just you get into a routine. It is what it is. And also, France play very differently. Like, France, like, Didier Deschamps is a very conservative manager. Very conservative. Or actually, no, more actually pragmatic. Like, sometimes the football France play is not quote unquote pretty football, but it's just football that gets stuff done. Like, Deshaun is, Deshaun is who, like an Ancelotti. Who do you enjoy watching more? Who plays better football, PSG or France? Oh, PSG. P, well, oh, it depends who, when. It depends who and when. Like, the thing is, France depends can play. Now it depends. Wow. As in, like, I think, generally speaking, PSG play better football. 100%. Like, prettier, more attractive football. But Fran the French, French football is more pragmatic. 100%. Like, um... Uh... Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. And, and the thing is, though, too, though, I think, like, Deshaun is, like, I don't, I, if Deshaun was, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I think Deshaun wouldn't be nearly as good of a club manager as he is a national team manager. Like, he's not, he's, because he's a very good man manager. That's what it he is. Was, he was a club manager. Yeah, he was. And he, he did pretty well. But I think, well, he, also, he was also a club manager, like, back in, like, 2010. 11 12, then. Yeah. No, he took Monaco been... to the Champions League final against Porto, Mourinho's Porto. Mm -hmm. And he also, well, and he also is the last manager to ever, you know, win something with Marseille. So he's been pretty good. Marseille. And I think, did he coach Juventus? I think he coached Juventus. Might have. Loki, I think Deshaun is like Loki underrated as a manager. No, he is. He is. He is. He's... Yeah. But he's very pragmatic. But he's more of a man manager. Yeah, he's like an Ancelotti. He's like an Ancelotti. Yeah. So, like, if he'll just do player, what needs to get done. It's not going to be you, pretty all the time. If you were a player, who would you play for, Ancelotti or Pep? Oh, Ancelotti. Ancelotti. Ancelotti every single day for me. Like... Because with Pep, it's just going to be information overload, right? Or... Not not just that, but, like, Pep, I could be, like... Like, look at, for example... um. Uh, uh, Jao Cancelo, like you know, being like having a good relationship, and then over a couple of days, all of a sudden, now I'm shipped off just like that. Like Pep will be the type of person to be like, um, uh, oh, you've just like I don't know, lost like your wife has like miscarried. Okay, I'll give you time off, but now you're not back in the squad because you're not able to get match fit again. Just be like that, or like won't even like come and console you because it's like I have to work out, focus on the team type stuff. Like I think it's just too. I I don't know. Like I think I think the person is also important. Yeah, like compared to like an Ancelotti, where he like Rudiger in an interview said that 
Ancelotti was the first person to walk up into Madrid and invited him for dinner with his family. First, yeah, that, yeah, that's stuff like that. Like right. that, that's, that's yeah. somebody you respect. Like, how low key yeah, Ancelotti? Yeah, Zlatan. Yeah, Zlatan said his favorite coach ever was Ancelotti as well. Ancelotti's low key kind of nice. Yeah, really, I really enjoy him. Yeah. Ah, shame that he couldn't stay longer at PSG, but you know it is what it is. Because Leonardo fights everybody. <laughs> Wait, what's your stance on Leonardo? Like, dislike, or mixed bag? He really should be like our president or like vice president. <laughs> they should carve out a role of vice president or something where he can just be next to Nasser. And yeah, someone else can do like the sporting director stuff. I just think he's he's like Mr. PSG to me. He's more Mr. PSG than Nasser to me. Nasser is just Nasser is just a bitch, man. <laughs> Nasser be falling. Nasser be falling off, man. Nasser fell off. He just lost his edge. Like, when did he have it? When we got Neymar and Mbappe. And then ever since then, it's... Edge, it's like yeah, he just kind of lost it a little bit. And you can't you can't take anything he says at face value. Unfortunately, but I mean, he's still he's still always going to be president. I just think he should have like a vice president. That's where Leonardo can come in, you know, just someone next to him, like a right hand man, because Nasser just can't handle. You know, Nasser is like the president of like eight, nine different factions. Like yeah, Qatar Tennis Authority. Okay, but then, okay, within with all like, uh, what is like, he doing? What are his responsibilities truly as PSG president? Like, what is he exactly. doing? Like, what? Is, I don't think he's doing shit. I think he's doing way more with the other shit than with PSG. Personally, he can't really hone in on PSG. Like, but as in the, like, what is there to do though? Like, what would there be there to do? I mean, is, to look at every faction of what's going on at the club. Organizationally, well, like, I mean, how's the, the team doing? How's the team doing this week? I mean, what, what's their routine going to be this week? What's going on in the financial side of things? What's going on on the marketing side of things? What's going on? You know, I mean, for all its faults like, and all, like all like, our, like, our like, there's, there's gonna be some shit to do every day in the. Office. But the thing is, though, like, okay, bar, bar, like, perhaps, like, sporting wise. PSG's been like that's why, like, the marketing aspect of like growing PSG and the brand in it, like, it's impeccable. Like on the market, like money wise, we're bringing we're revenue, so on and so better. forth. It can always be better. Obviously, it could always be better. But like, even getting our deal with like Jordan and stuff like that, that's all that's all Nasser. Like, that wasn't all Nasser. No, he well, had, as in like, man, like, he had, you know, Jean Claude Blanc. Yeah, okay, but like, hey, we can't go and say like, but Nasser's the president, so that's why he delegates stuff to people who are. It's like in, in a regular, like the in the U.S., right? Biden is not the one, you know, deciding by how much the interest rate's going to increase. He delegates that stuff. He has to be like broadly aware that this stuff is happening. It's the same thing. You delegate stuff. But Biden has one job and one job only: president of the United States. That's not the case with Nasser. Yeah, but president of the United well, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But like president of the United States means you're commander in chief, you're all these other things. You have a bunch of titles, but yes, your ultimate thing is that. But you can delegate stuff. I mean, I don't know. I'm not Yeah, not, and Nasser can delegate things too. I'm just saying he should still be involved in the daily activities at PSG, like the day to day what's happening day to day. Like he should be there. Like the one thing I would the one thing one thing I would say I'd like more from him is more so like him like speaking. Like for example, this whole like Mbappe stuff. Technically, Jeez, that's that's why Leonardo was perfect. He did a, he did enough speaking. Like that's why I'm saying he should be back. He should come back. Man. But the thing is, though, sometimes Leonardo, I feel, spoke of it too much. It's like, mate, like shut up. Like, it's just not not necessary. So every time he spoke, he was saying some real shit. I don't know. Wasn't it him? Like. Uh, them it was in Leonardo apparently they stormed into like the referee's box after the Real game and stuff like that like that we can't I can't have that like standing the club's name like that even yeah, though he's that's rightfully, rightfully so <laughs> I, I agree with you but like we can't have like your like your sporting director being seen in that light I mean, like yeah, that's arguable yeah that's arguable yeah but the thing I can't say though, yeah, Leonardo is somebody who like you. You can see he loves the club. 
like I don't know about how you feel about it, but for me, like I want not only just like players who obviously are gonna be there and like you know get results, but I also want players who are like there to like defend the badge and whatnot. Yeah, which is like like arguably for me, I think like one of, that's one one of my biggest critiques of Mbappe throughout the season is that I think he's gotten better at it recently in the last couple of years, but certainly like before, especially. Basically, ever since like his contract renewal, I think ever since, and I felt like Mbappe was a bit like I don't know, like distant with the club and whatnot. Like I don't know, because like I, I think some people too, though. I, I think some people are, like abusing like the whole Mbappe situation and and, and forgetting what he, like some people are saying like he's not even like top five players for PSG. I think that like easy there, bud. Like, we may not like him, his actions and what like the things that he said about the club, but on a sporting level, he he's like one of our best, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm up it. Yeah. He's I disagree. Right, <laughs> That's what. But the thing, the thing is, like he, recently, he, he, can, he can do whatever he wants. He. Like, like, Mo, like, I, like, with the whole Monaco stuff and everything, I had like, so, like, I went on like some French fans were like, are truly like, like losing their, like, they were like, and Bobby should like never wear a PC jersey ever again. I'm like, okay, easy there, bud. Like after the whole fiasco, I'm like. I was on the pod. I'm like, I, I, I was fuming with Mbappe, but at the same time, he, he went to the stands and whatnot. Like, they were making it like, and they were making it seem as though like Mbappe went, took a PSG jersey, burnt it, and like started like praying and kissing like a Real Madrid badge yeah, alive on stream. No, it's he, he went to this like like yes, what he did is bad, but it's he's didn't he's like like blatantly like burning the club badge you know he's, he's not like for example he's not doing what ronaldo did going on pierce morgan blasting the club like that uh, publicly openly and 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 doing that like I mean, what he did is like don't get me wrong what he did is bad but it's not like never playing for the club worthy bad is what i, I mean, mean. mbappe should have been sent to the loft as soon as he made the decision to leave psg that's when he should have been sent all the extra, all the stuff he did versus Monaco, which is the worst. I've never seen a football player do that in my entire existence as a football viewer, as a football supporter. I've never seen a football player mid game parade around the stadium like he's Caesar, go up, have laughs, and not care, go out to the stadium after. And it's not even that, Junior. It's even in the recent game against Rem. PSG are conceding a goal, and he does this disgusting, faggy smirk. Why? Because he's like, oh, yeah. Bob is not on the pitch. PSG are losing. He, he's once again always looking at his best interests, which is absolutely disgusting. And that's why he's pissing on the badge, Junior, because he's being selfish way so, too many times. So, that, so, so that's never play for the club worthy. Like, I've never wore a jersey ever again. That's I, like the. I said when Mbappe made the decision to leave PSG, that's when he should never, he should have been sent to the loft and never play the game for us again. Why? Because no player leaves Paris Saint Germain, especially mid season. And if you're following the pattern, Adrien Rabiot did the same thing. He didn't touch the pitch a single time after making that decision. So if we're treating Mbappe as as an as a football player, as a PSG player, then yeah. But if we're putting him above the club, then he can do this and we will still play him. What about what about Messi? If Messi when he said he's doing all the signing, should we have done the same with him? Never like played ever again. Or Ramos when he said he was not gonna sign his contract, he's strengthening either. Like never play again no. too. First of all, those two players, the decision came much much later on in the season. I mean, Ramos wanted actually to extend. He actually, he accepted taking a pay cut. He just didn't want to work with Luis Enrique for the upcoming season. But like, okay, and, but... Actually, we killed it, Lucho. But yeah. okay, but, I mean, okay, for the thing, the Mbappe thing, this season when he said he's not going to sign, it was... I guess then, like PSG still had hope, the one of the whole reasons they still had hope that he could still sign the contract extension. As in, I don't think you saying I'm not gonna be there, I'm not gonna sign my contract extension next year to extend again. Now means that I'll never touch the pitch again. Yeah, he should like, never touch the pitch again. 
But I don't like. I don't understand why. Yeah, Mbappe is even a worse context because this is a player we have literally done every single thing for the entire project. We're selling Neymar, the the wages. We've done everything for Mbappe, and this way you do. And what also this means, Junior, is when he made that extension, that's when he started talking with Madrid and, and planning to leave in 2024. So since 2022, he's been talking behind PSG's back. With Madrid, our biggest Champions League rival. It, it's literally the definition of cheating. Well, I mean, so, yeah, have to, have, I think you'd have to present more evidence, concrete evidence to show that. But like, I, I, the, my point is like looking junior, strictly... Junior, junior, look, this is why I don't like Junior. You're talking from Mbappe's perspective. Try for once talking from a PSG fan perspective. I'm talking, okay, yeah, as a PSG That's fan perspective, but I don't you're know. As I'm, a applying, fan, you're I'm applying as an Mbappe fan now. I'm applying the same logic and saying, I don't like, could could he, is it is it possible that Mbappe was in negotiations beforehand with him? Yeah, it's possible, but it's also possible. No, like, no, Mbappe, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I let you finish, I let you finish. I at least, oh, I mean, oh, they're doing the same. Is it yeah, possible? Yes, but also them. Mbappe at the same time, like has lawyers and whatnot. They like the thing. If Mbappe, if you could show, for example, if you came to me and you showed me that Mbappe, without a sh like beyond any reasonable doubt, was in communication with um with Real Madrid before like his six months when he's allowed to be before like January, I'd say then yeah, he should not because that's a violation of his contract. You're not allowed to do that. Like that, that I would say that but things. Oh, I don't like there. There is that. So I'm gonna say again the same thing I said earlier in the pod. You're innocent until proven guilty. That's just the same, no, same standard. Junior, what you're doing here is you're believing what you want to believe. What you want to believe is that Mbappe is I see is you're loyal. doing that. And, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking pure facts. Kylian Mbappe, two, three weeks after making the extension at PSG, wanting, you know, to stay at the club of his love and win PSG's first Champions League, he sent a letter to Paris Saint-Germain mm -hmm. saying, I'm not going to extend. And even Tony mentioning it here, Immediately after the extension had that interview that we looked at where he said the dream is never over, never over. So what all of that tells us is Kylian Mbappe had absolutely no indication, no intention of actually doing anything at this club. The only reason he stayed was because what Paris Saint-Germain offered was too good to say no to. And ever since then, he's been lying. So in his message, he's saying, oh, I wanted to stay at PSG because, you know, it's... Uh, no, he was just capping. He was just lying. So, Junior... You're the one that actually has to show me evidence that what I'm saying is fake. I don't need to show evidence. Mbappe has put the evidence out there. Yeah. Wait, so wait, hip, so wait, so okay. So you think it's not a possible reason that, for example, um, last season he said, okay, I'm going to sign, truly believed in the project, and then saw, and he was like, no, now I've changed my mind. I'm not saying, like, I think, um, could could you say that Mbappe, like, you can put in question his loyalty? Absolutely. I think that when he signed, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it was an opportunity. Like, for sure, I 100% agree. I'm not denying that for for, uh, for fact. I think the only true thing Mbappe is loyal to is his, his own self-image and his own brand. 100%. Like, I'm not saying, like, Mbappe is not like a, 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 a Kempembe who will, like, sacrifice himself for the club like that. By, by no means. But my point is, so we're we reared off, is saying his, what he did there... Is that worthy of now? Like, has he um, gone and like, like for for me that what I'd say is the threshold for me to like never put like on like terminate your contract level. That's what I'm saying is like you have to do what Ronaldo did last season, going on Pierce Morgan. The other stuff, yes, it's annoying and I don't I don't like it. And I think he's there's like for example his whole Monaco thing. I think like I don't know how he's still wearing the captain's armband. I don't know. But to then go and to say that he's like he should never touch the pitch again is like, I think is like that's it's too slow a, a, a bar for me personally to, to cross. For me, it has to be much higher than that. Like for me, what Messi did last season, like leaving the country, skipping training, is far more reasonable to say, okay, now your contract's done. Then Mbappe going to the stands and doing his little victory lap parade. It's like it's, it's infuriating, yes, but it's not like never wearing the club badge worthy for me. Because they didn't happen at the, like, I mean, I, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how it was last season, but people were obviously pissed at Messi and people like went to his house and whatnot. But I don't think, I don't, not many people were clamoring, for example, for him to never, ever again, like wear a PSG jersey. Or I've, at least the amount of people who were saying it was a lot less than what I'm hearing for now for Mbappe. And at least with them, like we can say Mbappe's like obviously pissed us off. We don't like his actions, what he said, how he's um uh been very selfish at times and not you know um taking blame. I 100% agree with you there. 
However, like if we can all agree, Mbappe's done more for the club than Messi has. Yet we were a lot more <laughs> graceful, I want to say, with Messi than we are with well, some people, not everybody, obviously, than people are with Mbappe. And that's all. That's like I'm just saying, if you're gonna go and say and be consistent and say that Mbappe, given his actions at Monaco and I guess things that he's done before, deserve to never again like wear the the, the kit for PSG, then I think like actions of other players also then have to, to have to go. You, you're, you'd be removing a lot of players basically and saying and other clubs as well. You're saying one thing you're doing here, Junior. You're doing that brought up Ronaldo, you brought up Messi, you brought up all of that. I don't need to bring up anyone to compare to anyone. Why? Because Mbappe's case is a special case. No player has been offered by any club, by any sovereign nation, what Kylian Mbappe has been offered. And the way he's treated this club, this badge, is with absolute disgust. He's never respected this club. He's never actually fought for this club. He's always fought for himself and respected himself. So... Kylian Mbappe has been a rat on... since no, last I, season. I don't, you know what? Mbappe's been a rat since he extended. He should never. He should have gone to Madrid. Oh, I free. think yeah. I, I, he should have gone to Madrid for free. Yeah, I know. I but agree now. Yeah, like, looking you know at hindsight, Let I agree. Abuse the club. Let me lie. Let me lie. Let me continue lying. Let me do even more lying. Let me brainwash the fan base. Let me pay off the ultras so that they can't show their disrespect. But you know what's up to me. What well, sucks about all this? He's the dude, man. He's the guy. He's scoring every week. Wait, yes, so, it's, wait, it's, so it's, it's, I, it's I have like, a question, it's though. It's like celebrating a guy fucking your girl. Wait, I, I have a well, question. So, 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 when, so when Mbappe goes and says, do you so think that everything he has to say is 100% lying? That there's so not bad. an ounce of truth in what he's saying at, at whatsoever? That he's truly, like, bluffing us 100%? That there's no truth whatsoever. That when he says he loves Peach, there's nothing at all in there. Not one ounce. Because I think I think even I think even you would be pardon. I've not said that. But I, so, he's lied. I haven't said every single word has been a lie. As in, as, as in, like, okay, when he goes and says, for example, that he like he loves like you could say that. Um, like I agree with you that when he signed, it's, it was an opportunity. That if PSG hadn't offered that mammoth contract, he definitely he's not signed. If PSG had matched Real Madrid's offer, he's going to Real Madrid. I agree. No, no, no questions there. But I do think that when he goes and he wanted to try out the project, I think there was also a case in there that was like, you know what? Also, I'll take this, but I also do want to have like see what this can happen, and then perhaps he changed my mind. He never tried it out. He never tried it out. That I, just, I, I don't know. I saw, Mbappe, I saw Mbappe in his first PSG game, not getting a pass from Vitinha, putting his hands in the air and, and stopping the counter attack because he didn't get what he wanted. That's not what a PSG player that does. That's not what a player does that respects the club. That's not what a player does that respects the badge. And that's not what a player that does that respects his teammates. A bit forward in the season, he didn't like how, you know, life was going. Put out an Instagram post, Pivot Gang, removed it after three seconds, thinking nobody's going to see that. But obviously Mbappe put it there, so people were going to so see that. Cre created absolutely unnecessary drama. Then the game before Benfica in the Champions League, him and his clan dropped... Uh, filled out reports uh, to the media that he wanted to leave the club just to put and create unnecessary drama. And then moving back, uh, when he went, was an international break, he said, oh, it feels well finally being in a good team. Oh, I hear I play with Giroud. It feels much better than how I play with PSG. Then when we got knocked out versus Bayern, he said, well, we did our best. I did my best. I was great in the group stages. I was the best player in the group stages. I did my best versus Bayern. Um, our squad is just not good enough to win the Champions League. Bayern's squad is much more comparable to win the Champions League. They asked him, why hasn't PSG won a Champions League? He said, I don't know. So, no, Mbappe never tried out the project. He just was part of the project for, for these two years that he signed the contract extension. He never tried it out. Because that's not what a player that tries out a project does. Like that's what like if you compare Kylian Mbappé in, in, in that 21-22 season, compare the professionalism from that season to Kylian Mbappé in his two seasons since he's extended. You can't compare it. It's night and day. It's night and day. That season he actually respected the club, he respected the teammates. He wanted to leave to Madrid. He told PSG, accept a bit, I want to leave. PSG said no. What did Mbappé do? Nothing. I mean, you know, putting out that book and having that disgusting interview, that was filthy. But it was like right at the beginning of the season. And as soon as the season like actually began, well, that, yeah, I think you're, down, I think you're downplaying that. 
I think you're downplaying that. What do you do then? Like, no, I think no, I think no, he's been no, fairly no, consistent no. in his behavior and all. all, all. I, no, I'm not I'm saying. I, I don't think I don't like. I think he's upped it. Okay, I think I'll take the back. I think he's upped it for sure. But as in, like, he's he's not like a fundamentally true, like 180 completely di 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 different person. My whole point here is like yeah, all those things, thing. all those things that you said, for example, of I don't like it either. Don't get it wrong. But to then go if we're gonna like no, if you're, you're saying accepting it. I'm not accepting it. You're accepting it. You think you're saying you know what? No, I'm accept, I, I accept. Like, I it's accept okay. in the. In I don't. The, I, I don't accept anything he's done. In this case, that's so rap behavior. Okay, when you say I accept it, what do you mean by I accept it? That you, like you, you just put it under the under the bed or under. You like it's okay. It's you know what? Mbappe scores goals. It's, it's okay. He can do that. I don't do that. I don't care how many goals you score. I don't care how many stinkers you have. You should never disrespect the club. You should never do that. And Kylian Mbappe just has absolutely no shame. No, I. Like, I, I CGI, you Mbappe, should never disrespect the club. <laughs> Okay, I, so so he's disrespected the club. Countless oh, of times. Oh, of course, yeah, you're, you're so like, he's, okay, you're he's okay definitely disrespected the club. But what I'm saying is that is so so so. When do you think then, if you have hindsight and you could you you could go back to the uh, back to the past and tell your future self, you would you say that you would walk back and say that Mbappe should never step up? Like after his first, for example, Vitinha thing, where he brushes him off like that, would you say then he should have yeah. um he should have never played for the club ever again? Never like never put on a PSG jersey again. No, no, not that early on, no. Okay, how early on? How? What? At what point would you say that? At that point, it's like he should never. Oh, is it? Is it the when, comments no, after no, the no, Bayern no. one? No, 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 no. Yeah, that it, it was after the Bayern one. That that's when I, I was tired with him. But that's when I started the Kylian Mbappe Zara movement. It was after the Bayern because that then I had enough. Then I was like, yeah, this guy is not part of this project. This guy doesn't want PSG to succeed. This guy wants everything to be carried around, and him, you know, getting the the, the small tops and and taking all the credit and shit. Like this guy doesn't deserve to be here. So, uh, so what would you? What was the like the major thing? The major trigger was it? Was it like the comments after the game or, um, yeah. that of him saying, oh. So that that was your yeah. special. No, oh, okay. Yeah, he, I mean, no, like he, he had a stinker, like a generational disaster class versus Bayern, but in that second leg, yeah, the, the, and, the, yeah, the, the team, you know, the team, you know, like it, it wasn't just him who had a stinker. Pessi had a disgusting stinker. It was just that I had more expectations of Mbappe, especially seeing what he did in that first leg. But then. When I, when I saw the I, I'm trying to find here uh, my live reaction uh, when I read through those comments. Um, let me see where is it? Is I I just got extremely disgusted. I was like, yeah, you can't say this. You, you absolutely can't say this. As the face of the club, as the highest paid player, as he was the captain in that game as well when Marquinhos had to go off uh, due to injury. So yeah. And then this season, I just, you know, accepted. I had some small hope he was going to extend. I even I even put myself in a fake reality where, you know, go, the, you know, the interest is kept with Madrid Junior. He only did that to get a better contract from PSG. But I lied to myself. I lied to myself for this rat's sake. But, like, now I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I, I've moved on. I don't really care that much about Mbappe. I, I think Mbappe being a rat, that's, that's like an obvious thing. We don't even have to debate that anymore. And actually, I wish the best for him. I wish the best for PSG this season. Very well. I think I think for me it's just, I think it's just the difference in what your threshold is then for uh somebody not being worthy of like playing for like for me the, the like not being worthy of playing for the badge is basically the is like what Ronaldo did for me doing something like that on the levels like burning the kit and stuff stuff like that the other stuff I I it, like yeah you um, accept it just say just say junior that you accept it for, except what I don't accept what he's doing. It's they, not good. No, you are accepting. That's exactly what you're doing. Except accepting that what he did never play. Like I think you I think you're we're making a category or you're, you're defining your terms wrong. 
I'm not, I don't like, I'm not accepting what he's done is wrong. He should not be doing that. And there should have been punishments where they were applicable. I'm just saying that what he's done is not um, enough to warrant you going. It's, 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 like, it's like a punishment for crime. In a court, he maybe gets, I don't know, a misdemeanor or something like that. He's not getting the death penalty. It's like that. That's, that's, that's my whole point. Because if I were to go and say that, what, um, for me, the biggest, for me, his biggest thing is that, um, uh, for me, the Monaco thing is that for me is on another level for me, for me, that's on another level. Cause the other stuff, um, as you, as you correctly said, I've never seen a player ever do that. Cause no, for me at that point, okay, you could say that the club, there's this, you want contract. Okay. Fair enough. That's outside of the pitch, but him going and leaving his, like his fellow teammates like that, for me, that's like. There's for me. There's no there's no defense, and I think for something like that, that's you should not be captain anymore, because at that point you've not been done as your captain. Even if you're on the bench, you've not done your duty as a captain. You should be stripped of the captaincy. I think um, you should could have made it. I think you should have not started the game against Real Sociedad, um, and uh, and yeah. Obviously, I don't know what how it's written in contract this that, and the other. But I think those should have been the punishments. Going and now going and saying that he should never, you know, play again uh, for the club, never put on the badge is like, okay, a bit easy there. Like, is it too excessive for me? He, he, look, he should have been sent to the loft either in the summer. He should have been just kept in the loft or he should have been sent to the loft immediately when he made the decision. But when you say so sent to the, so as in he's um just, just training by himself or... I don't know. I think he's still, because the he's thing is... not part of the, just not part of uh, for well, his just, squad. Yeah, so you just okay. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's a bit excessive, and also it would just well, because it, no, it, it, it's not wait, excessive. So, so, so are you saying this because you want what the good for the team? Because I argue that's still not like I'm also looking at it. Okay, what's good for the team? Because you can also go do this, and also no, 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 look, it, it's for the badge. It's I know that missing Mbappe's quality, especially in you know big Champions League games, will, will cost us. But I prefer. Our having respect, having honor for the badge, rather than that. For me, I'd be willing to take if for if, if for me if I'm Bob, if this all happens and Mbappe wins as a Champions League, I'll say thank you for happy commiserations, appreciate it, and best of luck. I think like because the way I look at it is in 20 years, are we really going to remember that Mbappe had his little hissy fit at the club when he wanted to leave? 100. percent You will. Mbappe has destroyed his legacy at this club uh, i don't think destroyed. i think he's tarnished i think it's tarnished tarnished for sure tarnished for sure no, it, not no, completely eradicated he, he never achieved anything special he brought the club to its first champions league final brought he did us not, to, junior he did not he was not he, part of the he was last there season. he was there he was well, he played he played in the quarterfinal he got the assist for the goal he put Chopo Morting was more impactful than Kylian Mbappe in us but, reaching the Champions League final. As, okay, are we gonna okay? When you say he he hasn't, what do you mean? I want like because uh, he played in the no, quarterfinal game. No, no, because what was the word you used? You said he took us, or he was. What did you say the word? He took he he, he as in he was a part of the team that helped us take us to. In the same way, I would say Neymar was in there. No, you can't compare them to. It was it was Neymar. It was Di Maria. And then it was the defense and the goalkeeper. Those were like the intruder and, and obviously the manager. Okay, you know, I'll I'll concede okay, I'll, 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 I'll concede the 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 twenty the the twenty twenty like COVID Champions League the next season instrumental in getting us to the semifinal, um, helped us tw the twenty twenty one twenty twenty two league uh, our, our twenty twenty yeah twenty twenty one twenty twenty two league anything that we did in that Real Madrid league. tie that's him. Even in the league, yeah. Last season was instrumental. If it's not for him, we arguably don't win the league. Like people, like in the same people go and say, "Oh, Messi won us to leave with that penalty." You can if, if Mbappe is not there last season, I don't think we win the league. Junior, a million players have won PSG the league. That's why I said, has Mbappe done anything that only he has done at this club? No, he hasn't. Like he's just been a great player at this club, as we've had other great players at this club. He's, he's been one of the, the best of those great players. Like I think Mbappe, I think Mbappe is top three, top minimum top three. Like the because the thing the way I want to see it is that in the because um with even the whole like Neymar and stuff initially like 
now I look back and because what I don't want is, is, is we go because this is just naturally happens is that um, you become like too emotional in the moment, so to speak. Because I think that I think Mbappe will look at back at it 10 years from now and we'll be like, is what he did what was annoying? Yes. Did he disrespect the club? Yes. But it, I think we'll go and we'll look back at it in a more, what's what I'm looking for, lucid manner. And we'll be like, you know what, for all that he did, like this, this, X, Y, Z, so on and so forth. No. Like, really? No. You don't think so? What I remember from Kylian Mbappe is that we gave him absolutely everything. We didn't even have to. Like, in reality, we should, we, he should have just gotten, you know, obviously he should have gotten a superior contract and everything, but he should have gotten a good amount of stuff and he would have given back a good amount of stuff with his club, but he just hasn't. He's always expected us to give him everything. And if he wants, if he cares, he will give us something back. And no PSG player junior, not Neymar, not Messi, not Ibra, not Di Maria, no Thiago Silva, no Verratti. Nobody has received everything Kylian Mbappe has received. And what does he do, Junior? He leaves us in his absolute prime for free with the decision being made in the middle of the season. Of all so that, no. that's the worst bit. That's the worst bit. I mean, obviously, he's, he's extremely I mean, selfish. I mean, it's just a, I mean, I think this is just a different way that you and I see things. No, I Junior, think... it's, it's a right and wrong way, Junior. Again, Junior, I completely understand your viewpoints and your opinions because you are an Mbappe fan. So you want to see it from Mbappe's best light. I only see it from PSG's light. I don't, I don't. No, that's, I that's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm looking, I'm looking at it from the point of like, if you, I'm looking at point from if you, if you try to look at it. So you, that's the thing. Our philosophy is different in that you you say that you have to look at it from a PSG perspective. Any other perspective is, is wrong in your, in your sense. I'm looking at, no, if we try to look at matter. it, if you try to look at it from a neutral perspective, somebody who there doesn't care about the club, the neutral perspective. Somebody, somebody who's less biased than we would be, for example, that I would say, I, I agree, there's no there's no neutral, but there's less, you can be less biased. If you, if you took some, I don't know, inter Miami fan um, or whatnot, some, some random club, and you ask him, what do you think of this whole situation? He'll give you a much more neutral, balanced view on, on yeah, the book. Yeah, but his opinion doesn't matter because he's not a PSG fan. What, what you're talking about is how will Mbappe's view at PSG look in the future? It only matters to PSG fans. And even among, P but if he, I think, well, that's my, my point I'm saying, even among PSG fans, all the PSG fans are split. Like it's not like I don't think it's. I think no, you have. I think you're making it seem as though all emotionally attached to Mbappe. That's why I say both fans. I say both. Him, I say both sides are. I think both sides are. No, I think both sides are. I'm emotionally attached to PSG. No single player. So everything I say is purely as a representation. Uh, I think. I think both sides are emotional. Club. I think both sides are overly emotional. The people who say that Mbappe should never ever like walk the club, and the never. other people, and never. then and also the people who go and say that like a, P, a PSG like PSG are disrespecting Mbappe, this and the other. I think both sides of the I mean, aisle are, only, are overly it, emotional. Are, no PSG fan says that. The people that say that opinion are Mbappe fans, and again, mm. I completely understand them saying that. It, there is no true PSG fan that says that. Mm, All of them are just Mbappe fans. Well, then I guess at this point you're, you're this you're using the no true Scotsman analogy. Like you're saying the no true Scotsman analogy. You're gonna go anybody who just doesn't agree with you. You're just not gonna call them. A, it's like it's like um, yeah, yeah. Because but then, but then that's a, that's, that's fallacious. Of... That's fallacious. That's like so. No. For example, would you say you're, you, it's like you going and saying that oh Julian Oha is not a PSG fan because he doesn't he's agree with how I've, fan. that's that's I think that's a new true Scotsman no, fallacy. Not a PSG fan. That's he's a no true Scotsman fallacy. Fan. You're you're just saying because he doesn't agree with your views and it doesn't so on and so forth. You can no, disagree. No. No, because he doesn't hold PSG at his best interests. But that's your view that's on how things point. should be. No, that's the definition of a fo of a of a supporter of a club that you hold the club's best interests and not the players' best interests. That's that's your definition of that's it. That's the difference. What's, no, that's I the think definition of a football fan of a football says club who? supporter. Says who? Where? I mean, Junior, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to go and define these things? Go and see it. 
Like you can't just go and make claims like this without without. You say you were mentioning evidence before. Go on, give me the evidence then. No, Junior, what are you doing, man? I'm asking you to defend what you what you said and said that's the definition of a football fan. No, Junior, what are you doing, Junior? I'm saying that's your subjective definition of a football fan. No, like now you you're wasting my time. You're wasting your time. You're wasting the people's time on just dancing around the issue. As I've said, you having that opinion is based up upon you being an Mbappe fan. I completely understand that you having it. That's what you think. That opinion That's from what the PSG perspective is wrong. No, this is what's right and wrong. There is no, oh, it, it, everything is black and white. Everything is simple to see if it's right or wrong. And what you have is, is, is a... So I disagree. I don't think I don't think things are I don't think in this case things are not fully black and white. I think there's 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 gray. There's nuance. It's clear as daylight. It's clear as daylight. It's clear as daylight. I think there's nuance. I think like is Mbappe to blame for a lot of stuff? Absolutely. Is the club to blame too? So if if your things are truly black and white, that it either means that the club is correct or Mbappe is correct. Even you would say that the but club has done some bad stuff too. But that's the thing. I'm not defending the board. The only thing I'm defending is the badge. Has the PSG board tarnished the PSG badge? 100%. Signing Messi, extending Mbappe, letting players, you know, be above the club. This is when the board has made decisions that tarnish the repetition of Paris Saint-Germain among his supporters. I don't care what other people think. But I'm not defending the board. And there's, there. Are, I think a lot of PSG fans, when it comes to this situation, Junior, they side with Leonardo or Nasser. I don't do that. I side with the club, the badge, the colors, the culture, the tradition of this club. So the board, no, they're not victims. Nasser deserves all. When Mbappe goes up there, Junior, Mbappe, Nasser deserves that. He gave Mbappe all the promises. He gave Mbappe all the power to go around and fuck around like this. The reason Mbappe is still can still play games for PSG because he has so much power that Lucho can't, you know, put him into the loft. Lucho can't do this. So, no, Nasser is not a victim. The PSG board is not victims in this situation. They're part of the problem. And that's why I'm happy this Mbappe situation is going to end. And I hope that they learn from their mistakes. And Nasser, indifferent to Mbappe, Nasser thought he did this with the intentions that this is the best for the club, keeping the best player in the world that's French that's from Paris but he should have seen the signs that Kylian Mbappe is not that player Kylian Mbappe is a player that is not going to sacrifice himself for, for the club for the people for the players and in the future Junior will like even Madrid fans what Mbappe will do in that club they will come back and have similar opinions to us PSG fans so do I care about PSG fans that have a different opinion no do I think it's wrong? Yeah, because that's my opinion. Um, yes, but but as in what I mean is that when you say you think it's wrong, you realize though that that's how you view things. As yeah, in, are, yeah, yeah. But as in, are you yeah. saying that like objectively speaking, it like it object? There is no objective answer in this case, right? Yeah. All of this is interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, because... that's 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 my like that's why I'm saying in in the sense specifically looking at like the no true um like one of the like some of those uh um like people who uh uh like glaze and Bappe, i don't like them i think yeah i don't like him either but if i'm gonna go and now say that they're not psg fans well like if, if they go and they so they, they 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 want psg to win they support the baby they buy the kids they do all these things i mean i may not like their takes i like toasted and whatnot i mean like his takes on 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 um how he combines his stuff in, in, in you i'm not gonna go and say you're not a psg fan that would be like me saying because you disagree with me on your view on Mbappe, you're not a PSG fan. Like I think that's that's ridiculous. No, because there's a difference between a, a disagreement, something inside of the club. But in this Mbappe situation, there is right and wrong. Like here, there isn't. People can have different. Like who's better, Kurmani and Gonzalo? PSG fans can have different opinions. Uh, who should be a starter, uh, Warren or Ogarte? People can have different opinions. But is Mbappe a rat? There is no different opinion. Mbappe is a clear rat. So, okay, let's say, let's say, so I'm, if, if I say, if some PSG player says Mbappe is not a rat, and every, like, they go and they say everything he does is deserving, all right, he, everything he does is correct, and they, they say, would you say that he's not a true, he, just, and objectively, no, he's is not, not a PSG, PSG fan. fan. Objectively yeah, 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 yeah. speaking. Be 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 because he's putting the interest of a player above the club. That makes him a player supporter. How is uh, how is him, supporter. How is that person going and saying that um 
what I like Mbappe is like blameless. I'm obviously just exaggerating. Therefore, now I'm making that he's putting that player's interest above the club. Like, what if when Mbappe leaves, he doesn't follow them, he continues to watch PSG games, so on and so forth. Like, I think if if, if I think if you're gonna go and like put 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 that as your definition of of what a PSG player uh, a fan uh, is, I think it's it's too rigid. Like you so cut you off half the thing, people. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of fake fans, a lot of plastic fans, like. A, a, a large majority of Madrid fans, I don't know if they're Madrid fans still, but the Ronaldo fans that started supporting Madrid, yeah, they're not Madrid fans. The Ronaldo fans that are supporting Madrid in an indirect way because their favorite player plays there. That doesn't make them PSG fans. It's like Messi fans. Messi fans who are watching PSG and calling themselves PSG fans, they're not PSG fans. So, because if, what if, so what if they start like that? But they still like continue to watch the club afterwards. Or are you still saying they're not a fan? Like, because because my point is, my issue with that is, if you go and you start saying that, and if they start spurring a player initially, then that rules yeah. off like most people. Most, for example, Arsenal. Yeah. Most of the people, most of the reasons why people um, support Arsenal because they like Thierry Henry. All right, as they growing up, they like the way he plays, they like the style, so on and so forth. And then eventually, obviously, the, there's there's an attachment that you get with the club, and you stick by, and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, Who, yeah, yeah. Today, you would say that they're they're fans. But in your view, would you say that they're not fans because they, what, they went in with the wrong reasons initially? Is that what you'd no, say no, then? No, no, no. What I'm saying is it's all about interest. Uh, uh, and, and whose interest you put above. So, for example, those Ronaldo Madrid fans that I was talking about, Junior, they were the fans when Madrid lost. They were using the Ronaldo has no help. Or when Madrid won, Ronaldo's carrying everyone. They're, they're talking about the game from a Ronaldo fan's perspective and not Real Madrid fan's perspective. There are a lot of PSG fans that are Mbappe fans that see everything from Mbappe's view. Oh, Mbappe doesn't get past the ball. Oh, Mbappe carries PSG. Oh, PSG are holding Mbappe back. Oh, Mbappe should upgrade to Madrid. There, they're not talking from a PSG fan's perspective. They're talking about from an Mbappe fan's perspective. So you can, ble you can be a Messi fan. You can be an Mbappe fan. But at the moment, we are in a situation where you have to take PSG's interest. I mean, you always have to take PSG's interest about any, any player. But if you defend Mbappe in this context, then you're putting Mbappe's interest above the club, which makes you an Mbappe fan and not a PSG fan. This is this is not any delusion or anything. Like this should be a clear thing for like everyone. When we had Messi fans last season, looking at everything from Messi's perspective, oh, Vitinha's ass, he doesn't pass the ball to Messi, la la la. Okay, you're not a PSG fan. Don't call yourself a PSG fan. Just because you call yourself a PSG fan doesn't mean you're a PSG fan. You actually have to talk and think like a PSG fan. And, and what does that look like? And who gets to decide what that is? That's that's why that's you, that's my you, point you, of, you, of the of the no true Scotsman. You, you put you put the club's interests above above any other player's interests. I mean, it's a really simple thing. So okay, so I guess okay, and a more concrete example. Why would you say, for example, sp uh, to go back on a case we talked about previously? Why is Julien Laurent not a PSG fan? Despite okay, people would argue um, in favor of his case being a PSG fan. You know, he's he's he supported PSG ever since he he was young. He was there during the purple patches. Like so, he's not like some glory hunter. His family, everybody's goes. He's watched. He's gone to the park. All these things. All right, he's crushed when they do do poorly. How would you say? Why would you say then he's not a PSG fan? I mean, from, from the small stuff I've seen, he doesn't represent the club. Because the, the thing is, Junior, what's the difference between Julian Laurent and if you take any random PSG fan, is he's an actual representative of the club. He works for ESPN. Millions of people watch that show. And he has to represent Paris Saint-Germain and represent himself as a PSG fan. Does he do that? Absolutely no. He disrespects well, the club. Mm, I, dis I disagree. The club. I, don't, I don't think... I think if you go to... I don't think you have... He has an obligation to go and, like wear and like put on the jersey and, and whatnot at that point he's like as especially the thing is so, because the thing as as so when you say he, he he's a president of the club he's not like a club ambassador that's what like he he be he's a journalist he's got things you now we can so my view on Julian is like i think he's a phd fan i think i think sometimes um he i would i agree with you that he doesn't um do a good job of defending the club at times but but I'm not gonna go and say I'm not gonna put into question his loyalty to the club though. That's what I I'll mean, say. I am. I can see his intentions. He does not talk and he doesn't think like a PSG fan. Uh, like, uh, can you elaborate, please? So like, so um, 
uh, when, for example, I think in like his pod, he, he goes and says like, oh, he thinks that Vitinha, like PSG's midfield is too light. It's not good enough to go um, and to win the Champions League. He, he thinks that it's, um, that it's a work in progress still, which would be, I guess, something negative against the club. But I think a lot of us have echoed that, that sentiment. And it's a sentiment a lot of PSG fans would have. I've never brought that up as an example of why he's not a PSG fan. But I'm isn't. But that would be something that he'd say. Well, he said that he thinks that. I think no. that for the better. You wouldn't think that's a good example for him then. No, that that has nothing to do with him being a PSG so, fan. So when so just, when you say so when you say he like I guess concretely because because the thing is though when you go and you say um he has to talk like a PSG fan think like a PSG fan. That's great, but you have to define what does that mean? What does that look like? And my my argument, my the the, the no true Scotsman says that if you're only the one saying I'm the one who gets to decide what is this, then all it is because essentially is he's a PSG fan in my eyes, and only the PSG fans in my eyes are true PSG fans. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, I mean that's exactly what I'm saying, though. Okay, okay, oh, fair, fair enough. Then okay, I think I guess I was just misunderstanding you because my thing I could say like. What I'll say is that I may not like your takes. I may say that, like, I don't think that's for the good of the club. But for me to go and say you're not a PSG fan, I think, well, to, to a certain degree, I think doesn't really matter. Like, if you're if you're going to celebrate with me when we see score and you're going to go and yeah, so on and so forth, who, who cares? For me, that's the, 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 the way, like, I see it. I'm not going to go and be, like, super nitpicky and be, because why I don't, like, this is just in general in, in, in football. It's so, like, what I've been thinking of, oftentimes, you know, um, often, like, people get called, like, you know, stat merchants, people who look overly look at the stats and, like, XG, this, that, and the other and whatnot. I feel like in football, there's this sort of anti-stat like people who say, oh, it's just like you don't watch the game anymore, this, that, and the other, and like don't look at stats whatsoever and just like just watch the game alone. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, don't swing the pendulum the other way around. Yes, of course, stats aren't everything, but stats do tell you quite a lot about the game, right? If you go, like, if, if you haven't seen a game, if like for this PSG game, if I go, I didn't watch the game and I want to know, you know, how things were, what's the first, thing? obviously, bar the score, you look, okay, what's the possession? How many shots did each team have? You know, XG, what were the chances created? How many saves were there? And it tells you a lot about the game. If a team has like 80% possession and uh, the other team has like, like scored one shot and their XG was like 0 0.01, it tells you that, well, they just hit him on the counter and scored a worldly of a goal. Like it tells you things about the game. And like what I don't want to go in is sort of exclusivize and say, oh, you have to meet all these certain criteria specifically to be classed as a PSG fan or a true football fan or et cetera, so on and so forth. It's sort of like gatekeeping. Is, is, is I mean, the thing. It, it, it is gatekeeping because I I don't want I don't want I, I don't I, for me it's very clear what makes you a PSG fan and what does not make you you have just very low entry standards for becoming a PSG fan compared to me I have very high standards if you're gonna call yourself a PSG fan if you're gonna label yourself as a PSG fan you have to prove it to me you can't just call yourself a PSG fan that's not enough. Watching PSG games, that's not enough. Anybody could do that. And this is a huge problem in nowadays in football because not majority, but a huge portion of so-called club supporters are not actually club supporters. They just say that. So, okay. So what, what would you say would be like the minimum that you need to meet then? The minimum entry requirement, so on, so to speak, I mean, to enter I, the club? I mean, it, it's really simple that you, you hold the club's interest at the top. And, and what does that look like? So, for example, you mentioned, for example, that um, a somebody just watches the game. Like, hey, let's say somebody watches the games constantly, buys a jersey, but like when PSG lose, they don't like they're, they're like a, a casual, but they watch PSG every single game. They cheer and whatnot. But afterwards, like 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 it's like it's your, your middle aged dad, per, typical Parisian goes, doesn't really like read on things afterwards, doesn't really have an opinion, so on and so forth, just gets on with his life, watches PSG, has a jersey, takes his son to this game. And that's really it. Would you say he's not a PSG fan then? Again, that's not enough for me to know if he's a PSG fan or not. I'm not saying he's not a PSG fan. I'm just saying... I'm, inconclusive. Okay. It's inconclusive. Yeah, I would need to know his opinion and how he thinks and talks about PSG to know if he's a PSG fan or not. Okay, okay. fair enough, fair enough. For me, this Mbappe situation, it's, it's really shown, you know... Who's a, who's a PSG fan and 
who's an Mbappe fan or Mbappe bandwagon at this club. Because we, we, we've had this issue with Neymar FC and Messi FC and so on. So I'm extremely happy that Mbappe is leaving because now all the, all the fake people will go away and we will see that they have never been PSG fans. Like they're literally PSG fans who always talk from Mbappe's perspective. Oh, Mbappe carried us today. Oh, Mbappe was not here. We need him to carry us. We, oh, we're holding Mbappe back. Like when I see people talking positively about Mbappe going to Madrid, you're not a PSG fan. Oh, it's it's for Mbappe. Oh, and uh, this is a good move for Mbappe. For his, for, you're not a PSG fan. You're an Mbappe fan, but you're not a PSG fan. Do you know? This, do you know? This is a modern a problem, Junior. It's just what? now that pl- people are supporting players this much. This didn't happen way back in the day. This is mm, a I new modern problem. I, the I new think... generation, more more people support players than clubs. Like this is a huge problem we have now in football. I don't know. I, I think. I think. I think we're looking back at. I think every generation had this thing. Because you look at, I think, yeah, like that's sort of my thing. Oftentimes we'll go and say it's a sort of the same people going and saying that oh. There's never going to be a better player than Messi or Ronaldo. It's like, well, people said the same thing about Pele and Maradona, and like 30 years later, look what happened. Because I think even like you look at, you speak to like older generation people or people like our parents, so on and so forth. They'll be like, oh, Ronaldo Nazario, like nobody could ever touch him. Like this guy was the best. Like I think, I think, I think um, sometimes we over exaggerate the state of how football is and how 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 things are are going at times. Like people are saying, oh, pop up like peaked in like 2010 and so on and so forth. I think that's us looking back at it nostalgically to a certain degree. If a kid now is growing up and they see this, they'll do, they're just going to follow the same thing as you, the same things. Ma- I, majority, I think majority of the new generation watch highlights instead of full games. You know how huge of a problem that is. That's why all all the people's opinions are so stinky. But I also think also they today more people to one goal, one dribble, and then they base their opinion off that. That's true. But so I, would, I would also argue that just more people are watching football in general. So it's like it's it's so okay. This is gonna get really technical. It's okay if you think back like beforehand. There's only like a hundred people like, beforehand. You could only watch football if you went to the games, right? That's the only way you could watch it. Correct. So if you weren't going to the games. They have to be truly dedicated to go to the games. That's what you have to be a true fan. Then obviously got televised, but then to be able to have it televised, you had to like you know have a TV, put the money, pay the cable, so on and so forth. So it was widened, but still pretty exclusive. Then now where we are today, everything's streamed online. Obviously, you know, very fun, you know, league and whatnot. Like there are websites out there where you can watch the game for free, so on and so forth. So the access to football and all this stuff is a lot easier, which means yes, overall more people, um, perhaps yeah, a larger a portion uh, of the percentage of people, the number of people, yes, that are only watch highlights and so on and so forth is higher. True, but generally the number of people that are watching football games in full is still greater than it was ten years ago, because there's more people are watching football today. I'm actually unsure about that. The number of people that watch, like, to just watch the, the like the, the game because football, Yo, like, the access of it. I'm not like this I'm, is just. I'm this unsure is, about that. It's like how how would I um how was no, it? I'm oh. I'm unsure that it's more people that are watching games now than people watch games ten years ago. Because football uh, um, watching peaked in like 2017 and has only been falling off since then. Viewership. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are watching less football. Watching just less sports in general. Sport, real, uh, sports is decreasing. I don't know about that. I feel like sports is increasing. Because yeah. I think the, I mean, the issue too with stuff like... More, more of the generation kids, they watch esports more than actual sports. It's just the, the new generation is, is so cooked. Uh, well, esports is a lot... They'd rather watch... A no, 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 no. Games than no, no. More, pe- game. more people, more people are watching football than they're watching like e, like e. I don't. I think that's overblown. Like esports is big; it's growing, but it's not, I don't think it's that big either. Like who can okay. play FIFA? Than, than yeah, watch but like okay. football games. But you, if you ask most people, my gen- you ask them who's like I don't know the current FIFA ch- like EA FC champion. Most people won't be able to tell you who that is. Everybody will be able to tell you who like won the last Champions League. No, yeah, right. but when I say esports, I, I don't purely mean FIFA, um, FIFA gaming, it, it, all kinds of gaming. Like just watching, they they watch more Twitch, they watch like majority of kids would rather watch um, 
What's that black guy? Uh, Speed. Yes, yeah, Speed or the Kaisenat. They they rather watch that than football games. His interest in football has has lost. That's why I mean the creation of the Super League has to come for football to stay alive, because kids are not the new generations are not as interested in football as the older generation were. Do you don't think that like fundamental rule changes need to happen? Because like I'm gonna be honest, for me growing up when I was young, young, I always like I've always loved playing football, but like watching it, not gonna lie, kind of boring. I was when I was younger. Like it's because it's the, it's, a, it's not the quickest. It's not like basketball, which end to end or, or ice hockey for me as a Canadian. So I always enjoyed like watching ice hockey more than football. It's only like yeah. obviously as you age and whatnot. Like that's what that's, that's 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 what I mean. I think I'm not nearly as pessimistic in saying that football. If, if like people need super league girls, it's gonna die. I think if you, something like a rule changes, I think would make like things more in, in, interesting. Like let's say for example, instead of having throw ins, you have like kick ins. So now, for example, every time the ball goes out of play, um, you have uh, like you can you can put a cross in, um, or like having things like a stopping clock and stuff like that. So you get rid of like time wasting and so on and so forth, stuff like that. I think, um, or having like uh, subs like on the fly subs, um, so that you have more fresh players, so on and so forth. That would like that would certainly pique people's interest more. But the thing is, a football is such an old game that people like people really would be against that. No, I think I think those are very small stuff that wouldn't impact football that much. I think what what more has to be like first of all more blockbuster games. If if it was PSG Arsenal, PSG Liverpool, PSG City, PSG Madrid, PSG Barca every weekend, people would watch more football. No, I 100% agree. I 100% agree. There, there, 100% there are agree. a lot of football fans that watch the Champions League games, but they don't watch the league games. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's true. Everything becomes Champions League. The viewership automatically goes up. Yeah, that's why. Um, like, you know, I remember, you remember when the whole Super League initially came out. A lot of people were like, "Oh, if you have a a, a Real PSG, a Real Bayern, a City, what insert whatever big European team you have, like the the sparkle of it is going to decrease." I'm like, okay. Initially, the thing is, initially I was like, "Yeah, that's true, that's true." But then you think about it for two seconds, it's like, okay. Why is it that the Premier League has so many viewers? It's because every like three weeks or so, you have a uh, Arsenal City, you have a uh, United Liverpool, a uh, Spurs Chelsea, so on and so forth. You have a big team clashing. That's why it's so big. So it's it's a complete nonsense. And also like a lot, like, one other thing I don't like, especially one of the things I really dislike is hypocrisy in people. Like people are saying like, oh, with the Super League boycott Super League. I was like, hey, if you go and you're a Chelsea fan and you see Chelsea uh, Real Madrid, you're telling me you're not watching that game. If you are, you're lying. You're lying. Like you're you're gonna go watch that game. If like if PSG obviously weren't we weren't in that Super League, but if PSG were in, I'm not gonna like hit. I was be like, I would go watch the games. I watch the games. They're entertaining. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I was like that, and then uh -huh. just the marketing of it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Like, they could do uh, All Star Weekend. That would be huge. Mm, then I, uh, you get all of these player FCs watching together. You, <laughs> you see Mbappe, you see Haaland, you see De Bruyne, you see Bellingham. You see, like you mentioned, all the players at once. Obviously, the game wouldn't be that competitive. I don't well, even know if they all start to work, though. All the, all the casuals would tune in for that. Why, why wouldn't it work? Because, well, okay, it might work initially, but like, for example, all star games in back in like American sport, it's, it's like they're dying. People aren't going to them anymore. So like the NBA, it's fallen off. People aren't watching. Them. People don't care. Um, in the NFL uh, and the uh, uh, baseball as well, people yeah. don't care. Even in hockey as well. Because the thing is though, because the the All Star Game, it's supposed to be like lax and casual. And so like when they go and play the game, like the players don't take it serious. It's like a charity game. It's like yes, yeah, it yeah, might yeah. be. It like it would be like interesting the first three five years maybe people would be interested in seeing it. But then eventually, because you'd see like like a score line of like 12 to five at that point, it was like, people aren't trying anymore. Right. Football at the end of the day, football is a game that you try to win. And if the players are like, Mbappe is like going and scoring like double hat tricks and games and whatnot, um, like walking and stuff like that, like you, you won't care. So like, I don't know. These are the, just, just the things that have been played, but you wanted to ask or say something before. Yeah. Do you know the uh, YouTuber L'Immigré Parisien? 
Yep. Do you think he's a PSG fan? For, from the little stuff I know, yeah. Well, so that's so my one of the things I want to mention is that he said um, that he feels that, yeah, him going to Real Madrid and Bappe going to Real Madrid is like the best for his career at this point to just go and that he okay. wishes him all the best. So okay, then, then now would you. Fan. So, he's, so he's no longer, he's not a PSG fan then. No, he's, he's yeah, for, for, for that opinion, yeah, makes okay. him not a PSG fan. Okay, all right. It, it, and again, the French ones, they are in an even harder situation, like yourself, Junior, because Mbappe plays for the French national team. So you you automatically get a bond with Mbappe. For me, Mbappe, he's a PSG player. When he leaves PSG, I don't care about him anymore. Whatever clubs he goes to, Junior, you will still care about him because he's still playing for your national team. You will still see him at least 10 times every year and you will see him for the big tournaments. Um... And look, this entire Mbappe situation is it's a disgusting situation. I just wish Mbappe, you know, had balls junior, wanted to create his own path instead of following other men's path. Because that's a weak move. That's a that's what a sheep does. A sheep follows other men. He follows Ronaldo, Di Stefano, Figo, Bale, their moves. Mbappe could no, have created his own path. No, I hundred percent agree. Just, I think, yeah. Well, that's that's one of the things that well speaking so immigrant, so feminine. That's a, it's a well that's immigrant Paris said that exactly. He says like okay, he understands that it's his boy or club and whatnot, but he also the same argument that even I argue and all the people make is that okay, Mbappe, yeah, you'll go to Real Madrid, yes, historically, um, the biggest club in the world, so on and so forth. But okay, you'll go and do that. What win a couple of Champions League? Cute. You'll be one of like a list of fifty players to have done it. Like, unless he, like, even, like, that's what I'm saying. Even Cristiano, like, Cristiano isn't, even though he's all-time record goal scorer, shattered records every single thing, most goals in the Champions League for Real Madrid. Like, I don't think a lot of people probably have people like Casillas, Figo, no, no, not Figo, um, Casillas, Ramos, um, Raul, above him in, like, the, the legendary Real Madrid players. Because, like, and that's, I think, sort of, I think maybe that's, the, I think that's perhaps the path Mbappe wants to follow. Like, I feel um, Mbappe and Ronaldo are emblematic of what it means to just be a professional. A per, like, truly treat football as a job. And, like, I can't, in that sense, most, like, more power to you. Like, for him, um, like, even Ronaldo at Real Madrid, he wasn't particularly attached to the fans, so on and so forth. He was there. He did a job. He's a mercenary. I'm there. I'm paid. I'm doing this. It's a job. And I leave. Thank you for your services. And I'm gone. That, I, I think that's what Mbappe is like. Yeah, boring. Chris, yeah. No, no true attachment with uh, the supporters of the club. Oh, yeah. Actually, the people that love Mbappe is more non-PSG fans. And when he goes to Madrid, it will be non-Madrid fans that like him the most. Yeah, I, like that's I, that's one. Th I think I think so. That's one, one of the. I think he's done better at at PSG. Uh, re recently, recently in the last like two years or so, is that he has done a better job at making connections like um, to fans. Still not like um, nowhere near the level of uh, uh, even like. I think that's probably what I think would um, uh sort of, I think that's what's going to tarnish his legacy the most, I think, is that he didn't, at least specifically initially, try to have that really warm reception with the fans. The thing is, that's what I don't understand about him, is that he has everything, he had everything in his favor to have that. He's French, he's the captain of the French national team, he's Parisian, so everything is in his favor, and I don't know, but hey, it is It is what it is. Different strokes for right. different folks. Oh, he's dumb, he's dumb. But... That's, that's why I wish he just would have been sent to the loft because then I wouldn't have to still positively support him for the rest of the season. Because he's not a PSG player in my head anymore because he, he doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to be here. Why, why is he a PSG player? Like, Junior, if you had a girlfriend and, 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 and she told you, yeah, I'm going to leave you in five months. I don't. Okay, I don't know how you, good of an analogy it, up, it is. You, you would break it up there. No, because for me it's the same thing. Like I don't think it's a good analogy because no, this is commercial. It's a business anymore. 
I, I understand your point, though. I understand your point. It's, it's hard no, to no, support. Junior, that, 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 that's why Junior, he could have done something similar to what other players have done, Junior, which is waited out with the decision. But he didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck about us fans. Nasser, fuck him. I don't care about Nasser, how, how this affects him and anything. But it's us fans. Like, we're the ones that have been backing the players, backing the club, backing Mbappe, propping him, supporting him. And you, in the middle of the season, in a season where we actually, you know, can see the light at the end of the tunnel, that we can win the CL or something, you just, uh, you just piss on the fans. You just piss on all of them. You could have waited, but no. It helped Madrid. It helped yourself to make a decision early on. So, so you you feel like he should have said it like waited to the last minute again because a lot of PSG fans would um or I, I actually don't know how I think I actually don't know how I feel on the particular thing is timing like I'm a bit eh because I can see both arguments I see argument of like well if you say it now now it's like well when you score it's like yes you score but I know that you're not going to be here next season but at the other time if I know that things are going on and um. And and then you go at the end of the season, you go and you rip it off. It's like, well, you did all this to then leave. And now it feels like you're backstabbing me. Whereas if he's going, he's, like, he's honest, this is my last season, so on and so forth. Like there's been players like that who go and um, say that this is my last season. I'm not going to send my contract and ball out and like that. And it's like, so I can see, I, I, I'm like really indifferent on that aspect. Like I can see the fact that like, yeah, even for me, it's like he scores now. And it's like, now every time he scores, it's like, it's it's like, yes, but it's, 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 it's done. But then at least now I know for sure, like, okay, he's, he's, he's gone. I can be at peace with that. Whereas if it, I was hoping and whatnot, and I get crushed at the end of the season, he's gone. I don't know. But I see both no, sides. Well, no, because he's already done this once. Because the, the thing you, is, of course, last contract extension. Because, yeah, for the last contract extension, he did that, right? He, he, he left it really last minute, right? And then this one, he said it, well, I guess, hasn't officially said it by from his standpoint, but he said it. Or if the news has come out that he's not gonna he's he's not gonna extend. Um but I could see both sides. So I'm a bit like indifferent about because that for me the way I see it is that at the end of the day the result is the same. He's not staying at the club. No, no, it would have been totally different if he just after the last game, whatever game that would be, he would say that's my decision. And then we would accept it. But then, like, then the, the thing I would have done point. then would have been like, well, then how long ago did you know? Is the first thing I would have said. Because I like, mean, obviously, because yeah, the thing yeah, we yeah, obviously know, like, because we obviously know with all this stuff, for example, is that like these contracts, it's not, it doesn't happen like in a week and it's done. Like Real Madrid is not going to be like, yeah, we're going to wait for you. Give your, give your time. Like, there's negotiations that happen. If we go and you say that, okay, let's say, for example, with this, he, the negotiation was finished. He made his decision, but then just delayed him saying, didn't mention anything until April, so on and so forth. Then it's like, well, how long have you been negotiating? Because then it'll be like, let's say, for example, things had even gotten better and better and better and better. We gone to the Champions League final. We maybe, uh, maybe just nearly lost or we win the league. He goes, does all this and then he leaves. I'm going to be like, well, then how long have you been, you know, doing so on and so forth? So, but then on the other hand, it, like I, I see both sides for, for, for me. No, but look, he, he's been talking with Madrid for like four, now. three consecutive years now. So I don't give a fuck about that. Like I've already known he's been flirting with Madrid the entire time. He's done that publicly, privately all the time. That doesn't matter. Uh, for me, it just... And we know he wouldn't have changed his uh, decision based on what happens this season. And if he did, he would be the most emotional football player I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> Wait, so I have a question for you. Said so that if if he goes and we go and like let let's say to really make like put rub salt in his wound, we play Real Madrid in the semifinals, so we get to play them at the park and at home, and we like smack them, smack the living daylights out of them. All right, and then Mbappe's like, you know what? I'm doing a U-turn. Are you saying get the heck out of here, be gone? And he he comes, he apologizes. Let's say you're still saying be gone. No second chances. Uh, I would have to look at the, <laughs> the, the positives of him staying. Um, yeah, I would just have to look at the positives in him staying. 
and accepting the situation. Would I like it? No. Would I be for it? No. But it's like when you extend it back in 2021. I just accepted it. I had false hopes. I had false narratives to believe. And no, but but I, I, I wish. Okay, no, no. I okay, let's I let's say for the, I don't so want let's, this. So let's say for this hypothetical, like he goes and he's it's like a five year contract. So has a five year contract. He comes back. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm my my I'm, I'm Parisian. He, he I'm staying here. Give, he would never say sorry. I'm just saying. Well, let's say he just, no, he just no, signs. No, 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 because there's it? different. Like him extending. That's at least somewhat of a feasible scenario. Him saying sorry. That's an impossible scenario. <laughs> yeah. Mbappe would never do that. <laughs> His ego is too big. His ego is too big. No, because he he doesn't believe he has done anything wrong. Like he actually thinks everything is done is totally okay for him to do. There's no shame. Uh, I just want to read this uh, super chat quickly. Thank you so much, Daniel Brown, for the super chat. I appreciate it, long man. Mo, what's your pros and cons of the Super League? Mo, the concern are smaller teams. Um, Daniel, for the evolution of football, smaller teams have to get sacrificed. They will still play football, just not against the big teams. Um, and I think that's the biggest pro of the Super League is, is that this helps all the big clubs. We support a big club. Majority of people support big clubs and, and this helps our clubs play against each other. More revenue, more money, more sponsors, better players, better quality. Um, yeah, I mean, that, those are the legit pros and cons. I don't see any con with the Super League, apart from as you said, the, but they have to be sacrificed. You yeah, know, I think I broadly, yeah, I agree with it. It's like, I mean, obviously, I, I, if you, if we could go and you know make sure that these teams, smaller teams, are accounted for for things that you, you can't, right? Like, um, because I don't know, I don't, for me, I don't get this argument from like people on the other side, but like, look at the, what about the small teams and whatnot? I'm like, okay, when, for example, the Champions League initially when it came out in like 1992, went out the new format, like the group stages and everything. Don't you think people were like, oh, but now this is going to mean like the domestic leagues are going to be less important, so on and so forth. I'm sure the same arguments were being made. Like, I'm sure it's not that all that like radically different than what we're saying today. Yeah, now everybody here says, I don't think anybody's going to go and say the Champions League is, is, is bad. Even though, realistically speaking, like the Champions League did put it, did sort of, in some respects, if you want to look at it, by the virtue of it being more important than than the, the the domestic leagues supersede or bring down sort of the value of the domestic competitions so i don't know i feel like if, if you're gonna go and be consistent you have to go and also say that then therefore the champions league should also get scrapped or go back to like the old european cup model where only yeah, the yeah. best yeah the best team like the winners of each league make it through which i, I mean i guess is reasonable but yeah All right, well, I think I'm going to have to, to head out tomorrow. I've got lectures to get to tomorrow. But it's been a yeah. pleasure as always. Pleasure as always. <laughs> um, actually, I would want to ask you, uh, for, for for the draw, if uh, if you, I just want to know if you're going to pull up or not. Um, I think, well, the thing, I'm going to stream it, so, but I can send, certainly okay. pull up like afterwards, yeah. So I've got okay. like a bracket maker and I'll make the bracket and get my predictions. I'll come on the pod then as well. Yeah, it could be like a simple, because I don't think that many people are bringing it available. I just want like a, a reaction to the team. And then, you know, the, the deep analytical review about how we're going to face the team and players, that we'll, we'll do for another pod. Yeah, sounds like, good. It could be like a 10-minute cameo or something. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I can definitely do that. All right. All right. Well, as usual, it's been a pleasure. And uh, see you then. Allez, allez. Allez, Paris. Allez, Paris. Allez, Paris, allez, Paris Junior. Take care. Um, yeah, I'm obviously doing uh, watch long for the draw. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get people after the thing, reaction to the draw and so on. <laughs> I mean, you, you pretty much indicated it, Tony. <laughs> um, actually, I actually want to watch this. Uh, cause, uh, 
I found it, and we're gonna listen back. This is gonna be funny. So this was the first video of Kylian Mbappe's rat, people. Well, does size matter? <laughs> yeah, size of the brain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't hear? Did you hear now? Yeah, I've seen it, Jay. I still think he's going to play. <laughs> what the fuck? No? Did you hear it then? I need to blame everything on my club, Nasser Khalifi, Mbappe. Kilian Mbubi, he's Kilian M PayPal, Kilian Bitcoin, whatever you like to call him. No. Yes, yes, that one. Right. Mbappe, Kilian Mbubi, Kilian M PayPal, Kilian Bitcoin, whatever you like to call him. I'm here to expose him for fraud. He is. But first of all. I need to blame everything on my club, Nasser Khalifi, the Emir of Qatar, and the QSI operation. Because the reason Kylian Mbappé extended at this club, as we know at the moment, is because of money and power. We gave him a good amount of money and a lot of power to stay at Paris Saint-Germain. That was the reason he rejected Real Madrid for two years. He didn't reject Real Madrid. He just rejected Real Madrid for two years for this experiment here at Paris Saint-Germain. When he extended, I thought it was, you know what? He wants to accomplish that Champions League. And I, and I think that's one of the reasons he stayed at Paris Saint-Germain. But it was not one of the top three priorities for staying at Paris Saint-Germain. So everyone was fooled by that. Because now we're hearing that Kylian Mbappé is receiving 60 million loyalty bonus per season. That's on top of his wages, which is, which is I don't know, 100 million or something per year. Absolutely madness. Absolutely crazy. Virulad. Visste du att en torr hårbotten är skadad och kan inte hålla fukten inne? Head and Shoulders Derma X Pro stärker hårbottens... By the way, this is all propaganda. Don't fucking buy shampoo. Gud, stjärnan, hårbotten serumet. Derma X Pro Revitalizer för upp till 95% mindre... Oh hårbotten. shit, this destroys your hair. Protect your wealth by spending physical gold. Not paper money that grows weaker by the second. So all of the blame goes to the club. All of the blame goes to the club because our club was stupid enough either to it's accept only, this okay. offer or to give this offer to Kylian Mbappe. It is absolutely disgusting. But now let me jump over to Kylian Mbappe because Kylian Mbappe has, like a feature, manipulated the situation, manipulated especially the French Paris Saint-Germain fans because it's most of them who have been matrixed by the turtle. What Kylian Mbappe has done is that argument, him staying at Paris Saint-Germain for the love of the club and wanting to win the Champions League, it's because he's French, he wants to accomplish what only one team in France has done only once, which is winning the Champions League. He has abused that title beautifully. And Mbappe is smart. From his perspective, he's so smart because he's manipulated everybody to believe what he's saying. So Mbappe can literally do whatever he wants and no one will ever say anything negative about him. Why? Because he's the supposed golden boy of this club. He's the player that loves this club the most. Crazy. It sounds crazy, but it's sadly true. Kylian Mbappé, the first example is when it didn't go well in uh, the beginning of the season for Kylian Mbappé individually. There was a period that I think he went four or five games without a goal contribution. He puts out on his Instagram, hashtag pivot gang, and then removes it. But every celebrity, especially as famous as Kylian Mbappé, should know that removing a story after even one second doesn't matter. It's out. And it's always going to be there on the internet. It's always going to be found. I myself even made a video about that, complaining at Mbappe's childish behavior. Because posting that pivot gang stuff... And no loss. No. When I do this, 
Like those are my favorite videos to record. It just I turn on the camera and just I just go for it, baby. Great memory, great emo. I speak from the heart, baby. Bappe wanted to say, "Oh, I want a striker besides me." A bit later, after that, he played with the French national team alongside Giroud as the striker, as the target man, as the number nine, which is pivot in French. After the game, he came out and said, "This is why I would like to play that. I would like to play alongside a striker." But so everybody sent you, most the people that make crooks by Kylian Mbappe took that as, oh, Paris Saint-Germain are not treating Mbappe well enough. They're not giving him the number nine he wants. But first of all, I know that he's just tricking the fan base. Why? Because Kylian Mbappe has balled without a striker. Patrick versus Orsa? Without. Goals versus the Real Madrid last season in the Champions League? Without. He was a top scorer in the Champions League without a striker. He was the top goal scorer in the World Cup, mostly without a striker. Most of his goals came when Giroud was not even in the field. Against Poland, for example. Or against Argentina in the final. Kylian Mbappe only used it as an excuse. Kylian Mbappe can play well with or without. I'm not saying he doesn't improve the situation. Totally not. But him coming out and saying that, when that isn't the issue, when him individually is the issue, that is the big problem. It's putting the blame on Campos and the club, but nothing on himself. And now comes the big bang. The beautiful situation, the biggest problem I have with Kylian Mbappé. Buy a game comes up. Man, this PSGN guy, man, got fucking crazy amount of ads, man. I hate these unskippable ads, man. They're the worst. After the first leg, they ask Mbappé, who's the favorite? Kylian Mbappé answers Paris Saint-Germain. I love that. I want my players to be confident. I want my players to answer like that in interviews, showing that we're confident. We're the A-side. It's 1-0, but we're still the A-side. And then a bit after he broke, as we all know, the top goal scorer for Paris Saint-Germain in history, 201 goals in the last minute against Nantes at the Parc des Princes. And after that, before the buying game, he said, I will get my 202nd and 203rd goal. Very confident. Very confident. I love it, Kylian Mbappé. Buying game comes up, drops one of the biggest stinkers I've seen. No intensity, no energy. They didn't bother dropping back, getting the ball. We're just staying up. They didn't do anything the entire game. Then, in the interview after the game, and he was captain, by the way, for pretty much 60 minutes when Marquinhos went off the pitch. And what does he say in the interview after the game? Does he say, we should have done better? Does he say, it's disappointing to lose? Does he say, as every leader should say, because he's the image of this club, he has the highest wage, he has the most power, he had the captain armband for the majority of the game. And what does he come out and say? Does he come out and say, I should have done better? I blame myself. My performance was not good enough. Nothing. Nothing. They didn't talk about his individual performance. Rather, he wanted to talk about everybody else. Trying to tell everybody else how to do their job. Luis Campos didn't get a strong 11. The, our squad was not good enough to win the Champions League. But Bayern was. All right. Blaming our Campos. And that we did our maximum. Showing that he has no confidence on the quality on the field. Did Messi do his best? No. Did Verratti do his best? No. Did Nuno do his best? No. Did Hakim? Maybe the centre-backs. I mean, I wasn't mad about them in the game, and, and including Donnarumma. But, but the rest of the players did not do their best. Vitina could have taken that chance and scored. There were some small chances for you and Messi. You could have scored. So coming out to saying we did our maximum, it's just not embarrassing. It's, it's disgusting, Kylian Mbappé. It's absolutely disgusting. Because what you're doing here is, again, putting all the blame on everybody else apart from yourself. You, need, you talked in 2019 at the UNFP Gala. I want more responsibility at this club. But responsibility and accountability are together. So after the game, you are accountable for the defeat. Not the entire defeat. Not that, oh, if Mbappe played better with them. No, but you're part of the team. You're the most crucial part of this team. And not putting any criticism or blame on yourself is just completely embarrassing, Kylian Mbappe. It's completely embarrassing. You've done this so many times now. And then again, drops again one of the biggest, even a bigger stinker against Rennes. Goes to the French national team, starts talking smack about Paris Saint-Germain. Starts talking smack, saying, oh, it feels happy. I'm in a good team. Wow. Is that how you're treating the, the club? Disgusting. What does he do after the second game, after that? Before the Olympic Lyonnais game? Goes to the Ultras who are celebrating their 15-year anniversary. Goes there, says a lot of political matrix is the mess. T turns on a flare, says the stuff on the camera front. And then drops again a 10 out of, a 0 out of 10 stinker. It's funny. I'm not fooled by Mbappe's game because I'm familiar with it. I've seen it too many times now. And Mbappe, I've lost all respect for you. 
our respect. Before the buying game, you were confident, everything. And after the game, instead of saying, well, didn't go my way. I'm disappointed in myself. I could have done better. I should have done better. No, none of that. So before the game, he's confident. After the game, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. But as I said in the beginning of the video, all the blame goes to my stupid club for being so desperate and insecure. I'm talking to you, Nasser, to keeping Kylian Mbappé at this club. Hopefully now everybody has understood the Kylian Mbappé situation. He's a player that has done so many great stuff for this club. Top goal scorer. But that does not excuse him from doing all of this. If he pisses on a PSG shirt, is that okay? No. If he smacks, I don't know, the manager or something, is that okay? No. Just because he's done so many stuff for the club does not excuse him for any critique or even slander. So every, to every Paris Saint-Germain fan, please, 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 don't be fooled and don't be matrixed by Kylian Mbappé's 5D chess feature. All right? That was it, Paris Saint-Germain family. Hopefully I've explained why Kylian... <laughs> yes, Max pa Unlock Origin? What's that? Is Mbappé bipolar? Yeah, if it's my Galter, he would have been a G, not gonna lie. <laughs> um. Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family Second video in a row We're just gonna have a talk We're just gonna have a vibe And today I'm gonna discuss Lionel Messi should not be extended at this club Lionel Messi Lionel Messi should leave my club And here are the reasons First of all for all incoming toxic crybabies A.K.A. Messi fans At least the crybaby ones I'm not hating on Messi Alright I'm just criticizing him where he should be criticized which is completely normal. The issue I have with a lot of Messi fans is they can't take critique. They can't listen to the other perspective. They can't listen to the other point of view. They start slandering and naming stuff and so on. If you're one of those people, please just get off the video. Because if you want to stay here and watch the entire video, make sure that you're prepared to hear stuff that you don't like. So first of all, Lionel Andreas Messi has now played at this club for two years. And now if he will want to stay, if we want to keep him, we need to extend him with a brand new contract. The issue with Lionel Messi, most of the issues isn't, isn't just Messi. One big issue is Eminem. All of them three combined have such a big wage that it's really hard for Paris Saint-Germain to strengthen the rest of the squad. It's having all the eggs in one basket, which is the Eminem, which makes strengthening the rest of the squad really hard. Neymar as well has, has a contract until 2027, so really hard to get him out of this club. Nearly impossible. Kylian Mbappé is the crown jewel of this club. Not that I like it, but he's the crown jewel. So he's not going to leave. Plus, he's 24 years of age. So then, Lionel Messi is the obvious player that needs to leave the club. He's 35 years of age with uh, the second of highest contract of Eminem. And his performances have not been great. One issue I have with Lionel Messi is that... Well, look, skip the editing, skip the intro, skip the outro. It just I'm just here for a serious talk because words have to be said. <laughs> man, I don't want to see depressed int again, man. This is absolutely disgusting. I am disgusted by my club. I'm disgusted by League and Uber Eats as an organization. And I'm disgusted, obviously, by the French government. My opinion on the LGBT community, I will put it to the side. Because I don't think it's important here, especially when I'm giving you guys this. Obviously, I disagree with them, what they're doing. But that's not the point. The point here is they are keeping to try to shove up their message up everyone's face. And I'm so against it. I made a similar video to, about this when it comes to Idrissa Guy last season. But now I have to make one again because again, every league and team in game week 35 are wearing the LGBTQ colors on their t-shirts. And I said, I'm disgusted because what this is has nothing to do with equality. Nothing. It's a movement that is forced upon every person that's watching i'm a muslim i'm a muslim and i would love everybody else to be muslim but i would not want i don't know an islamic flag to be on every player's shirt i love pizza but i don't want pizza pictures to be everywhere on football players shirt 
Same thing goes here. I don't care what you do in your house, but I don't want you to spread around your movement. Like France as a nation, France as a government, you are disgusting. You are disgusting because you talk about equality. What you do is you ban people from their own freedom of clothes, of talking, of anything. But then you keep shoving up this message on everybody. If I was a Paris Saint-Germain player, I would do as Idrissa Ganagay did last season. I would not feature. I would not play for this club in this game wearing those colors. I'm disgusted because I believe in free speech. And what free speech means, this is not free speech. This is dictatorial shit, brainwashing. Absolutely disgusted. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys agree with me or not? And let me know your thoughts. Are you happy with this? Are you okay with this? Okay, Tony. Pigeon twenty twenty pigeon for president. <laughs> where you based at? Where I live? I live in Sweden. If that's what you're meaning. All right, here it is. När din törst växer till liv, har du alltid friskt bubbelvatten nära? Nej, nah, because I told you I edited it out. It's the best part. So the stream push for better. David, majority opinion doesn't matter. If 45 people are saying the same thing, I don't. I should not be doing. High, man. Massive Lil Hype, bro. This is sad, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> why are we talking only about Massive Lil Hype, bro? Massive Lil Hype, bro. This is sad, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> why are we talking only about formation? Why can't we talk about the game and the players? I mean, why are you so fussed nothing. about the formation? I mean, because this is sad. You just know. This is, this no, is it's a... like you don't, guys. You don't watch football. That's the problem. I mean, when you guys saw the formation from the beginning. I mean, I, I, guess... I don't watch the most PSG. I, don't talk to me about PSG. I don't know why I you guess, guys are talking. I guess 44 people don't watch PSG in the chat now. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, sheep. Yeah, I don't care about yeah. sheeps. I don't care right. about that. All right, chat. You got your sheep now, man. <laughs> I, I watch every Paris Saint-Germain game twice. I'm always on this team. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying there's no fault in the three at the back. But you guys, instead of saying, oh, yeah, l let us see. Oh, Neymar, he wasn't good today. Messi wasn't good today. Oh, the defense, they weren't pushing up. No, you blame it all on the formation. Like Neymar, even if he was having that, that use the excuse, <laughs> he had to drop back. Why. Neymar was stinky. Neymar was stinky yeah, today. Yeah, lost the ball like hand 20, hand. 25 times. No, it doesn't go hand to hand. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. Y'all haven't named the game. We scored more than two goals in the three at the back since Damn, they're arguing. So I can't take you guys serious at all. So you're saying no, but we missed chances. Like we were, we, we still, oh we, we, we were still we, we generating. We were still we generating chances. Chances this game. Chances this game. 
No, I said, look, I said that. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, he's back next we're season, be man. Best, okay? 24, 25, season, man. I was saying the season starts in two weeks, okay? That's when we're going to have our full team. And when we have our full team, it doesn't matter the formation we play. All right, we're going to see. It we're really gonna, won't matter uh, the formation we play. We can play a three. We can play a back four. I just wait, think we, you guys are dwelling on the formation way so too much. Do, our players play are in back weeks, form man. right now. That, like, that's really all it I mean, they're going to stay in back form as long as this. We, 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 nah, it's not. It's not the. Who are they playing two weeks? Let me see. They're playing two. They're playing two shit teams, man. They're playing two shit teams again, man. Like. I mean, sure, man. Multiplayer, whatever, man. Cool. Cool. He's all over the mess. He's scared of man. Crazy. No, I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's not. It's not just some formation that we're we're shit today, man. Like it's not. You guys, that. Stuff goes hand in hand, man. If you can't see it, and and if the chat, if you can't see what the chat is saying. So you're I saying if know. Fabian started to. Why do you keep up with the chat, chat? Can't you have your own opinion? Why does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Yeah, look, at, I was so calm. I didn't want to talk, yeah, and the bomb hand triggered. Hand. You can't see it, and, and if the chat, you can't see what the chat is saying. Too, so you're I saying if know. Fabian started to? Why do you keep up with the chat? Chat, can't you have your own opinion? Why does it matter? It doesn't matter. 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 It doesn't the majority opinion doesn't matter. Majority opinion doesn't matter, David. Majority opinion doesn't matter. If 45 people are saying the same thing, I don't care. I don't care. You look like a clown on your own podcast, man. That's the point, man. No, no, David, David, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, I don't get it. I don't get why you bring up what the people say. I don't care. I was watching. I was watching. I, I, do you know how many PSG games I've watched when during the entire game they say reactionary stuff? I don't care. Most people are sad and reactionary. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, look. Like, I don't know why you two are so reactionary. That's the problem. Okay, can you guys, you were talking, can you please name a good performance in this formation? The last good performance. I don't want to talk about the formation. I'm not here to talk about the formation. I'm here to talk about the game. I mean, that's a part of the game. That's what we play today. What do you mean? We have, we have already talked, what, 20 minutes about the formation. Can we talk about the underperforming players? Can we talk about the Mbappe miss? Can we talk about the Hakimi mistake? Can we talk about Messi name or underperforming? Oh, no, it's a formation. Oh, it goes hand-to-hand. Yeah, hand. yeah, yeah Hakimi's like mistake goes hand-to-hand. Hand. Mbappe's yes, miss goes hand-to-hand hand with the formation, right? Yes. No, you see, you see. No, no, no. Yes, it doesn't go hand-to-hand. Hand. It doesn't go hand-to-hand. Hand. Range yeah, scoring has nothing to do with the formation. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I'll look yeah, it up now. I'm much. just gonna look it up. Let's just look up the evidence. Whoa. Okay, so in the <laughs> like, damn. Are you slow? Are you slow? Are you slow? Are you done? Are you done? They, they didn't have are issues. Done? They didn't have are issues defending the ball either. Like, what are you talking about? Because they know also the formation that we don't know the formation. That's the difference. Bro, we don't know how to run a three at the back. Did you not just watch us the all of August? Like, that's been our best run all fucking season. Get the fuck. Yeah, you gotta stop going on today, bro. That shit. Is... I know what you're doing that shit, man. I know what you're doing that shit. Let it go, man. Let it go. It's dead. It's gone. What have we have right now? The fuck? Like we've had played like six plus games after that little run of form in the same. Bro, like saying that man. we can't progress the ball is a cop out. It's a, it's a cop out. Put in little games with like a prestige. That's not one of that team anymore, man. Come on. Oh god. Let's man. just get back to the player. Yeah, man. Uh, rough season. It was a rough season. Yo, wait, 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 last one, last one. This is this is Int in Paris. Four nil. 
We got Messi, Neymar doubled, and Sergio Ramos back heel. What an amazing performance. What an amazing way for Galtier to get his first trophy for Paris Saint-Germain. And yeah, it's just fresh of fresh air. I mean, this is our first competitive game under Galtier here at PSG, and we win 4-0. Every player had an amazing game, the debutants uh, for the team, his first competitive game for Paris Saint-Germain, Mukiele as well, Kalimwendo doing what he can do. Uh, yeah, it was amazing football, that Neymar free kick, Messi dribbling past the goalkeeper, it was just a 10 out of 10 performance from Paris Saint-Germain, not conceding a goal, no more, even, not, they weren't even that close. And even when they were close, Kimpembe, Marquinhos, and Donnarumma was there as usual. Huge performance from Marco Verratti, Hakimi, Fuck Israel, all right? I'm saying it. I'm, I'm not trying to be political on this channel, but fuck them. Fuck them, all right? <laughs> Hakim has all his right to be pro-Palestinian. It's pro-life, all right? But apart from that, it was a great performance to watch. We have to thank Galtier and Luis Campos for all the hard work they have done. Neymar Jr. is back better than ever. Listen, man, plug. <laughs> All right then. Um, no, Marco, he didn't play because the the Israelis were gonna boo him. This is some pro Palestinian stuff before the game. Uh, but people, that's been it for the post match podcast of Paris Saint Germain versus um, Orange Sinise. And I always say this to you guys, whether it's for time zone or. You guys just enjoying the channel, the 36 people that are live at the moment. I just want to say once again that I appreciate it a lot, people. Um, don't ever think I'm not grateful. I'm not thankful. I'm really appreciative, grateful, thankful, loveful. <laughs> I can come up with words. But you guys, you mean yeah, you mean a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Big season ahead of us soon the quarterfinal draw and then you know games will come in, come in thick and thin and you know for the international break two maybe even three intent chills we'll have on this channel maybe two two minimum maybe trois have to wait and see but yeah I love from the bottom of my heart to you guys the PSGN family Hopefully my Twitter account is actually back soon so we can still start cooking on Twitter. I know a lot of people have been missing me. PSG fans, PSG haters, Madrid fans, Barca fans. I'll be back. I'll be back. But that's been it from your boy PSG. Oh, Frequency France? <laughs> no, no, he deserves. He deserves. Don't leave. Still got four hours to score. Last man is it's five in the morning. Uh, I got to edit a go reaction video and then I got to head to sleep. No, Caras, uh, Coupe de France. We gotta win the Coupe de France. But yeah. Paris Saint Germain family. That's been it from your boy. <laughs> and as usual. Allez, allez. Allez, Paris. Alright, that was the wrong one. <laughs> allez, Paris. <laughs>